Chat! Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday evening, specifically. How the heck are you guys? Hey, Red Octagon, how's it going? Herschel. Hey, you guys! I'm so excited. I'm so happy and excited to be back streaming. It's so nice. It's so nice. I wanted to be streaming. Like, all week last week I wanted to be streaming and I, I couldn't be and it sucked. How are you guys doing? How you been since four hours ago? <laughs> I hope your Tuesday's been awesome. I pretty much- I raided buttons. I hung out in there for a bit. Uh, I ate, like, a bunch of chocolate. Because I couldn't really eat chocolate when I was sick. And my parents brought over some Easter chocolate. They, like, dropped it off. I was like, man, I just really want some chocolate. This is really fitting music. <laughs> this sounds like some kind of commercial. Man, I just, I just really wanted some chocolate, you know? You just gotta enjoy the little things in life. Like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. The music build up. Chocolate! Oh my gosh. You guys know I love chocolate, right? Chocolate fiend! Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so, I got... I got big plans, chat. I got big plans. Today I got little plans. Today we'll do some little plans. We got little plans. We have a little checklist, actually. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? I have a list with paper. A list on paper because I'm old. Are you guys old? Do you like paper? You old like me? I'm a big fan of paper. <laughs> so you got all kinds of Pokemon that we need to catch still. We gotta fill up the Pokedex. We have, um... Oh, Cubone. I know I have a Cubone, but I can't help but be excited by Cubone. We need, um... We have 437. I don't know how many I need to actually have the Pokedex complete. I'm not sure what the number is. But we need basically all the legendaries. Almost all the legendaries. And some of their, like, random little guys. And a bunch of trade things, which I'll probably bug my brother for. Because I'm going to see him later. Not today, but later this week. Uh, today, we're going to go after Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Mewtwo. I think that'll be a good... A good little start, you know? <sighs> also, something I want to show you guys. Uh, those of you... If you're playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, I like I saved right in front of here. <laughs> so I wouldn't forget. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, to get Manaphy and Fion, there's something special you gotta do. So if you read this book in here, the, the Sea's Legend... Blah, 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 blah. There was a prince. Is the prince Manaphy or Fion? I don't know. It's one of them. Mantike, Buizel, and a quillfish with huge spikes. A.K.A. Overquill, which is the new evolution in Hisui. The Hisuian version or evolution. The evolution of the Hisuian quillfish. That's what I'm trying to say. You need that guy and Buizel and Mantike. And they tell you in this game... So, you know. No, I don't want to keep reading. That's okay. But we need those guys. We need those guys. I'll make a video, because why not, I guess. Um, there we go. So first things first. Hey, I think I'm, I think I'm done with the back lot. I've got Plusel and Minun and Pichu and Chansey and Eevee. And Meowth. I think Meowth, are they in order? Does does anybody know with Mr. Backlot? Do they go in a specific order? Like, I got Meowth. And then I think last time I was there it was Chansey or Eevee. Yesterday. Whatever the heck. <clears throat> Anyways. Hello, yes! Hey there, Foofy. How you doing? Guys, my good friend Hyper Foofy has a new release out from yesterday, and it's awesome. Dude, the drums in there are so tight. I was like, man, I can jam to this. I can jam to this. How are you doing today? Congrats on coming back and making more tunes. 
I can't believe it'd been a whole year. Like you said, it had been a year since you've been making music, and I was like, no, not a year. No. And then I saw your last release was like, was it April or May last year? And I was like, hot dang, it hasn't been a year, holy smokes. But, you know, congrats coming back. Why am I here? I don't want to trade, guys. I want to, you know. <laughs> but we're going to get some legendaries today. We can always see, uh, let's see. Yeah, a whole year. You did a lot of stuff, though, over the last year. You had a big year. We gotta do our lotto corner every day. It's not as big a deal now. We have our six lucky eggs. Which is all the lucky eggs we're ever gonna need. Nice! We got lots of pup-ups. Lots of pup-ups. <laughs> I think it's just random ones in Mr. Backlots. I know there's a list somewhere. I'm sure I've got them. It's like all the cute things, right? I have cute things. The only cute thing I don't have is Whismer. You don't get Whismer there, do you? I don't think so. I don't think so. But maybe you do. Uh, I guess we can check. I guess we can go check. Oh, I still need Execute, too. It's really annoying. I need Execute in the marsh. Hey, Dark Samus. Hey, Fio. How's it going, guys? Oh, I'm Jim. It's the Kemiversary. I'm so sorry. You know what? It's okay. You know why? We got two more Kemiversaries coming up, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Don't feel bad, anyways. Don't feel bad. But, so, I did celebrate three years of Chemic Zeal, which I can't believe it's been three years. It's, like, it's insane. I remember I was on the bus one day trying to come up with a name. And I was, like, Googling stuff. You know when you come up with a name for something? And I'm like, I gotta Google it to make sure that A, it's not already in use. You know, it's not already like a popular thing or whatever. And B, it doesn't mean something awkward in another language or whatever, you know? Kemik is actually a Turkish word, which means bone. Which is cool, I kind of built that in. And that's pretty cool. But it doesn't mean anything awkward in another language, so that's good. <laughs> But I remember, I was on the bus home, and I was like, I need to, you know... I didn't like my job very much. It was, it was like... I liked my job, but it, it was, it was a job. Porygon! Oh yeah, I have Porygon. Kemilor. Yeah. I was on the bus thinking of a name. And I'm glad I'm feeling better too, obviously. Obviously, I'm glad I'm feeling better. I am proud to declare this household COVID-free. COVID-free. There might still be some tissues in the in the trash, but those are being treated as biohazardous waste. <laughs> I'm waiting for garbage day. COVID-free. That one holding an upgrade. No, hey, um, can you get? more upgrades because i have an upgrade and i have a dubious disc and i noticed that a lot of the can they wait can they be holding it when you catch them shoot maybe i should catch some is that a thing is that a thing hmm i wanted to get some extra didn't stop by because you don't want any pre-exposure to the new kirby well it's a good thing you weren't here this morning because I've beaten it, and I was doing, uh, stuff that you do in the game after you beat it. Yep. So, presumably you've been playing it. How are you liking it? Because, dude, I love the new Kirby game. I've never... I have never been so taken with a Kirby game before. I played the first one, and it was good. You know? It was good. But this one was, like, phenomenal. It's so... it's so good. It's so much fun. Awkward username, no idea what that's like. Did you used to have an awkward username? <laughs> the ever- I had, um... Oh, I was, like, gonna out my friend by accident. I can't tell you what his name is, but it meant something kind of questionable in another language, and he didn't realize it. He was like, ah, oh, it's just a fun word I came up with, and I was like, do you speak Spanish, sir? <laughs> do you speak Spanish? Because, uh... Mm, you might want to spell it differently, at, at least so the spelling doesn't match, because it meant something questionable in Spanish. 
You haven't yet, but you want to? Guess what? What? Alden, why haven't you been playing Kirby? <laughs> You're gonna avoid me forever. The good news, stream-wise, is I'm almost done with Kirby. I think we're finishing it this week. The plan is to finish Kirby and to polish off Pokemon Legends Arceus this week, but it'll, it probably won't be totally done. I might still be playing Kirby on Monday. We'll see. Don't know where to get the dubious disc. Me neither, but I have it. Feo means ugly in Spanish. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. You got a Wii? Oh man, that's awesome. It's the first thing you're gonna play on Wii. I've heard very good things about Mario Galaxy. Oh, I haven't played it yet. Oh my gosh, I have such a list of games. Nintendo could, honestly, there could be like no new games for a year and I'd be set, like I'd be fine. Let me check real quick if Porygon can be holding. I can't remember where you get a uh, dubious disc. Porygon BDSP held item wild. I don't know. How do you? I don't know where it even says. Oh, wild Pokemon hold items. What do you mean no Porygon? What? Why is it not showing up in? Hmm. Oh, if Porygon's not on the list, I guess it never holds anything. I guess that's what it means. You know what? Let me look it up for you, Herschel. Upgrade. Dubious disc. Let me see where you get these. Uh, your next game would be a very surreal one. Yeah, the Stanley Parable. I saw a little bit of my partner playing it. And it's really cool. It gave me portal vibes. Like, I was- I, I was feeling unsettled. I was unsettled, I don't know why. There was something really spooky about it. But I don't remember anything spooky happening, you know? I don't remember anything really spooky happening. You got your upgrade from someone, but not sure who. I have- like, I have both of them, but I wanted an extra. Because I was gonna help someone evolve their stuff. I was like, yo, just trade me your Porygon holding an upgrade. I will give it dubious disc and send it back. And I'm glad I didn't, because I don't think I could get another one. <clears throat> but you get... Uh... Let's see here. Oh, Professor Oak gives you upgrade. It's Professor Oak, you guys. He gives you upgrade. Uh, dubious disc is... Battle Tower? Oh, you can buy in the Battle Tower! I think- wait, can you buy both of them? There's two ways to get the Dubious Disc. One is Route 225. And you have to surf and find it. 225 is like around... Uh, oh, here, it's here. Is this also- no, it's like around here you can get it. The Dubious Disc. It says, you find it after a short surf to a rocky edge. You walk down the steps near the rocky edge to find it. Alternatively, you can buy it in the Battle Tower for 5 BP. But can you get an upgrade? I want to know. Hmm. But yeah, that's where you get it. Let me check, actually, because now I'm curious. I'm curious. <clears throat> Bought a copy of Mario Kart Wii from a second-hand game store. Having a blast with it. Only problem is the manual case smell like cigarettes. You know what? <clears throat> yeah, that sucks and it's gross, but I might have a fix for you. Let me deal with this berries so I don't forget. Um, so I was at the secondhand store a little while ago. Um, and I got some English to German dictionaries. What kind of berry was that? I wasn't paying attention. Was it a qualot or whatever? Qualot berry? Whatever, we'll put one of, one of these things. Yeah, qualot. Sounds good. Uh, so what I did, I got a couple of German and English dictionaries, not because I speak German, really. I mean, I know some words here and there, but it's, um, I'm writing stories, and when I write stories, I like to, you know, you know how, like, with Harry Potter, there's a bunch of, like, Latin words kind of built in? I like to do stuff like that. I like things to mean stuff, right? So I look at a whole bunch of different languages, and I just try to find words I like and kind of play around with them, and I'm just kind of a big nerd. But anyways, I digress. I found a couple of German-English dictionaries, and they both reek of perfume. I'm sure there was like some some lady probably kept them in her in her top, you know, <laughs> in her coat or in her top or whatever, with all her perfume. 
you know? Went to Germany and then came home and was like, well, that was fun, don't eat. Or, or someone who thought they were gonna learn German and changed their mind. They're like, this language is too hard. I changed my mind. Stick with good old English, which is also a hard language. But if you already know it, it's easy, because you already know it. That's one uh, plus for me, is I never had to learn English. I just, I just always knew English. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Obviously, I learned it. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, yeah, so you can do, I, I currently have a stinky book box on my kitchen table, uh, which is where you take a bin, like if you have like a storage bin or something like that, I think that would work, and you put your stinky books in there, or maybe your stinky Mario Kart manual, and it would probably work for anything that smells, and you put like an open container of baking soda in there. Now, I've had it in there for... Let me see, I have a timer on my phone. <laughs> I have a stopwatch going 73 and a half hours and it still stinks, but it's not airtight. I think that's the problem. I just had like a bin and I like put a cookie sheet on top. But I think if you do an airtight bin, it probably helps. So make a stinky book box. So just put it on, anything that stinks in there, don't get baking soda on it, right? <laughs> don't, don't get baking soda on it. But if you have like a baking soda container, put it in there, open with the stinky stuff and close it up. Leave it for, I think it's like 48 to 72 hours. Give that a try, see if that helps. And let me know, report back. Report back if it helps. Cause I read online that that does like wonders. And I've I've used baking soda, like it's, it's good. It's really good, give it a try. Uh, wait, where do you get the, Am I missing something? Wait, this is like... I think it was this table. Uh, you can get all these power items. Oh, you can get the berries here, which I forgot. You can get these, which is cool. Uh, you can get... Oh yeah, here's all the evolution items, too. Upgrade and dubious disc. There you go. You can get them here. Uh, but you can get this one from Professor Oak in Eterna City. He's got a house in, like, the bottom left. He's, like, right across from the gym in Eterna City, right? After you beat the Pokemon League, I think. And then Dubious Disc you get on Route 225. But you can get them here, too, for 5 BP, which is, like, if you win 7 battles, you get, like, 3 BP. So it's a little grindy. But at least they're replaceable. That's the main thing. Metal Coat, don't buy here. I don't know if you can actually... I didn't notice if you can see it. Metal Coat, I know you can get from Wild Bronzor. You know and stuff. Alright, to Ramino's Bark. Let's go catch us an Articuno. Potato has returned. Welcome back, Potato. Good to see you again. I'm <laughs> fleet. <laughs> Glad to report. I'll never have a problem with stinky books. Why is that? You've also become great at Smash Ultimate. Hey, we were talking about it this morning. We were talking about the game this morning. Next month- Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say about the Chemiversary. Hold that thought. Um... Let's see. <clears throat> if I give you my Porygon, then you give me one with a Dubious Disc, we can swap them back and have- Oh, like if we give them upgrades and trade and Dubious, dubious Disc and back and trade. Yeah, that is a thing. Maybe send me a message or something. Um... Let's see. I thought I missed something else. Um, yeah, we were talking about Smash. You have no sense of smell. But does it not still, like, hurt your nose? Do you get- wait, so if you don't have any sense of smell, do you still get- do you get, like, headaches if someone has, like, a strong perfume? Or would you know? You have no sense of smell either? Holy smokes. It's crazy. So we want to catch our Dakuno. We do not want this guy in front, because he has Poison Point, and that's bad. We also don't want one of these ice- oh, everyone's weak to ice, huh? Everyone's weak to ice. Gallad. Wait, I'm gonna switch you with Vanoma. There. 
smoke ball. He should have leftovers, probably. Or a lucky egg. I could give him a lucky egg, too. Articuno's probably pretty good XP, right? Let's do lucky egg. Guys, I have a full set of lucky eggs. I'm such a lucky egg. <laughs> I'm such a lucky egg. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Mwah. It's a thing of beauty. <clears throat> you just have a stuffy nose. Oh. I I lost my sense of taste and smell when I had COVID. It was really weird. Oh, we did this one already. Gonna raid with your extra account for fun. Is this the right one? Wait, should I save first? I'm gonna save first, because I don't know, whatever. The Canto plate? This should be the right one. You can raid if you want, but I don't know if it shows up if, like, if you don't have anybody. <laughs> I think I have that you have to have at least, like, one or two people. So if you're not streaming, and you have no viewers, and you raid, it might not even show up. Hey, these guys are in whatever order, right? Zapdos. Alright. Yo! Let's get Zapdos. So, oh yeah. Dark Samus and anyone else. Um, oh, you gotta go. <laughs> I was just gonna say. I'm a good egg. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was just gonna say. I was gonna say, we have a subathon coming up next Tuesday. And I'll be playing Brilliant Diamond. Which is cool. In May, we've got my stream anniversary and affiliate anniversary, So it's gonna be like a party all month. So that'll be cool. And I think we might even play some Smash. Maybe. I'm really bad at it. So you guys can like teach me. I can get schooled. Anyway, I don't want to keep you. I just was like, I was, you know, sort of getting sidetracked from saying that for like 10 minutes. Anyways, have a super day. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Hypnosis. You'll teach me? Yeah, I think I've got some people like lining up to teach me. It'll be fun. I'm not very good at Smash, but I've played a few of them. A tiny bit. So, you know. Man, this is really good music. Is this new music or is this remix music from Diamond and Pearl or is this like remix Kanto music? It's been so long since I actually played Red or Blue. I feel like I would recognize this music, though. You walked into a room with a dead squirrel in the rafters and someone had to tell you because you had no idea. Wow. Yeah, that would be a disadvantage for sure. That's wild. But on the plus side, you can sit on the bus next to anyone you want. Well, unless they're like super loud. Hey, should I try to catch him in a special Pokeball? It doesn't really matter, right? Premier- let's try Premier Ball. I have 300 of them. Which means I must have bought 3,200 Pokeballs. <laughs> Alright. I like the Premier Ball for the Legendaries. I think it's kind of cool. Next one, next one. So we'll get these guys today, it'll be cool. And I still want to make some uh, competitive Pokemon. I want to make more competitive Pokemon. I can make a Salamence. Hey, what are your guys' thoughts on Salamence? Do we go for Intimidate or Moxie? I feel like Intimidate is almost always good. Moxie, though. I guess you build him as a sweeper, right? If you build him as a sweeper, then you definitely won't Moxie. What level is this guy? 70. Oh, okay. I guess I can knock him down to 1 HP. I don't know why I'm not. There's something weird, like, in, uh... I'm kind of paranoid about getting Pokemon to 1 HP, because I'm always like, they're gonna hurt themselves somehow and faint. Like... Even if that did happen uh, here, I would have another chance, so that's okay. 
Yeah, sleeping, one HP. Premier Ball, I think, is the same as a Pokeball, right? Yo, good job avoiding that in time with my shout that I definitely shouted. Struggle? Like, it's possible, but he's nowhere near struggling, right? He's got Thunder. He's got, what, nine more Thunders? I don't know how many Detects you get. Ten? So he probably has, like, seven or eight of those. Like, we're not in danger, you know? But I always have this, like, fear. The other thing is, in, uh... In previous games, I feel like even getting them down to one HP didn't help. I'm pretty sure the catch rate goes up the lower their health. Like, so even 1 HP will have a higher catch rate than 2 HP, you know? But it, to me, it almost feels like... Oops. <laughs> it almost feels like uh, if they're in the red, that's it, it, you know? I thought I was gonna be fighting Articuno. I forgot that they're random. Five detects. All right. Well, he might be two left or something. Detect. Man, I'm gonna have to get a special ability, uh, Salamence. Oops, I was holding a button for some reason. Don't you get ten Protect? Oh no, you only get five Protect. And five Detect. Because I was like, man, do you get fewer Detect than Protect? Dude, you have one health. Get, just get in the ball, please. Just get in the ball! Take damage, dude. Magnetic fur? What the heck? This thing has fur? Sticking out your tongue? Yeah, in the corner of your mouth, right? Ugh. <laughs> you know why it did this? Is I was holding down in B. And bah, down B. It helps. Unless it doesn't help and actually makes it worse. That would suck. But I still hold down and B. Most of the time I don't, but if it's like an important catch, then I do. Like when I was trying to catch Kangaskhan last week. You know what would be really cool is, is if shiny Zapdos was like black and white or something. Or inverted, like black with yellow. That would be cool. Premier Bell's catch rate of 1. So it's the same as a Pokeball, right? If you use on an Ultra Beat, it's 0.1. That's really low. I gotta finish Ultra Moon. I don't know what the heck you guys are all talking about with Ultra Beast. Are they Pokemon or what? They are, but they're not. They're like ultra Pokemon beasts. <laughs> Do you guys have other like superstitions when you're playing games? Like sticking out your tongue or holding down random buttons or something? I'm, I'm just gonna spam Premier Balls now. The quick ball looks really cool. Is that why you were going for quick balls, Herschel? Is that your favorite one? I've got a quick ball on one of my bookshelves and it's just so cool. I think it's my favorite one. Jimmy Zapdos is just a brighter yellow. I don't think he's even brighter, he's just lighter. He's like less yellow. Were they giving away shiny Zapdos in Sword and Shield? I might have heard something about that. I don't know. Coffee! It's so you don't use a Master Ball? I mean, there's other- like, what are the chances right now? What are my odds of catching this guy? He's at 1 HP. If he was asleep or paralyzed, I'd have a higher chance, but he killed my Gallade. <laughs> mm. 
I wonder if I should just reset and use Gallade again. Put him to sleep so he's not wasting moves. Also, I found my code for pre-ordering for like a hundred Pokeballs. The the shinies? Oh, it was magnetic flux, not magnetic fur. I was like, this guy have fur? Is it down or what? Hmm. Hey, you know how it says it's used to um, celebrate an event? What is that? Do you, what's the Premier Ball actually for? When they used to give away event Pokemon, were they always in Premier Balls or something? What is that actually commemorating? Use different ball. The Premier Ball is just a normal ball, but a cool color. That's why I'm using it. It's a cool color. I can have a Zapdos and a Premier Ball. It looks cool. Plus, everyone will be like, you caught that with a Premier Ball? Oh my god. I wonder what the how the odds actually work, because I know it's like the lower health. They have the higher the chance. Celebrating 11 Pokeballs for the price of 10. That's as far as I can tell, too. Hey, Cobra. How you doing? So it's, it's celebrating a, a bargain. <laughs> You'd use it on Arceus if you had the Azure Flute. You know what, Herschel? I know that you haven't been having the best time with Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I was playing it when I was sick, and I was like, this is not fun. Like, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't having fun, but I spent a couple days just playing a bunch. I looked up where a couple of the wisps were because I couldn't remember where I'd been. And I was looking for places to check because I was circling islands and stuff on the Braviary for like ever. And I was like, all right, I'm just gonna look it up. And it wasn't too bad. Because that's how you get Spear Tomb, right? You get all the wisps. So I don't know, like, I don't think it's that bad. I'm not thrilled with the way that they did it. But, you know. Oh, there it is. Normal Pokeball, but cool color. Heck yeah. Let's go. I just realized the irony, too, because you're like, it's just a cool color. He's a different Pokeball. I'm like, I'm using a shiny Pokemon, which is literally worse. This shiny Flygon is worse than my other Flygon, but he's a cool color. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> Poke fans, like, Pokemon fans and, like, shiny hunters are all about things just being a cool color. You know? <laughs> Oh, he's cool. He's so cool. Zapdos is awesome. You're not going back to it at all. You're like totally done. I mean, that's fair. And you got your Arceus. If that's all you care about, then, you know. Plus, I'll be I'll be going for Arceus in here. I got the stream responsibilities, you know. Not only do I want to actually, you know, I want to finish Arceus. There's more It's po it's called Pokémon Legends Arceus. I can't not you know, I can't not go get Arceus on stream. Like, you know, plus then I can get Arceus in here and that'll be a whole thing and that'll be nice. So I'm fine with it. But it's a pain in the butt and I wish they didn't do it that way. But at the same time, it is also kind of cool. It's kind of cool when you think about it. Like, because the games are so, are, are, they're so closely tied together. It's a pain in the butt, and I think it's really unfair, especially for, like, I just, I just remember being a kid, and, like, even in Game Boy, I don't, Game Boy Advance games, DS games, they've always been, like, 50 bucks, right? 40 or 50 bucks. When you're a kid, that's a lot of money. Even when you're not a kid, that's, like, you know, half a phone bill, maybe, or something, or, you know what I mean, like, you could, that's a few meals right there, 50 bucks. You know. <laughs> so, I, you know. I feel for the kids who are, like, saving their allowance and they get Pokemon, Shining Pearl, or Brilliant Diamond. They don't get both, because they're kids. They can't afford to get both. Maybe one kid gets one and their sibling gets the other one. That's what my brother and I used to do, right? That's, you know. That's what we would do. 
Um, but you know, you have you have enough money for one game, right? So I, I'm a little kid, and I play Pokemon Shining Pearl, and I just think it's like the best thing since sliced bread. I never played Diamond and Pearl because I'm just a kid, and I, I wasn't around yet, or whatever. And this is like the coolest game ever. I saved my... Well, I guess not Christmas money because it came out in November. Maybe I saved birthday money from from the summer or, or something because I knew it was coming out, right? Or, like, I, I don't know. Grandma gave me some money because, I don't know, I went to visit her on the summer. Something like that, right? I'm saving my pennies and I buy this game and I love it. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I don't have enough money to buy another game. And I gotta wait till whatever. And I want to get as much as I can out of this, and I'm going crazy, and I'm doing all the contests, and I'm catching all the Pokemon, and I'm shiny hunting, and I'm doing Battle Tower, and everything. Thank you for the follow, appreciate that. And then I find out, oh, Pokemon, like, Arceus? Oh, man, he's like the god, he's like the, the legendary, like, there's books in the library about him, there's, you know. It's so cool. And, and then it's like, oh, you need to spend another $80. To get Pokemon Legends Arceus, which you may or may not want to play, right? You may or may not may or may not want to play it. And even if you do, like, that's cool. But, I mean, when you're a little kid, money's hard to come by. I'm picking up, like, extra, you know. Thanks for the hydrate. I'll grab some water. <laughs> Just on, like, a tangent here. But, you know, I feel for those kids. They got the Switch, you know. Maybe they got this game for Christmas. Maybe they saved up all their money to buy a Switch and like Mario Odyssey or something, right? And then and then they get this game for Christmas and they they are like saving their pennies, right? Saving up their allowance. And then they can't afford to get Pokémon Legends Arceus. They're not going to be able to get Arceus in this game. They do everything in this game. They fill their Pokédex, they do everything. But they need to save up another $80. Because they're Canadian kids. Gotta save up, you know? So, I feel for those kids. For me? In the position I'm in? You know? I was burned! You burning me? <laughs> Play with the Moltres, get burned. Alright, cool. Gonna have your cousin's account raid? Angry smile. Oh man, we're gonna get raided, guys. Buckle up. <laughs> the position I'm in, though, I love this game. I had, I did have a lot of fun with Arceus. I'm kind of over it now. I, I've got over a hundred hours. Like I spent some good time on, on it. You know, I spent some time with it. I'm good. But you know. Also, I'm streaming, right? This is It's literally my job to play Pokemon games, so I can't really get too butthurt about, oh no, I have to buy another Pokemon game. Like, that's that's my choice, is, you know what I mean, right? So from my perspective, it is kind of neat that they're so closely tied together. There's legends in this game that tell you how to get Fion and Manaphy in that game, right? And there's, you know, stuff to do in that game. Like, it, it is cool. It's just, it sucks for a lot of situations. <laughs> and even, even having to go get all the darn wisps, like, I wanted to do that anyway, but after a while I wasn't so interested anymore, but I was like, well, I want to get Spiritomb, and I, I'm assuming that's for Spiritomb, because there's no underground, right? So I was assuming that's what that is. But, you know, the other thing, too, it would be one thing, like, let's say, let's say, if you fulfill certain requirements in Pearl, you could get Palkia in Diamond, and vice versa. If you did something special in Diamond, you could get Dialga in Pearl. That would be neat. And the, they come, they, they're like, they come together. It's Diamond and Pearl, right? This is just Legends Arceus, that's it, it's Arceus. So... Now, I, I don't want any spoilers for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I, I beat the game. I beat the game. But... I still have to go get Arceus. And like, a few more of the legendaries. 
So I'll make sure I'm all set with that, and then I'm hoping that Friday we can do like a finale. Like a big old finale. It'll be awesome. But I'm assuming there's more story to it, right? There's like something story -y is gonna happen. They're not just gonna be like, good job, you got Arceus, okay, you know? See you next game or whatever. <laughs> like some something story -y will happen. I don't think my character is gonna like sent, get sent back home or whatever, but I think something will happen. Whatever it is, I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. Well, I wanna know, but I wanna find out But Don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> But, you know. Mm, sure, max potion. Why not? They did that with sword and shield. Wait, I could get... I could get... Z Zemazenta and sword? Can I still, or was that, like, a timed thing? I didn't know that. I don't have Zemazenta. <laughs> but that would be cool, and to me that would kind of... That would make sense. And that would be, like, incentive, right? And then... If I have Pearl and my brother has Diamond, we can trade copies and play them. And then our systems will have the save data or whatever. Whatever check, you know? I'm all about the, like, siblings being able to play a game together and help each other out. Because, like, when my brother and I were kids, I had Silver, he had Gold. I had Diamond, he had Pearl, you know? And, like, I had Sapphire, he had Ruby. Like, we always, you know, and we would trade the exclusives. Like, oh, you don't have Vulpix? Okay, let me catch two. Can you catch me a Growlithe? Then we'll trade, you know? I love that. It's so, it's so cool. No, we can get Dialga raids in both if you join someone's raid. Oh, are those... I don't really know much about the raids, because I had lost interest by the time that... <laughs> by the time that came around. I think I played a bit, and I was like, okay, cool. But... So, is it like this one? Like, here you get the legendary birds. Dude, will you just stay asleep, please? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Uh, but is it like exclusives? Like, you get diamond- you get- you get Dialga in... Uh, whatever. You get Dialga in sword and you get Palkia in shield. But then if you have sword, you can join someone who's using the Palkia one in shield or something. Something like- is that how that works? Because that's neat. That's nifty. If that's how that works, that's cool. I just think, like, for a few reasons it's not really fair. One is Pokemon Legends Arceus, like, I get that they're trying- they're testing it, right? And they want people to buy it. They want to know what people think of it. Because they're they're figuring out what to do with future Pokemon games. So they need to see how it goes over. Like, if people like that kind of thing or what, right? So I get that they want as many people playing as possible. Also money, obviously. Companies want money. Um, you know... But I don't think it's really fair. If anything, I mean, Herschel and I were talking about it before. We thought that they were just going to have an event, right? Remember, Herschel, we were talking about this? Because this game came out in November. And then Arceus came out at the end of January. And I was like, man, what if they do like a New Year's event where you can get Arceus in BDSP? And that'll hype people up for Legends Arceus, and I still think that would have been maybe a better way to do it. They could have added- they could have even added, like, a, a little side mission- like, a side story, almost. Where you- you know- okay, you know how- man, this sucks. What did he do that did that much damage? Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> we'll catch this thing or not. We can- I saved. I saved! We can do this again, it's okay. Thanks for blessing the run, potato. <laughs> potato! Such a fun word to say. You had Xerneas in your game, but you joined an Iveltal. That one's hard to say. Raid. You can save that raid adventure, do it yourself after. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. I think it would be cool. Hear me out. So you know how Sword and Shield... The whole game was about, like, the history and the, the Armageddon, whatever. End of days, poke apocalypse, darkest day, that's what it was, right? <laughs> you bless around with the power of potatoes. Awesome. Awesome. 
All right, you. Oh, he's gonna get poisoned. This might have been a really bad idea. This might have been a bad idea. But we can reset. It's all good. But I think that would have been a better idea. They could have hyped it up. They could have had a whole storyline. So Sword and Shield was very much... It was very much, like, about the legends and stuff. In this game, you can see, like, the, the statues of, like, the weird... Uh, the Super Duper Pelkia and Dialga, or the combined... You know? The combo... Pelkgal... Pelkgalga... Or whatever. Dialkia. <laughs> I think they could have done something like that, where you- they could have added an extra storyline. Like, I know they didn't- they wanted to play it safe with this game, and they did, and I think that was a good decision, honestly. I know people like to complain about things that are- that they didn't change, that they could have. But honestly, I'd rather them leave things alone than just totally mess up something. Which they might have done. <laughs> they only- the only thing they royally screwed up was the movement. Which is unfortunate, because this is my main speedrun game, but whatever. There's hope they could- they could fix it. Right? Right, chat? They could- they could still fix it, right, chat? I don't know if this guy has no contact moves, but he's not getting poison points, so that's cool. I'm not getting poisoned. They should have put in things like the Poke Athlon. Oh yeah, they did that in uh, the Gold and Silver remakes, right? I don't remember that at all. I don't remember. I think... The things they changed... They changed the underground, and it's amazing. I love the changes to the underground. It's so good. They changed contests, and the contests suck. They're awful now. They're not fun at all. They're, they're not fun. I like that they're shorter, in a way, because the contests... Uh oh, yeah, he's toast. Um, recoil. Whatever. Uh, let's try this again. I like how when you knock out, yo, thanks for following. Welcome in, welcome in. Pull up a seat, get some hot chocolate or something. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been so long since I played Soul Silver. You got the pizza I done. We were talking about this morning. The Hey Canada one? Is it really? Hey America? Hey America, this guy on a motorcycle and he does like this really ridiculous jump with like a cape hanging, like not even hanging, like flowing behind him, just like sticking straight up behind him. And they give him a rating, like 10 pizzas out of 10 or something. Like, what? I don't like that commercial. Just show me a picture of a pizza for two seconds and I'll be like, oh dang. I'm specifically not ordering pizza. Like, I'm not getting the $10 pizzas because of that commercial. Did I heal- did I heal Gallade before I saved? I don't think so. Oh, I did. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, Benny, how you doing? That's hilarious, though. No, Sunkern had the highest stats in the Poke Athlon. Someone mentioned that before. Someone mentioned that. Hey, there's Articuno. Okay, hang on, hang on. I actually had- I had a counter for this one. Ah, who cares. <laughs> I was shiny hunting this one until I was like, eh. He's not that sick looking. Probably you. It might have been you. It might have been you. <laughs> what I wanted for this game, like what I hoped that they did with the contest, like I was leaving the contest for later because I was excited about them. When I played Diamond and Platinum back in the day, I wasn't... I wasn't super into the contests. They they felt kind of... like I didn't understand them. I didn't understand them. And they were, they were just confusing and I felt like I could never really win, like, consistently, you know? Hey Glass, thanks for lurking. Hope you're having a good Tuesday evening. Oh shoot, stop doing that. Jeez. I guess we're using a full restore. Because he's confused. Don't confuse my galley. Sheesh. You learned that Tangela couldn't vine whip in Gen 1 today. <laughs> They're not- they weren't sure if they were vines or not. <laughs> like, is this hair? I don't know, it doesn't have a hair whip attack. We'll just leave it. <laughs> Hey, 
These things do not like to sleep. Sheesh. Wait, we gotta false swipe. I could probably use a slash. Oh my god. Took aim. What does that mean, took aim at? You better not crit. Listen to me, do not crit, mister. Thank you. Oof. Super effective. Wait a second. Isn't Hurricane a dragon type move? Oh no, it's flying. It's Twister, I'm thinking of. Twister's a dragon type move, right? Ay ay ay. Lickitung couldn't learn lick? Well, that just makes no sense. He's the it's the lickinest thing. Oh hey, I made a video of Lickitung eating in Arceus the other day, and it's hilarious. Remind me to show you guys. Pichu or Pikachu, who's cuter? I was gonna say Pikachu, hands down, and then I was like, wait, though. Pichu might be cuter than Pikachu. I don't know. No, I think- oh, I forgot to put him back to sleep. Just thankful Diglett got dig. Me too. Pichu maybe- Pichu maybe! Maybe. He is little. He's got little points. Right? He's got points for being small. Being small boy. How about- okay, okay. In order from least- so in third place, we have Pikachu. In second place, we have Pichu. And the cutest is OG round Pikachu. OG Pikachu. The fat Pikachu. The little chubby round guy. Especially when he's sitting, you know, in, um, I think it's in the intro song, right? Pikachu's, like, sipping on juice, and he's in, like, the little inner tube. Togepi? No way, not even close. Pikachu, no. Pikachu, <laughs> Pikachu's way cuter than Togepi. <laughs> Better Easter Pokemon? Togepi and Veneery. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. They're better Easter Pokemon. And Execute. Hey, do you think that Pokemon trainers with Execute paint them for Easter? If you had an Execute, would you paint them for Easter? I probably would. Assuming it doesn't hurt them. <laughs> Luzi's lurking too, I didn't even see that. Following right after Glass. Thank you for lurking. Happy Tuesday. I'm so heckin' impatient, dude. Uh, it probably won't use anything icy, right? Probably fine. Don't you dare poison yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. How many attempts did we have on Articuno? Four hundred and something. Four thirty-five or something. I think between these three, Articuno is the only one whose shiny looks better. And that's- hey, Thanks for following. Lots of new followers today. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. You ever execute eyebrows in a bow tie? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Little mustache, maybe? Dress him up like eel. Give him a mohawk. Hmm. <clears throat> I forgot that I have coffee. I know we were talking about coffee this morning. We were talking about talk about about coffee and pickles and pineapple. And I found out that a lot of you guys don't like pickles on your burgers. Or you just don't like pickles. You just straight up don't like pickles. And I didn't think that so many people would agree with me on that, because I also I do not like pickles. I do not like them, Sam. I am, and I was I was surprised that so many people. Yeah, exactly. You pickles and I hate pickles. That's what came up in chat this morning too. So you know we're we're consistent. <laughs> I don't like pickles. Cucumber? Do you guys like cucumbers? Do you like cucumbers, or are you just anti cucumber pickle? See, I think cucumbers are fine. Cucumbers are kind of refreshing. If they're nice and cold. 
But then you put them in one of the nastiest, um, what's the word? One of, one of the nastiest, uh, there's a word I'm trying to think of and I can't think of it. Like, whatever. Elements? Not elements. You put it in vinegar. Vinegar is one of the grossest things I can think of. Uh, no judgment if anybody likes vinegar. But somewhere along the line, someone was like, let's take this cucumber that's refreshing and, you know, we could slice it and put it in water and have nice cucumber water that's all refreshing. Or how about we just put it in a jar of nasty heckin' vinegar and, you know, I don't know. That might be public enemy number one. Whoever, whoever made that decision. Anti-cucumber pickle because your mom terrified you with a cucumber once somehow? Are you a cat? <laughs> Is that what- was it cats and- was it cucumbers, you guys? Remember for a while the internet was- or was it a zucchini? It was some long green veggie. I think it was cucumbers, right? People had like put a cucumber behind their cat wait for the cat to turn around, and then the cat's like, Oh, what the heck is that? And they would go flying. <laughs> you know, as cats do. Yo. How cute is Pikachu Electrocute? How cute is Pikachu Electrocute? Holy smokes. Thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate that. Why would you recoil yourself, you dummy? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Hey, be quiet, phone. It's not about you, phone. It's not about you. They think it's a snake, probably? Maybe. QQ bar. <laughs> I like that typo. QQ bar. Cats and QQ bars. There's whole, like, compilations. You can, you can go to... You can go to YouTube and be like, Cats and cucumbers, and you'll get, like, results for days. Best of cats and cucumbers. Wait, no, don't go, guys. Don't go. Watch it later. <laughs> Cats versus cucumbers. I wonder if dogs like cucumbers. Should I try that on my dog? Just put a cucumber behind him? I bet he'd just turn around, he'd just stare at it, and then he'd sniff it, and then he'd probably lick it or pick it up and, like, go eat it. <laughs> You're on the Elite Four on Diamond with your super amazing team. Is that your Battle Tower team you were working on? Chat versus Cucubar. <laughs> I don't know why you're spelling it like that, but it's making me laugh every time. Cucubar. Why is it saying Cucubar? What the heck? You're not doing that on purpose? <laughs> That's even funnier. That's on Pearl. Okay, okay. You're right. Pearl's your main, right? So you're doing your first playthrough. Man, I'm starting Diamond next week and I'm so excited! That's how you can tell how good these games are. I have- I, I just hit 421 hours in this, like, yesterday. I've played through this game, like, eight times now or something like that. I can't remember how many speedruns I've done. And, uh... I'm so excited to play Diamond. I think I'm even more excited than I would be if I hadn't spent as much time with this. Because I'm super familiar with this game now. And I'm really familiar with like, there's no Gliger in here, there's no Scyther, right? And then when I go play Diamond, I'll be like, whoa, Scyther, holy crap, you know? Oh my goodness. There's a Gliger here, awesome. Because I played Diamond so long ago, I don't remember. All the little things, you know. Dang, dude. Got Dust Noir, Lucario, Empoleon, Yanmega, Camrupt, and Unknown. Wait, why Unknown? Unknown's cool, but isn't it kind of... Mm, how do you say bad? <sighs> like competitive? I thought, I thought Unknown had like really bad stats. Or do you just not remember who your Pokemon is? You're like, and uh, Unknown. It's unknown. I don't remember who it is. <laughs> QQ bar. Theo, thanks again, man. Ten months. 
That's a long time. That's a long time. You thought it might come in handy. <laughs> what? Unknown? Why unknown? What does unknown do? Does it get hypnosis or something at least? Or like, I don't know. I've never used unknown before. I don't... Well, maybe, maybe in silver. Like a million years ago, I might have had a unknown in my party for a bit. Out of curiosity. I've never used one, really. Just caught Bannet. A doll- Oh, I remember that! I remember that Pokedex entry. A doll bore a grudge over being junked and became a Pokemon. It seeks a child that disowns it. It's so haunting. Unknown only learns hidden power. <laughs> Why do you have an unknown with you? Come <laughs> Gotta go, go see the Cucubar versus Cats. All right, all right, fine. I've been one-upped. <laughs> I've been one-upped. I'll, I'll let you know when I get some Cucubars, okay? <laughs> Have a great one, Fio. Thanks again. Take care. Flexing on Cynthia. <laughs> Just for her, eh? You're like, oh yeah, well here's my unknown. What kind of what what type is your hidden power? Hey, in this game, does it tell you what type your hidden power is? It probably does, right? Remember before you had to guess based on what it was super effective against? Man, stop hurting my pokes! I don't want to use all these potions against you. Why does it make you say QQ bar? I don't know. I think you, I think you might be exaggerating at this point. I think I think if you really wanted to write cucumber, you could. But QQ bar is fun. Yours is ice for Garchomp. <laughs> well played. <laughs> wait, did you? Wait, can you? Can you breed unknown? And also, did you breed this unknown, like, specifically to be a Garchomp killer? Because that would be hilarious if you did. You're under 25 now, you've caught Makuhita. Nice. Did you get your, uh, dubious disc? No. Wait, did you just... Did you just, like, check all of them and get one with ice? No, I just gotta grab one with ice. Check in your settings. Alright, alright. You can't breed it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I should have healed. Come on, Premier Ball. Come on. Dang it. Going to so much trouble to catch them in these heckin' Pokeballs. I should have picked one that looks cooler than a Premier Ball. Ah, eh, whatever. Alright, which, which of you suckers has a uh, ice type hidden power? We're bringing down Cynthia's Garchomp. Oh my gosh. Hey, make sure you make a little video on your Switch of it, right? Your triumphant victory. That, that's hilarious. Well, New York's Makuhitas. You're not getting your dubious disc? Don't you want Porygon Z? Oh man, next month is gonna be so hype, you guys. I'm just so excited. Now you can say cucumber. Did someone sneak into your phone and do... Did you guys ever see the Noom Noom Nugget thing? Does Noom Noom Nugget mean anything to you guys? Answer that first, maybe. Noom Noom Nugget. That's one of my favorite things of all time. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh man. Okay, I'll see if I can find it later to put in the Discord for those of you guys who are in there. See if I can actually find the picture of it. But you, I'm sure you guys have come across a, at some point or another the like mom texts or like parent texts or grandparent texts or whatever. This was a mom text, I guess. And what happened, um, this person like, they like kidnapped their mom's phone. And they changed- you know how you can have it- have like shortcuts, right? You on a mohawk? You got it. Oh, that was a good pop. Nice. And shades! Okay, okay, okay. But not as nice a pop, but still- still pretty good. For not popping for like a week. Not bad. 
<laughs> Thanks for the redeems, Glass. Um, oh yeah, but this person, they like, they took their mom's phone, like commandeered their mom's phone. Well, they snuck it. And they went to like the shortcut. So you, you know how by default you have like OMW, so you type OMW and it changes it to on my way, you know? Yes! Yes. Got it. In the premiere ball. The premiere ball. I wish there was a cool looking Pokeball that's not, like a purple one that's not the Master Ball. For Mewtwo. That would be neat. Now back to Lurk! Alright. Great pops. Thank you, thank you. I pride myself on my pops. I've had people ask, they're like, why don't you just automate the, uh... That's a weird angle. Why are we looking at the top of Moltres? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this- okay, this is one thing about this game that makes no sense to me. What on earth is up with the Pokédex? Did you guys notice that? The Pokédex! What? Why are we looking down at Moltres? What? Why? Why? How come? How come? Also, the coming of spring, that's a joke. It looks like Christmas out there. You control it? No, you don't! It's just... It's just that, like, you can, if you go to the Pokedex, you you can, like, examine the model and stuff. I think, but, like... It, it's... Some of them are really awkward. Most of them are like this three-quarter view, which is cool, but some Pokemon are just straight up like in profile. And it looks really weird. Unless it's Gyro. No, it doesn't seem to be Gyro. It's really weird. I don't know why it's like that. Oh wait, we went too far. Too far. Um. Yeah, it's really weird. Oopsies. Like... So I can't change it here. I can go to here. I can like spin it around. And put it upside down and stuff. Woo! <laughs> but <laughs> you can have him drinking water. Boop. Make him one of those tippy birds. Boop. Wait. Mm -mm -mm. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. I'm trying- wait, how do you make it- Oh, here. He's like one of those sippy birds. Anyway, um... <clears throat> but yeah, it's like a really weird- This one's alright. And this one is alright, except he's like- um, standing on the floor and whatever. It's just really weird. Do the scales thingy? What scales thingy? What are you talking about? Hey, how tall is this guy? Whoa. Not at- oh, he's like the same height as me. That's pretty cool. Oh. Didn't see her live. I was busy sleeping. Kaylin. <laughs> How's it going? I hope you're doing well. It's been a minute, eh? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty silly. I wonder if it's too- it's probably too late to make a video. But anyways, these are like really weird. <clears throat> oh, to- Do the weight check. 75 pounds. Oh yeah, she's like 10, right? 75- It's <laughs> like, boof! Wait, 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 we gotta find Snorlax. Oh, there he is. I feel like- like, they just dropped that Moltres, did you see that? I feel like if they dropped a Snorlax, like, Lil' Cammy should go flying. Oh my god! <laughs> she did! <laughs> oh my god! Did you know that was gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea! That's phenomenal! Oh my goodness. That's funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. 
Oh my goodness. That's funny. Six foot four is the same as four foot six. I don't I don't think that's quite right. I think there's about a two foot difference between those two. Dude, how have I never checked the the weight check before? Also, Kemi's like she's like four foot seven. That's tiny. This is a little kid. Alright. Can you send me flying too? Okay, that's so funny. <laughs> Love how they do that. Wait, I said six foot four is the same as four foot six. I think they're ca okay. I think they're counting the fire. Imagine it standing on the ground and head not on fire. Okay, maybe it's like a foot taller, but you know, it doesn't seem that much taller. Ghastly, that's a good one. Go see Ghastly. I can't believe it. I just said, I was like, it should send me flying. And she goes to freaking outer space. And she's like on the- gets her head stuck in the moon. <laughs> oh, switch languages. No, I don't need to read the German Ghastly thing. Ghastly weighs 0.2 pounds. Tauros? All right, let's do Tauros. Where's Tauros? 131? 128. I was close. I want to do Lapras. I want to see it, like, flop. Whoa, same height! Oh, I'm the same height as Tauros. What's the most similar to my character? Probably, like, Jinx or Mi'kmaq or Mr. Mime. Is this a weight check stream now? Yes. Hey, yeah, same height. We need to check the height and weight of all Pokemon. Alright. Uh, Mr. Mime is probably lighter. <laughs> no, wait. I forgot what Jinx weighed, but okay. Uh, what about Scyther? Scyther! Oh. Its movements are like a ninja's. Hmm. I'm trying to find a Pokemon that's, like, close in build to my character. Same height and weight. I don't know if there's one. There probably is that I'm not thinking of. Definitely not Lapras, but Lapras is cool. <laughs> I love that! That's so cool. That definitely didn't happen on DS, right? Alright, 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 okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta catch uh, this other one. We gotta catch this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, should we just... No, those are for in battle, Kimmy. Those are for in battle. Cool. It's kind of chilly in here today, but so, but nice. It's like nice and kind of chilly. We're finally... It, it is kind of cold still, but uh, we're able to open the windows, which is really nice. Snorlax again just for fun? Nah, maybe later. Maybe later. How was the moon? It hurt. Have a headache now. <laughs> Get your head stuck in the moon. My goodness. I had no idea! How did I not check that? Oh, I need another slate! Oh wait, I go get slates with my, um... Whatever things. I trade them for slates, right? <laughs> oh! Oh, thanks! Nice! I forgot that you get statues. Cool. Hello? I would like a... not this. And the fire department gets you out of the moon with a very tall ladder. Okay, we need a Kanto slate. Um... Do we need a Kanto Slate from you two as well? Okay, which one do I not need anymore? This is for... Hey, which one is... Uh, wait, did I get anyone else here already? I don't even remember. Just started playing Undertale again yesterday, so I forgot... 
to buy food items. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never- you know what? I've never played Undertale. Mewtwo's a different one? Alright. Alright, thanks. So, I was thinking of getting another one, but maybe I won't. Just buy it each time so I don't waste them. That's a good idea. Because I don't know how many you need, and you can't trade them either. It's not like I could send one to my brother for his game or something. Well, I can't anyway, because I think he has Johto shards instead, right? On pro uh, Diamond. I've been told I should stream Undertale, and I've also been warned not to stream Undertale. <laughs> that might be a game to experience on my own, I'm not sure. Or in the Discord. I think if I was gonna play it, I probably would stream it until I have a reason not to. So far, I've only dumped one game because of streaming it. Like, because of the people that showed up when I was streaming it. Please stay asleep, Articuno. Please stay asleep. Stay sleeping. Oh. You trying to sheer cold me again, dude? Stop that. Stop that. Alright, now we can pulse swing. Gotta make sure I drink enough water. I keep forgetting. Hmm. Well, that's inconvenient. Gallade, can you please thaw out so I won't be sad? <laughs> Gallade is awaiting your instructions. I think he's probably waiting for me to use, like, a ice heal or something. The freeze is such a creepy status effect. It's so- it's so creepy. The Pokemon's just not moving at all. It's so spooky. Oh, shoot. He's a- My bad. Darn it, dude! Dang nabbit! Dang nabbit! Oh my gosh. Hey, there you go. Herschel and Kaylin, you guys gonna touch trade? Legendaries? It's nice when people will help each other out. For Undertale, explain you're not gonna do a root, just gonna do what you do in emote only if there's a spoiler. I could probably do, like, sub only or something if need be. I think I would just need to have a mod, like, make sure there's a mod around to be, like, you know, preferably someone who's already played it. Who could be like, hey, you know? Hopefully, if I put first playthrough no spoilers, people will respect that. So far, people have been pretty good. Except for that one game. So, there was one game I was playing. Which is really fun. I had fun with the game, just not the community that showed up. Um, but the game was totally accurate battle simulator. Have you guys ever played it? It's a hoot. It's a hoot. Uh, if you're not familiar, you have all kinds of different, um, like, armies, right? And you get, like, Vikings and, um, what are they called? What's the, uh... You get, like, a Chinese dynasty army thing, and they have, like, fireworks throwers, which are so funny, because they throw fireworks at guys, and then it sends them, like, shooting up into the air. And it's so funny, and it's all, like, ragdoll physics. So the idea is, like, in the campaign mode, they put you up against whatever kind of enemy, and then you have to use your peasants and your, like, knights and stuff, or your vikings, or your pirates, or ninjas, or whatever, right? And it's like a puzzle in a way, because, you know, it's almost it's almost like a tower defense in a way, you know? Kind of like tower defense. Because there's, um... What's the word? Like, you have to figure out which of your guys are gonna, like, get killed right away and who's gonna survive. Because you basically set up the battlefield and you press play and then the battle plays out and then you win or you lose. If your guys survive or not, right? 
and it's fun. And then there's there's like a like a free for all too, where you can just do whatever you want, and you can make custom levels and stuff. And it's cool. And every level has things like hidden around, right? And the thing is, I was I like finding things in games. Hey, focus, how you doing? We're talking about the one game that I canceled streaming of because of the community spoiling things and being not nice. How are you doing? <laughs> And the thing is, in that game, there's there's hidden stuff, like, everywhere. You can get, um, like, special units that you can only find in certain places. There's, like, I think that's actually it. You can get, like, harpooners and stuff. Is Eel smaller or is the hair smaller? I think it's all the same. I haven't changed anything. <laughs> Hydrate? That's a good idea. Yeah, thanks for keeping me hydrated. Especially because I'm all excited. I'm talking a lot. I love that I can play this game with one hand. So rad. Alright. Um, but the thing is, I, I was asking people for, like, I had the no spoilers tag, which we know gets ignored a lot, but it's nice to have it there, because you can be like, uh, guys, look at the tags, you know. And I had, like, first playthrough, no spoilers, and people were like, go look in the castle or whatever. And I was like, hey, don't tell me where to find things, I like to find them myself. Please and thank you. You know, and at first I was very nice about it. I was like, hey, you know, can you please not tell me where to find stuff? I'll look for it later, or I'll come back, or whatever. I don't necessarily, you know, I don't need to, like, find everything right now, you know? Like, I can come back later if I miss something. So don't worry if I miss something, but I'll, I'll look for myself. And then I still got people, go to the tower and look in the window on the left side or something. And I'm like, I was like, guys, you need to stop. Like, cut it out. <laughs> And it ended up not being fun, because it was, like, constant. It wasn't just, like, one or two people. It was, like, all the new people who came in when I was playing that. It was only, like, new people who came in while I was playing tabs. Because, I mean, they were the ones who know the game, right? And, and I can understand... I mean, heck, I know what it's like, right? I, I was watching Frequency play Hollow Knight. I had, like... I, I don't... I had gotten two endings in Hollow Knight, like, I'd played through it. And I was just really, I really liked Hollow Knight. Like, when I was into Hollow Knight, I was super into Hollow Knight. I got the art book, I got the piano book, it's just, it's so good. It's, it's a wonderful game, and I would recommend everybody who likes Metroidvanias play it. It's just, it's got so much heart, and it's gorgeous, and the music, and uh, it's just, just play it. You know, unless you don't want to, then you do. But, I recommend playing it. Anyways. Um, I didn't want to just ban everyone. I could, but I didn't want to just ban people, like, but it was annoying. If it was just one person, I would have just banned- I think I did ban someone, or Frequency did, because he was mad <laughs> about it. I think I streamed that game two times, and both times. I was like, maybe this is just the day that the spoiler people come out. But the thing is, they, they weren't, like, spoiling- like, there's no story, really. They weren't, you know, but they were like, they were telling me where the collectibles are. Which is like, who cares? Like, why do you want to spoil that? I don't, like, I like looking for stuff. Oh, I wonder if there's anything back here behind the street, blah, blah, blah. You can't get past the first mini boss in Hollow Knight? Sure you can. Also, that's, um, what's the word? Subjective, I guess? I'm not sure if there is a first mini boss. The first one I fought was Grub Mother. I don't know if that's the first mini boss for everyone, because you can play that game out of order. Like, there are some areas that I got to super early that other people say is like a late game spot, and like vice versa. You say Gen 1 Pokemon spoilers. <gasps> How cool would it be if they remade Gen 1? I know they've remade it like three times already, but what if they did it again? But in like a really remarkable way. That would be so cool. 
Oh yeah, I was gonna say with Hollow Knight. I was watching Freak play it. And I think I, I spoiled something by accident. He was like about to get something, but I forgot where it came from. And I, I thought he had it already. I was like, oh, use your this, or did you get this, or what? Well, or whatever it was. And I was like, oops. Like, as soon as I said, I was like, oh. He was like, oh, way to spoil. <laughs> but it was like in the next room or something, and I forgot about it, right? So I understand, like, especially if it's a game that you really love, and then someone's playing it, you're like, oh, they're gonna get the this thing, they're gonna do this, you know? What do you think of this, or something? Or if there's a character that gets revealed later, or something that gets revealed later on, and you totally forget that it's not, you know, that they don't know yet. It can, it can be easy to spoil things by accident. But these people, straight up, I was like, do not tell me where the collectibles are. And then someone's like, go behind that tree. And I was like, you need to shut up. <laughs> like, stop it. <laughs> it's not the biggest deal at the end of the day, but it just, it's like, I don't know if they were deliberately trying to ruin the experience. Or if they really just, like, they were probably just a bunch of little kids who thought they were being helpful or something. If you've ever played a game with, like, your little brother or sister around, and they're like, oh, 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 go to the thing, go to the thing, go over there, and you're like, I'll get there. And they're like, you, you gotta go, there's a, there's a thing over there, you know? And they're just so excited. And I kind of have a feeling, I kind of have a feeling that the Tabs community is maybe a lot of kids. You know, or like, tweens. So, it could have been people who were barely Twitch legal, you know what I mean? Man, this is, um... Mm, let's throw a premiere ball and then we'll restart if it doesn't work. And go! That? No, okay. I was like, wait, we need Gallade. Just do six bajillion timeout like Aura. I got, I gotta get better with my mod controls. Honestly, everybody's got like a timeout, but oh, six hundred seconds. Hey, shoot, neat. Five minutes. I can just go boop. Five minutes. Dang. So that's like five thousand minutes, I guess. How long is five thousand minutes? <laughs> I wonder if you can change the default. I'm pretty generous as far as time- like, I don't usually time people out. I feel like if I time someone out, it would be like a minute or two as like a warning, and then after that would be like five minutes, and then ten minutes, and then like you're out of here. That would be for something like spoilers, or like saying things that are not- not like- not like abuse or terms of service, but like stuff that I don't like. Like, you know how I banned Rip in the chat? Because I think it's really annoying when people say Rip. <laughs> so if you come in my chat and you're finding creative ways to get around the filter, if you're doing like R underscore I underscore P, I'll time you out. And then, you know, if I've explained, if you know that it's banned and you're trying to get around it, I'll like time you out. And if you keep doing it, I'll time you out again. Heck, I think I'm going to go to a two timeout and then ban policy. Two timeouts, that's plenty. You get three strikes. If you come in here being like, wanna buy followers and primes? Um, you're just banned. <laughs> Had to time out two people today. What for, if you don't mind me asking? I'm always curious, what's the juicy stories? <laughs> timer ball, timer ball would be great for this fight. Uh, except it's not a premier ball and I'm being fussy. You had the whole of some games room because your cousin is nine and can't shut up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't play those games in front of your nine-year-old cousin. The problem with the cousin is you can't ban him. <laughs> you can't ban your cousin. You can like close the door maybe. Like get out of here. Oh, I was like first premiere ball. That'd be crazy. It's nice you guys are helping each other out. 5,000 minutes is 83 hours. That's like four days. Well, three and a half days, I guess. It's pretty good. It seems longer than that, but yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess that's about right, eh? Or I banned you for a week for setting a bad level on viewer level night. Did you specifically make a bad level for him? Because then that's just in bad taste. 
I still gotta watch Order. I'm not sure he's just like never on when I'm around. I don't know. It's it's weird to say, but I don't really watch a lot of streams. I stream a lot of streams, but I don't always watch a lot of streams. I guess in a way, like on the one hand, it's kind of like shopping in the place that you work. Like, you know, you've got your you've got your ties, so like you like to and you like to go see your friends when they're working and stuff. <laughs> go say hey to your friends when they're working and like, you know. But at the same time, it's like, when I'm off the clock, I want to go do something else. For the most part, I just don't want to be sitting in this chair all day. Even if I try to set this up as ergonomically as possible, I spend so much time here. Sometimes I'll watch Twitch on the TV in the other room, I'll watch it like on a PlayStation and I'll chat on my phone. But, you know, sometimes I like to just turn my brain off and not worry about interacting with people. So sometimes I also just lurk. <laughs> Told two people English only. They proceed to speak another language when I was complaining that their English is not good. I get it, but I can't understand nor can the community, so it's not fair. Yeah, that's... The thing is, if they're... In that situation, what they should do is just whisper each other. With whatever language they're speaking, you know? I've had people come in here too and say their English isn't great. And I'll try to, like, talk a bit slower sometimes, or try to use simpler language if I can. Sometimes, like, I've had people say, like, basic things in other languages that I do understand, and then it's okay, but the thing is, it's like, where do you draw the line? And like you said, chat doesn't understand, really. Or as streams and most of us are sleeping, you're just waking up. TTS is going on off. <laughs> TTS is fun. I like TTS. Man, streaming is so cool. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Like, when you're when you're a small streamer like me, like you can chat with people and you can have conversations, you know? Like some of you guys, I know you guys. I don't know this red octagon uh, you know, joker who just showed up today out of out of the blue. I'm just teasing, Bob. I'm just teasing. But like <laughs> I feel like I get to know you guys a little bit. Streamers who have hundreds or like thousands of viewers for the most part, they're not gonna be like Yo, hey, Herschel, good to see you again. You had your, you, you had your supper yet? You know it's getting kind of late there. Oh, Herschel's definitely had supper by now. It's like... It's like midnight there, right? Like quarter to midnight or something? See, I wouldn't know that if, if there were like 2,000 of you. But a fun thing a fun thing with the bigger streamers is like, yeah, you get text-to-speech going on all the time and it's it's pretty funny sometimes. How do you even say that time? Like, I know how you write it. It's like quarter to one in the morning. That's how I would say it. You guys are using a decimal instead of a colon. I don't think I've seen that. No, I have seen that. That's what my phone says. When it's quarter to one, my phone says zero, zero, colon, 45. The decimal is different here. Aura's mostly Mario Maker, right? I know I've seen him before, but yeah, it's probably because I'm in bed, but I don't see him as much. Mm. He usually is dinner when you're streaming. Yeah. Uh, live temporarily, my cousin. Six and nine years old. Six and nine-year-olds are rough to live with. <laughs> nine-year-old cousin walks in to talk to your six-year-old cousin, just busts in and lies on the dog's bed for no reason. Dog beds? Okay, dog beds are kind of comfy. Also, your English is exceptional, Red. One of them tried- wait, I'm going backwards through chat. I'm time traveling. One of them told you you should learn their language? I hope that's the one that got- Well, you said you timed them out. I would, like, ban that <laughs> I might ban someone like that. 
Be like, dude, go find a tag that has whatever your language is. I don't know. You can search by your language, whatever that language is. You know? And, like, I, I love other languages. I think it's super cool. We have chats in here about languages all the time. And when we're specifically talking about other languages, I'm fine with people, you know, like, especially I'll get people in here speaking Dutch sometimes, or French or Spanish, because they know that I can understand a little bit of those. You know? Use Google Translate. Yeah. If I have to use Google Translate, I'm like, no, forget it. But sometimes I'll get someone coming in here, like, like Dutch, right? Dutch is such a cute language. You know, I named my Rhyhorn Nosehorn because the Dutch word for rhinoceros is Nosehorn, which means Nosehorn. Like a Dutch, like a, the first Dutch person to ever see a rhino was like, what is this creature? It has a horn on its nose. Nose horn. Boom. There you go. It's called a nose horn. Which I think is actually what rhinoceros means. Like, rhino is horn, right? And ceres is nose? Or I might have it backwards. But I just think it's so funny. So, like, sometimes I'll have a Dutch person come in and be like, Oh yeah, this word is that. And I'm like, dude, that's funny. I like that. So talking, like, about languages and stuff. But if you come in here and you drop, like, a paragraph in Portuguese, I might just delete the message because I don't know what you said. You could be saying, like, some really racist crap or who knows, right? I'd be like, sorry, dude. If I don't understand what you're saying, then I don't want it in the chat. And even if I do understand, like, if it's French, I'm fluent in French. If someone comes in, they can say whatever they want in French, and I'll probably understand at least most of it. You know, unless it's, like, really obscure language, you know? But chat doesn't know what you're saying. What if you're making fun of chat and I'm like, <laughs> we we chat, <laughs> chat is le dumb. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, dog beds can be comfy, but as you can feel the wood through the dog bed and the carpet is not comfy, but she still lies on it. I would be more concerned about spoiling stuff than lying on the dog bed. Every time I go visit my parents, I lie on the dog's bed. They got one of those big ones from Costco, like the big dog bed. For a big dog. And their dog is medium sized. She only takes up like 20% of it. It's a big bed. I can curl up on it and fit my whole self on the dog bed. It's a big dog bed. I've napped on there with the dog before. <laughs> Lately feels like Rayman Legends, you get a couple of interesting viewers. <laughs> the thing is, I don't- sometimes it's kind of fun dealing with stuff. I don't know. You know? You used to have a point redemption for teaching a French word. I did, and then I realized, like, I have to do a lot more research on that. Not even research, but, like, it takes time because I have to think of, like, okay, what are all these words I can teach people? What would be a fun way to- you know, say what it means and stuff. Sip of water time. You know what? Just for old time's sake, let me teach you a French word. Which, by the way, has pretty much been replaced with the question of the day, because I think that's more engaging and, you know. Everybody can kind of weigh in on that. Lady Luck? I haven't been using Lady Luck. She does have False Swipe. I guess I can get another False Swipe in on this thing. You took four years of French. Oh, wait, wait. Oui, oui. Oh, yeah, let me teach you guys a French word, okay? Uh, pantoufle. Pantoufle. <laughs> it's spelled like pantoufle or pantoufle. It means slippers. So it's like pantoufle, but you just kind of say pantouf, and it's cute. Aw, oh, struggle. I was like, maybe it won't hurt itself. Are there any Pokemon abilities that help with catching stuff? I don't think so, eh? Not really. Can be good experience, too. Yeah, like, I like learning stuff, and to be honest, if I get troublemakers in here, I'd rather it be when I have, like, ten viewers than, like, a hundred. Hopefully I get to that point at some at some point where I have 100 people. Um, you know. Should I continue playing the Great Ace Attorney today or should I play more Undertale? I was gonna say yes and then I didn't realize it was an or. 
Oh, how are you liking Ace Attorney? Those games are so cool. They're tricky, though. I feel like I always get stuck somewhere. And then I come back later, you know? But they're cool. Don't speak other languages, so it's impossible for you to ban that way. Did you just say your English was exceptional, and then you said impossible like two minutes later? <laughs> Question of the day is more engaging. Yeah. It's, it's more engaging, it's fun, because everyone can kind of weigh in. Like, not one of you guys has been like, Ha <laughs> pantoufle, that's such a cute French word. <laughs> Gotta retune guitar. Oh, I love tuning guitars. I tune guitars for fun. I'll go visit my family and I'll just like tune their guitar. I'm like, I ho hope your E string is in tune, because I'm tuning it to that one. <laughs> I did smile. <laughs> One streamer that I like to watch has, um, I, his, he's got, like, that's the other thing I noticed with big streamers, is their chats will try to, like, troll them constantly. They'll try to troll them and they'll say all kinds of stupid stuff. And this guy in particular, it's, like, part of the culture that they'll say, like, stupid things and then he gets mad at them, but it's, like, you know, every stream has its own culture, right? So that's kind of funny. But... He's like, why can't you just say something like, you're my you're my favorite streamer, smile. And when they put a smiley face, like the colon right bracket, when they put that in the TTS, it says smile. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. That's cute. It actually says smile in TTS. I always thought it would say colon right bracket, or like smiley face or smile emoticon or something. You're my favorite streamer, smile emoticon, colon right bracket, or closing bracket or whatever. But sometimes, sometimes the text to speech says smile. I'm like, aw. Any smilers in chat? Do we have any smilers in chat? We got one. <laughs> got the one. Focus is always smiling. She doesn't have a camera, but I can I can hear that she's always smiling on her streams. You guys are all following Focus, by the way, right? You better be. You better be following Focus, because she's awesome. I don't think you can click on her name and follow for some reason. Um, but here, that'll help you. That'll help you find it. There you go. Yeah, you always smile too. You got the or smile. Eel's always smiling. Did you know that? Even when he's not, he's he's upside down and he's actually smiling this whole. Okay, that's not true. I'm just teasing. You get that a lot in IRL? You always have a smile on your face? See, I knew it. I can hear it. I can feel it through the screen right now. You're smiling. Because you're, cause you're laughing. Because you're like, ha oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently my grandparents say that about me a lot. That I'm always laughing and stuff, and I sound like I'm always happy. Because I'm always happy. I'm mostly always happy. <clears throat> Fifth case? Oh yeah, right, right. Ace, Ace Attorney. I asked you about that. First case of the game was crazy and insane. Definitely could have shaved off an hour of court time. An hour of court time? Is that- did you- did you have to resort to like, I don't know, try this piece of evidence. Maybe it's this one. <laughs> you only put octagonal sign WC on TTS? Does it say it like that? I bet it does. Octagonal sign WC. Uh, let's see. Whoops. I'm waiting to see if Articuno's eyes are closed. I'm like, Cammy, it'll say asleep. <laughs> it'll, it'll have the little Zs if it's sleeping. I'm like, wait, are its eyes open or closed? Oh my gosh. It says Red Octagon Water Closet. <laughs> uh, where is Water Closet? That's a UK thing, right? Or is that specifically like in in uh, England? Or is that all of UK? Do you have water closets in Scotland, Herschel? I guess that's what it says, right? On the washroom door, it'll have like WC. And then maybe like men or women sign or something.
So Herschel and Kaylin, you guys swapped all your legendaries. You're all good now. That's awesome. Thanks for helping each other out. And also not for, like, running away with each other's Pokemon. That's very respectful of you. I mean, you probably want yours back, but... We were talking the other day how you gotta be careful who you trade with. Uh, let's... See. We need to heal. Man, this thing's gonna kill itself again, though. It's gonna knock itself out. Does anybody know what the catch rate is for an Articuno with, like, very low health and, uh, just regular Pokeball? Sleeping or not? I forget how much sleeping does. Isn't it supposed to be, like, double chance or something? It's a lot, right? Oh, I didn't realize I was confused. Hey, I wish they would put a little thing for confused. I didn't even notice. I still have battle animations off because I keep forgetting to put it back on. Hmm. Sometimes you have WC there. Or in Taco Bell. <laughs> in Taco Bell, they call it a, a restroom. Only in Taco Bell? <laughs> I love how specific that one is. Sometimes we have water closets. Or if you're in Taco Bell, it's called a restroom. <laughs> That's funny. Not in McDonald's, they don't say restroom. That's funny. Mm, okay, okay. Full restore. Stop getting frozen and confusion and stuff. Sheesh. What even keeps confusing me? I haven't been paying attention. I'm talking to you guys. I'm just like, okay, low health, heal. Uh, thing's awake, put it to sleep. Thing is healthy, use an attack. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Stop being confused. Only place you've seen it, but suppose it's an American chain. McDonald's has the symbols. Hmm. Huh. Actually, I think most of our places have just symbols too. Come to think of it. In McDonald's they say McRestroom. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> but wait, do the UK McDonald's, what if they say McWater Closet? Water Closet. That's like... Why are all the names for Washroom weird? I think Washroom is the only one that makes sense. If you think about, like, restroom, like, you're not really resting. Like, you're, I mean, you are, I guess, you know? But it's not a room where you go to take a rest. And it's not a bathroom. It's a bathroom? This is a thing in, in, um, in French. Hey, we got her to Kuno, sweet. In French, you say... Salle de bain, which means like bathroom, literally bathroom, like the room where you take a bath. And that's what it means, is the room where you take a bath. So that's the one in your house or, you know, in a house or maybe a hotel or somewhere where you might actually take a bath. But if you go to like the mall or if you're in McDonald's in like Quebec or presumably in any French speaking place, I guess, and you ask for the bathroom, they'll laugh at you. They'll be like, why do you want to take a bath in McDonald's? Like, what? <laughs> the bathroom? They're like, silly goose. So they usually just say toilet. And I know in, um, is that a UK thing too? You just call it the toilet? I'm like, oh, where's the toilet? Like, yeah, that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for the room. You're looking for the toilet, which hopefully is in a room, you know, for privacy and stuff. But bathroom doesn't really make sense. And some people say it in public, but I think mostly people here say washroom or restroom. Washroom kind of makes sense. I mean, you should be washing up, you know, after. Wash your hands. You should be. <laughs> it's just funny how these things... Are. But water closet? I mean, that does make sense too, though, in a way. It's kind of a closet. It's kind of a closet. And there's water in it. Explosion? I don't... I think I want explosion. I don't want explosion. 3.5% catch rate. And 7% when asleep with 1 HP. Dang, that is so low. But that's specifically for these legendaries, right? That's crazy. Man, Articuno's so nice looking. It actually kind of looks way cooler than the shiny one. L laboratory? Wait. L Lavatory, do you mean? Or do you actually call it like a laboratory? 
Dexter's laboratory. Wawa closet? Hey, Wawa means goose. Did you know that in... Oh, what language is it? It's, it's like, it's a... Um... It's a First Nations language. It's like Cree or Ojibwe. I think it's Cree. Wawa means goose. Fun stuff. Oh yeah, we need a... Okay, this is... Oh no, we did this. This is the Reggies. Never gotten used to calling any public restroom a restroom. You called a bathroom your whole life. I think I default to washroom. When I was a kid, I used to say bathroom. This must be... Latios and Latios, maybe? Wait, there's like a sign outside, right? Oh no, it says when I go in. Okay, sign in the top left. Soul room. Oh! Yeah, I think that's Latios and Latios. We got these. We got that. So the name of the room, is that the, uh... Um... The plate that you need? The slate, rather? So there's a discovery room, needs discovery... Squall Room? Oh, this one's Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, I have no idea what most of these are, and I forgot about a bunch of them, so... That was for Articuno, but the other birds should be the same. That would make sense, right? I'm gonna use that number as, an, as like, a rough thing for all the legendaries. Genome Room? Oh, this is... New. I guess I haven't been in here yet. <laughs> hey, I was learning about genomes the other day. This looks like a Deoxys room, but I don't know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, There's a... So I was looking up, like, breathing, right? Because for my stories, I'm working on, like, a species of people that would have to, like, live under the sand. And I was like, how the heck would they hold their breath that long? Because they're, like, they're humanoid, right? So I was like, how would they hold their breath that long? And so I was looking up animals that can hold their breath for a really long time. Sea turtles can, which is cool. Genome is Mewtwo, oops. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Because Deoxys isn't in the game yet, so that was why I was like, it seems like Deoxys, but not... That actually was, uh... That actually works out, Herschel. Darn it, I keep coming the wrong one. Uh, what am I low on? Heal ball? Hey, this one looks a little bit like a love ball. Let's just get some. Why not? One premier ball in the house. We could use a top up on these. Yeah, let's go get Mewtwo. Oh shoot, it's been two hours already? What the heck? I swear I just looked and it was one hour. Because I was gonna say, when we were talking about QQ bar, <laughs> we were talking about QQ bars. <laughs> QQ bars. When we were talking about QQ bars, I, <laughs> I was gonna say, guys, you can go see QQ bars in three hours. Hang out until then. <laughs> QQ bars. Dude, luxury ball is so cool. Let's just get them. Feel ball's the Walmart love ball. <laughs> oh boy. Love Ball, I think, was only for a Skitty event, is that right? Because I got I got the Skitty with the Love Ball. So that's the only one you can get in a Love Ball, right? It's not true. If I want to explore Veilstone, you'll see Daxus Meteorites. Oh yeah, I saw those! They're near the, the Giraffe Rig guy. It's a Kurt Ball. Well, yeah, but, okay, because you traded me a Skitty in a Love Ball. Thank you again. And you traded me uh, an Eevee in a Moon Ball. Thank you again. But the Kurt Balls that you could get were only for events, right? And you said you can't change the species of Pokémon. Like, you can't breed it onto a different species. Skitty? That's what I meant! What? Oh, it's a Heal Ball. Oh, wait. What was in the- what comes in a Love Ball, then? I swear I have something in a Love Ball. QQ bars. <laughs> that might be an inside joke now. Cross the street neighbor's baby has been saying goose when she wants water. Yeah. Tell her she speaks Cree. That's pretty cool. 
<laughs> Selby's house in Celestic Town. The little the little shrine thing, right? It's pretty cool. Hmm, I really ought to redeem that code for 100 Pokeballs. I'm kind of running low. There's an event where they got the balls as an item. Oh, dang. What was that for again? That was in some countries? Was That, that was this game, right? Man, that's so not fair. Come on. It's easier than ever to distribute things worldwide. Just give me some heckin' Pokeballs, please. Please and thank you. Hey, wait, so you should catch a Ditto. No, the Ditto won't pass it on. It has to be the determined parent. Dang. I would never use them. I would just, like, never use them. That's so much pressure. <laughs> Nothing would be worthy. Dude, I have a lot of escape ropes. We got 30 quick balls instead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, quick balls are the best. But they're so easily, they're so readily available. Look at this. I could probably use a few more. <laughs> I spend all my money on Pokeballs. <laughs> like, how many Pokemon do I need to, to fill the Pokedex? And how many Pokeballs do I have? I've got like thousands of Pokeballs. <laughs> Rolling Soul, hi, I'm so sorry, I saw you say hi, and I was I was like, say hi to Soul, and then I like was in the middle of a sentence, and then I didn't say it, and then I forgot, and I'm so sorry. How are you? It's so good to see you. I feel really bad for inadvertently ignoring you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can send your points back for waving. I know it's only 100, but I feel bad, because you shouldn't have to wave to get my attention. talking about having a hundred viewers. I can't even keep track of you guys. <laughs> uh, where is it? What? Oh, it skips the queue. I can't. Nah, my bad. <laughs> oh, man. How the heck are you? How the heck are you? No, wrong person. I need to get Mewtwo. So Mewtwo is in the genome room. How are you supposed to know? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. I can get a bunch. Okay, this is... Okay, let me guess, you guys, because they all are related, right? So the Discovery ones... Wait, that's... I'm not sure what that is. This one is gold and silver. Is this... Fire red and leaf green or something? That doesn't make sense. This is Latios and Latias. From Ruby Sapphire. Squall Slate. Um, oh. Is that, um, from Crystal? Maybe? Uh, okay. Oceanic Slate would be for Kyogre, I guess. And Tectonic would be for Groudon. That's cool. I thought those guys were in uh, the other game. Stratospheric Slate is Rayquaza. Oh yeah, not all of them are version exclusive, right? So you can get these guys in both games. Because I saw uh, Caleb was doing shiny hunting for Rayquaza, and he was playing Diamond. Look at the resolution on the left of that mysterious shard. Look at the resolution on that. Why is that... Why is that so pixelated over there? So pixelated. Look. They're all so pixelated. <laughs> um, Alright, genome slate. Let's get it. You remember what squall slate was? I'm trying to think. I'm like, well... If it's Crystal... Oh, it's probably Celebi? No, Celebi's not in the game yet. Huh. Well, don't tell me. Don't tell me, because I can go get it. Hey, have a good sleep. It's second late there, right? Yeah, so wait, you're in the same time zone as Herschel, because it's 112 there for you guys, right? You stay up so late, dude. Yeah, let me get one of these. Let me get one of each. Well, I know I need two soul slates, because there's two, right? I'm going to get two soul slates. It's Mew 3. Dude, spoilers. 
Have a good sleep, Octagon. Have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging out. Um... Let me get one of I'm gonna get one of each. Should be safe to get one of each, because obviously- I mean, they're here. I'm gonna need them, right? I'm- Oh, I was gonna spend my little ones first. Wait. Yeah, let me spend my- oh. Well, whatever. Dang, you need a lot of shards. I thought I was gonna never run out of shards. I had so many shards, and I'm like, dang. Alright, so we've got one of everything now, right? So I can always see what stuff is, and then decide if I want to shiny hunt it. Alright, let's go to the Mewtwo thing. We'll take a little break, because it's been two hours. What is with me doing two hours and, like, not taking breaks? Well, this is the Soul one. Soul is Latios and Latias, right? You guys can confirm that. I think this is this is Latios and Latias. And those ones are cool shinies, I think. They're pretty cool. So let's leave that alone. Oh here, Stratosphere Groom. Oh yeah, this is the Rayquaza one. I doubt I'm gonna be shiny hunting for Rayquaza. But I'm gonna leave my options open. Hey, what are these? Who do these represent? This is definitely Rayquaza. I love these statues. Oh, you know it'd be so cool? I bet they have them at the Pokemon Center. If they had these little Pokemon statues- They're little, like, winged Q-bones, you know? That they've had from, like, red and blue. Oh, I wanna put those in my yard. I would get those for my yard. You know, people have, like, the- the cherubs. And, like, uh, what else do they have statues of? Or you get gnomes, you get garden gnomes, you get cherubs or lions or whatever. I would get the heckin' Pokemon statues. I would love those in my yard. That would be so cool. Where the heck was the Mewtwo one? That's not it. Give the dog a treat. Okay, we should do that. Let me find the Mewtwo room. Is it this one? Kanto room. No, this is the one I just did. Guitar tuned them back. What I miss? Well, we got the three Boids. We got the three Boids. Welcome back. Glad the guitar's tuned. Oh, there we go. So we got these three now. I don't know what's with that angle for Moltres. The angles of the Pokedex are so wonky. Okay, this is, uh, guys, whatever. Where the heck is the Mewtwo one? Where was it? This one. It's this one, right? Genome. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna save right here. Oh, wait, how are my pokes? How are my pokes? Oh, they're fine. They're fine. We'll give the dog a treat. Uh, and then we'll take a, ba uh, take a break. A hey, four, 450 Pokemon? That's pretty good. Oh, 450 seen. 440 caught. Mewtwo. Yeah, we'll get Mewtwo. Then Moltres drives me nuts. Actually, the Articuno drives me nuts too. Why is he just like standing there? So strange. Uh, what's the number for the Pokedex? How many Pokemon? Um. For the shiny charm. How many do you have to have caught for the shiny charm? I know I have some I don't need, like, uh, Manaphy and Fion and Jirachi and Mew and that. Uh, what's the number? I don't remember. Hey, the shadows don't move. Well, that one wouldn't, and that one wouldn't. The shadows on, the, on here don't move. Anyways, I'll have to double check. Hey, I can- I can cross these off. Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Done. Very nice. Alright. We'll see if this puppy dog wants a treat. Turn my controller lights off. I don't want to waste the battery. So you just need all dex entries? Yeah, but I'm not sure what the number is. Because you don't- you don't need everything. You don't actually- like, you don't need- who do you- you don't need Mew. Mew's not included. Jirachi's not included. You know? Um, so I know it's not really based on the number anyways, but then I could see, like, how many I'm missing. Like, you know? Is there no music in here? Oh, that's wild. Okay. Uh, dog treat time. Doggy treat time. Henry. Oh, Henry! 
Henry, want a treat? <gasps> Do you want a cookie? Oh, you want a cookie? Oh, you're so cute. His hair's all messed up. He's just been lying there. What a cute little dog. What a cute little... Oh, we gotta fill up your treat jar. We gotta fill up your treat jar, mister. There's only one left in here. It would be sad if we ran out of dog cookies. Must feed the meow meows. Like the Owen Wilson cat that says, me wow. That was too good. That was too funny. Who's, whose resub was that? That was so funny. That was simple name, right? <laughs> Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson's cat. Me wow. <laughs> oh boy. All right, feed your meow meows. I'll feed the woof woof. Come here, little woof woof. I got a cookie for you. Oh, I got a cookie for you. I'm going to let him sniff it before I pick him up. Oh, look at that. You want a cookie? Oh, yeah. Here, come here. Come here. Hershel wants to give you a cookie. Come here. Let me pick you up, sir. Oh, he's smelling my hand. He smells the treat. Let me pick you up. The treat's up here. Oh. There you go, bud. Oh, there you go. Oh, I think he wants it. Okay, here you go. Take it. Oh, yeah, he wants it. There you go. Oh, you're a cutie. Oh, you're such a good boy, Henry. You're so good. Oh, <laughs> You hear his little gulps? Because he's crunching and munching and he goes, oh, and just a little gulp. Oh. It's so cute. You're so cute. Hey, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, good puppy. Thanks for treating the dog. Thanks for treating the dog. Oh, I see the stretch potato. I'm gonna have to stretch. Catch all 493 Pokemon for shiny charm. 493? Dang, okay. I got a ways to go. It's crazy. Like, the same thing happened in Arceus. I thought I was, like, almost done. I thought I was, like, so close to being done. And then I still needed, like, a whole bunch. It was crazy. I think we're ready to go with Arceus, though. I think we're all set. I didn't notice what the number was in my Pokedex. But I have all the unknowns. I found all the Wisps. So we can go get Spiritomb. I got Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous, and they're all level 10. So we can go get Enamorous. I have the Giratina quest. We can go get Giratina. I've got the quest for Manaphy and Fion. And I know I've got the Pokemon that I need to go get that one. And then there's Arceus. So that's five. Six. That's six. No, one, two. Yeah, six Pokemon. I think that's good. I think that's... I think that's good. I got Cleavor and Lilligant and Ursaluna and all those guys. We can double check. We can double check. Maybe I'll put something in the Discord to maybe we'll talk about it in there and make sure I'm all set. But I think on Friday we'll do that. We'll plan on doing one last episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I don't know um if there's like a lot to do, but We'll see. We'll see, I guess. Uh, Meow Meow's fed. That's good. This puppy needs to get fed, too. He had his little appetizer. Uh, but I should see if he wants to eat his dinner. See if he wants to eat his dinner. What a good puppy. He's such a good boy. Except for myth mythical. All non-mythical legendaries are necessary. Or they are required, except for the mythical ones. Okay. I keep losing track of who's legendary, who's mythical, whatever. You know what I will do? I'll just look it up. <laughs> I'll look it up and make sure I'm all set. I'll check the whole Pokedex, see who I'm missing and how to get them and make sure that I can get them and it should be good. <clears throat> Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Here, let's go for intermission. We'll listen to some swell heck and chip tunes. So for anyone who's uh, new here, I know we had some new followers and stuff. So thanks again for you know for coming in and stuff, you guys. Uh, let's listen to some homemade chippy tunes. Let's listen to um. Hey, let's listen to Scourge and Remedy. I'm gonna be adding new songs to this album this week. I post a link. Oh yeah. Uh, I think you should be fine to post a link. 
If not, you'll get timed out. <laughs> I'm sure you're fine to get. I'm sure you're fine. Do I have a permit button just in case? Eh, no, it's probably fine. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Herschel. I will double check. Um, I'll have to see if there's one of these for Arceus, too, because I want to make sure. I don't want to, like, start playing Arceus on Friday and be like, oh, actually, I have a bunch of grinding to do, and that's boring. Like, oh, every Pokemon has to be level 10 in the Pokedex. That's not the case, right? I think you just need to catch everything. You don't need them all to be level 10. That would take some time. That would suck. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's take a break. Let's take a break. We'll listen to Scourge and Remedy. And we'll be back in a few minutes. And yeah, like I said, I'll be putting some new songs on this album within the week. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Enjoy the tunes. Stretch your legs. Grab some water. Whatever. We'll be back in about five to eight minutes or so. Um, let me see if this puppy dog wants his dindins. And then we'll be back. You going to bed, Herschel? All right. Have a good night. I figured you, you know, I figured you might want to give the dog a treat before you were heading out. So thanks again for that. Thanks for the link and everything. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, have a good night, Herschel. And everyone else will see you in a, in a few minutos. Have a good break, you guys.
And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you like them tunes. Hope you had a good break. I've got... A... Oh, don't make a mess. <laughs> so... The dog doesn't always like to eat in the kitchen on breaks. So I bring his food in here for him. But he also doesn't like eating in here. So... He ends up, like, pushing his bowl around. And I always worry that he's gonna, like, throw it around and make a big mess. Sometimes he kind of does. Right now he's not. He's just ignoring it. Alright, well that's K. That's fine. Alright, Mewtwo time! Mewtwo time. Oh, he's so cool. Mewtwo is so cool. He's so cool. It's just... Such a cool Pokemon. Okay. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I remember- Oh, man. Guys, the Mewtwo cry. Oh my gosh. I just realized I haven't heard that since blue and red. Oh man. Unnerve? That's what Mewtwo gets is unnerve. Oh, this is bad. So it's only like a three and a half percent chance if he's not sleeping. Great. And that's at one HP. Stay asleep, please. Oh, Mewtwo! His roar, he's like... Whatever. <laughs> I can't do it very well. So cool. Wait, and he's too worried to eat berries. Which sucks, because I was like, that's okay, I can give him a Lepa berry. No. That means no berries for this whole thing, right? That's unfortunate. Dude, me too is so cool. I don't even mind it breaking out because we get to listen to it do its cry every time. So cool. Boo, you're back. Oh man, jeez, don't scare me like that. How was your break? Hope it was good. It doesn't sound as epic in this one as it did in Red and Blue. Man, I can picture, like, Mewtwo in Red and Blue was, like, so crazy. Its growl just, it was, like, bigger. And its art was really freaky. Do you remember Mewtwo's art? The sprite? It was, like, all bent over and, like, big head, and it was very alien looking. Little more alien than it looks here. So cool though. Boop. Hey, what should we do after we get Mewtwo? Should we go shiny hunt something? That could be fun, right? I love shiny hunting. Oh, we should go look for dittos. No, we should go hatch our Eevees. We gotta go hatch our Eevees. Or not hatch our Eevees, but we gotta go get our Eevee eggs. That's what we gotta do. Get our Eevee eggs. Because I'll see about training them over to my diamond file this week. Get them all ready. Oh, next week I'm playing... I'm playing Brilliant Diamond. Oh, I bet I'm gonna love that game. <laughs> the Mewtwo does look creepy. He is so awesome. He's so, like, powerful looking and everything. You should, uh, like, look up the encounter and hear the roar. Like, turn it up and hear it. It sounds like this, but it's more, like... I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's part of the music for one thing, right? 
The music has to cut out so that it can play. You know what? I think that's it. In this game, the music doesn't stop when the Pokemon bursts out of the ball. Whereas in Red and Blue, it had to. So every Pokemon was a little bit more epic seeming. Just because the music had to stop for them to make their noise. What was another really good- there were some really- like, some of the Pokémon were really crazy looking, like, really scary. Kangaskhan was pretty cool looking. Uh, who else? Um... Executory- even- even Execute! It took up, like, the whole screen. Execute had, like, a huge sprite. Whoops. Cause it's five eggs, but it took up, like, the whole thing. It was big. Uh, who else? Who else? Nido King? Nido Queen and Nido King had some of the coolest sprites. As well as. I mean, the starters all looked pretty scary too. Like, Pokemon were more monstrous back then. Which is interesting because they looked the same, like, on the show. And I guess this might be based on the show more, like, the newer ones, I think. They kind of, like, melded more. Because the game designs were, like, the original ones, right? And then the show was kind of designed after that, I think. But they made them cuter, I think, for TV. They made them a little nicer looking. Man, I wish I had animations on. If I don't catch him, and I have to reset... Wait, he's not, like, doing anything. He's got, like, what is this moveset? He's got, like, the weirdest moveset. He's just, like, swapping stats or anything. But he has, like... You know what? I want to see his animations. Let's, let's reset it. I want to see his animations. I should have turned them on for the birds, but I forgot. But I should have the animations on. I turned them off for the speedrun, which was not on this file. You turned them off for the speedrun, but I turned them off for Battle Tower, because we were going through and it was taking so long, right? Because you gotta grind and it takes forever. So I had turned the animations off. But I want the animations on. I want to see Mewtwo moving around. He's just so static. I'm trying to think who else had, like, really crazy sprites back in the day. Maybe even Firo. Firo, I think, was pretty scary looking. Why using Premier Ball? Because it's the coolest ball I have. Right? I don't think I really have a cooler looking one. I guess I could use, like, whatever. <clears throat> Let's see, is there a cooler looking Pokeball that I want my Mewtwo in? I mean, Master Ball kinda is like the Mewtwo ball, you know? I sort of do want to catch him in the Master Ball. Mm, but if I catch him in the Master Ball... I'm just thinking, okay, what is the most, like, oh my god, I need a Master Ball right now situation? It's not Mewtwo. These guys are the easiest things. They're, like, the most guaranteed. There's no way they're gonna run away. If you kill them, they come back. Like, these are the lowest risk things in the game, you know? If you kill them, I think you have to fight the Pokemon League and then you can come back. But, you know, like, they're not going anywhere. Mewtwo Ball? Mewtwo Ball. Mm, this better not be a trap. What's a Mewtwo Ball? Oh. Oh, the one that Mewtwo uses? Yeah, that thing is creepy and cool. I didn't know it was called a Mewtwo ball. <gasps> Those are cool. I would... I don't know if I would actually want to catch him in a Mewtwo ball. Just for the irony. But, I don't know. Yeah, the Mewtwo balls are super creepy. Oh, man. There's screenshots from the movie. Man. Hey, there's a Mewtwo toy in a luxury ball. Should I put him in a luxury ball? 
Thanks, I found another toy I want. Mewtwo ball. Netball looks funny. I like the netball. I think it's pretty cool. The Premier Ball is kind of boring. Like, I kind of... I don't know. I wanted to catch him in a purple ball, but it's pretty much just a Master Ball, and I don't want to waste the Master Ball. I mean, I could put him in a Luxury Ball. I think he'd like that. I think he'd like to chill in a Luxury Ball. It's also kind of cool to just catch all these legendaries in just a plain old Pokeball. The Dive Ball. The Dive Ball is nice, too. Um, the thing with these ones is these are, like, they have specific... Like, Mewtwo's not a water or bug type, so I don't know if it has a worse chance. Or if it's just, like, a Pokeball. Like, I don't know if that hurts the chances, you know? This one might count as a cave. The Dusk Ball might work. The Quick Ball is my favorite. I have a Quick Ball on my shelf, and it's so cool. But the Luxury Ball is really cool, too. I could put him in a Luxury Ball. But I do sort of want him in the Poke or in the Master Ball now, because I've been thinking about it. I was just going to put him in the Premier Ball, like the birds. But I kind of want to put him in the Master Ball. You think I should do Luxury? Oh, but the Master Ball. But like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I kind of want to get another Master Ball before I waste one. But at the same time, like, what are the odds? Like, what's gonna happen? I run into a shiny Ponyta, and it runs away, or a shiny Growlithe or Abra, but, like, shiny hunting is so practical now. You can just go do it. It's not the biggest deal, right? You, and then a quick ball would probably do the trick anyways. Oh, I kinda... Hmm. I do like the Master Ball. It looks cool. Luxury Ball does look nicer than... You know what? Yeah, he deserves respect. Respecty. ye we'll do Luxury Ball. He deserves it. He's Mewtwo. He's heck cool. But, see, the other reason why I kind of want to catch him in a Master Ball... Oh, I forgot to restore... The other reason I kind of want to put him in a Master Ball is because that's what you did back in Red and Blue. He's the one you used the Master Ball on. It was Mewtwo. Like, it was Mewtwo. That was it. You used it on Mewtwo. That's just what you did. Mewtwo's lower level. Yeah, but he's level 70. That's a high level for a wild Pokemon. What do you want? A wild level 100 Mewtwo? <laughs> That would be so hard to catch, though. That would probably be... It would be too difficult, right? Because you'd have to be a level 100. I think 70 is... Is that the highest that you find anything? Man, I still kind of want to put him in a Master Ball. Just, for, like, for old time's sake. Otherwise, I'm never going to use the Master Ball. I kind of hate having it. <laughs> like, I don't like having the Master Ball and scrolling past it. I always feel like I'm gonna accidentally just use it on something, you know? And the Premier Ball is pretty nice. But I do kind of like the idea of having the different uh, legendaries and different balls. Kind of deserves the Master Ball, right? You know what I mean? Like... Okay, okay, how about we try, like, 10 Luxury Balls or something? And then we'll reevaluate. But the Luxury Ball sure is nice. But there's only one Master Ball and there's only one Mewtwo, so. I'm almost hoping he doesn't get caught in the Luxury Ball. <laughs> I think I want to put him in the Master Ball. You can get another Master Ball. You can. It's possible to get more Master Balls. And, you know, he's special. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with the Master Ball. I really don't need it, right? 
Because the other thing, like when, when, in what, in what situation, right? In what situation do you need the Master Ball? There's a shiny Pokemon that's gonna run away. But in this game, honestly, who cares? You can Poke Radar. There's like you, if you really want a shiny of something, it's not like a one in eight thousand chance that. Oh my God, I need to. You know what I mean? Like, let's do it. Mewtwo, all the respect, buddy. All the respect. Master Ball. Old time's sake. There he is. There we go. Mewtwo and the Master Ball. I, uh, I kind of want to actually use the Mewtwo. Aw, <sighs> oh, dude, I'm so happy. I didn't think I'd be this happy about... Like, the legend legendary Pokemon are so cool, but they're also, like... They're served up to you on, like, a silver platter. Especially in Ramina's Park. You don't have to do anything. Oh, you gotta spend some time in the underground. But that's fun. I've been doing that anyways. You don't have to do anything special, you know? Man. By recombining Muse genes? That's not quite it. Said to have the most savage heart among Pokemon. Yeah. Trey cool. Trey cool, dude. I kind of I kind of want to use him. Like he's so so cool. But what are these moves? What the heck is like? Oh, oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, it's the statue. Oh man. Oh man. So cool, dude. Oh man, can I climb up there and like? There's stairs here, and you can't do anything. Man. Me too. So cool. I'm hiding behind this thing. Look how cool he is. <laughs> Man, me too. Yeah, I'm really happy. I think Mewtwo. I never I haven't seen Mewtwo since red and blue. No, silver? Crystal? He was in Johto, right? Man, I just I haven't seen him in so long. Like in game. It hit me, like, right in the childhood, like, right in the feels. I- that- uh, Blue and red, that was like- that was like my first- my first game that I ever had was Pokemon Blue. And I just remember, like, that cave, right? You come out at, at Cerulean City, and there's this little- There's this little area that's like- it's fenced off. And there's water blocking it, and it's this little island with a door. And you can see it from, like, the third town in the game. Right? Palette, and then you have Viridian, and then Pewter, and then Cerulean. Yeah. And you see it from the very beginning of the game, pretty much. And you're like, what the heck is in there? Or what's in there? Like, what the heck could that be? And then after you beat the Pokemon League, you can go and you can get the birds. And you can go get Mewtwo. And it's just like, that is so... Like, that encounter is so important to me. I didn't really think about it, you know? It's so important to me. I didn't even realize until I was just fighting him. And I'm like, oh man, this is like the coolest thing. So yeah, Master Ball all the way. I don't even mind not having a Master Ball. Because what am I... <laughs> Now I'm gonna jinx it, but, you know, what the heck am I gonna find where it's like, oh, I wish I hadn't used that Master Ball in Mewtwo, you know? Should fight something with Mewtwo. He's not allowed in the Battle Tower, right? That would be... That's too bad. So I gotta get my button gear, trade with only 630 points, and then maybe I can get another Master Ball. But it's not that important. It's not a big deal. What do we even fight with Mewtwo? I, what's even, like, worthy? Or we can go fight, um... Did we fight Maylene again? Well, who did we end on last time? We fought the first three, right? We got the first three. So we got Rourke, and we got Gardenia, and we got Maylene. Uh, Maylene. <laughs> and then who's fourth? Wake, right? Crash or Wake? Fight a Tauros? 
Oh man. A whole bunch of Tauros and I'll just lift them all in the air. Who else was there? There were... I don't know if you were referencing that or if that was just crazy, like, coincidence. Is that what you were... were you referencing, like, in the movie? Big ol' hydrate. Big ol' hydrate. I'm gonna get my Mewtwo. I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna go get Mewtwo. Uh, where is he? <laughs> oh god, where is he? This is all these chancies. Uh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Where are you, buddy? There he is. <sighs> He's got three best IVs. That's guaranteed, I think, right? They all have at least three best. Man. Oh, he's so cool. Why does he have Unnerve? That's so random. It's not a good ability, is it? Unnerve. You see that first Pokemon TV show? That's it. Dude, I've been re-watching those. They're so good. I'm on the one- we just watched, um... We just watched the Charmander episode. Okay, there's Articuno. Uh, where's... okay, Moltres. I wish this was a hotkey for box list instead of, you know? Cool. And Zapdos is over... Here, there he is. Hey, there's a Tauros. Hey, Tauros, you wanna get your butt kicked by a Mewtwo? Mewtwo used to have Recover and Psychic and Shadow Ball and... What the heck was his fourth move? We're gonna have to go in the Move Tutor. I don't think he has anything good. What is... Th what are these? Okay, this is awesome. What are these? Why would I want that? Why would I want that? <sighs> Why would you... What is this? Let's go see if he can learn something cool. Recover, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and... Hey, we're in the right town for this. What the heck were the other... What was the fourth move? Shadow Ball was like the Mewtwo move. It might be the only thing that learned it in Red and Blue. That can't be right. Is that right? I don't- I don't know if that's right. That could be wrong. I could be wrong about that one. Battle a trainer with Mewtwo? Should I hyper train him? There's no point. <laughs> There's no point! I could fight the Pokemon League with him. Maybe I should hyper train Mewtwo. Man, I'm just so- I didn't think I'd- I'd be like, yeah, okay, we'll go get Mewtwo, whatever. Like, I don't care about- birds too much. Like, I'm, I'm really- I'm glad to have them. I'm glad to have them, but I'm probably not gonna use them. Like, I feel so cheap using legendaries, you know? So I usually don't. But Mewtwo is just like, we go back. I mean, the birds too, but you, you know, just- uh, he's, It's heckin' Mewtwo. It's like the most legendary. It's like the most legendary Pokemon. You know what I mean. We could go fight, uh, the Chansey lady. Oh, we go fight the- the fighting guy with Mewtwo. He'll cry. Let's fight Wake. Let's fight Crasher Wake. But first, let's see if Mewtwo can get some good attacks. It's power swap. Alright. Uh, Life Do. Laser Focus. Disable. Laser Focus could be cool. Ancient power, Psycho Cut. We don't want that. We want tons of special attack. Aura Sphere. Oh, Aura Sphere is special. That's what, dude, where's like Recover and stuff? He has to learn Recover. Probably later. Can you catch Mewtwo and Arceus? I don't think so. I don't think so. Gotta get him some good moves. Maybe TMs. He probably doesn't learn anything else, right? 70 is probably it. 
I want him to know recover and oh you learn focus punch that's not you learn hail it'd be cool if you could filter based on what one Pokemon can learn you can learn ice beam oh shoot ice beam heck dude we're putting ice beam <laughs> hey Cynthia I'm coming for you oh man ice beam it's too bad the ability is unnerved. Does, does, does Mewtwo get other abilities in this one? I'm assuming it's all set. I'm assuming it's all set. Hyper Beam. Ice Beam Mewtwo. Yeah, I can't believe he can get Ice Beam. Although I never tried... I would have thought he could learn Dazzling Gleam. Solar Beam. Iron Tail. That makes sense. He has a tail. I bet he can learn Flamethrower too. Hmm, Shadow Ball. Wait, wait, Shadow Ball... You can't buy Shadow Ball! Can you? Wait, can you buy Shadow Ball? I don't think you can. If you can, I'll use it on it. Well, no, he needs it, right? It's a Mewtwo thing. I don't think you can... It might be an egg move, which would suck, because... It can be purchased at the Battle Tower. Alright, fine. Mewtwo, enjoy Shadow Ball. I said Power Sap. Get out of here, Power Sap. Get out of here. Get right out of here. Do I give him Recover? I could give him Recover, but he should be a Sweeper, right? Shockwave. Flamethrower. I knew he could use Flamethrower. Sandstorm. He could just do, like, everything. Rock Tomb? So he can't- oh, he can do rest. He can't do Volt Switch. No Thief. He's like the first thing I have seen that can't learn Thief. And apparently Flygon. Okay. Overheat, Scald, no. Okay. Focus Blast. Energy Ball could be good, actually. Can you buy Energy Ball? You gotta be real careful with these TMs. A lot of them you only get, like, a handful and that's it. That's it. I think we're good. But I want to see all the stuff he can learn. Avalanche. All this ice stuff. Rock slide. Poison jab? What? He can learn those, but not, like, dark pulse? I would have thought dark pulse. When I picture non-grass types learning grass knot... I picture them just ripping some grass out of the ground and trying to trip the other Pokemon with them. <laughs> like, what do they do? I can blast! Good job, Focus Blasting. Oh, hey, I forgot to check something. I forgot to check something. Uh, once you teach a Pokemon a TM move, they can remember it, right? I don't think they can. I, I checked something. Man, they should just be in here. It's so garbage that you have to- that you can, like, waste a TM and then waste another one. <laughs> Alright, so Mewtwo, uh, does not have any, like, grass moves or electric moves. I probably should have given him- wait, does he need Aura Sphere? Should I give him, like, Thunderbolt? Should we do Bolt Beam on him instead? He's a sweeper, right? Oh, shoot, yeah. Aura Sphere? Do we want Thunderbolt instead, you guys? Instead of Aura Sphere? Fighting is good against what? Normal only, right? Is fighting only... No, normal and steel. And rock. Mm -hmm. Do we want Thunderbolt on this guy for coverage? Or are we just gonna psychic everything to death? May lower special defense. Oh, Aura Sphere never misses, which is cool. It seems like a random kind of thing, right? Should we go Bolt Beam? Let's go Bolt Beam on Mewtwo. What the heck is Thunderbolt? I love teaching things Thunderbolt because I can get as many Thunderbolts as I want. There we go. Thunderbolt and also Thunder. Let's do Thunderbolt. Shadow ball everything. That's Kadabra's job. 
Oh, look how colorful. So colorful. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna hopefully sleep, sleep with Mewtwo. Hey, what about, uh, what does Electrode know? Let's see if these guys are actually in fighting shape for, uh, for what's-his-face. Yeah, you're good. You're good, dude. Um, you're gonna not do great, probably. He'll be all right. He can Thunderbolt as long as he's faster. He'll be okay. But he's level 96. He should be okay. Oliver I would be concerned about. And Electrode also is not strong enough. Uh, but let's see. Oh. We gotta give Mewtwo a... Should we just give him a choice thing? Choice, um, specs or... Lucky Egg. Now let's try Lucky Egg. We gotta hyper train this boy. For no reason. <laughs> this is extra nostalgic, but I kinda want him to stay level 70 forever. I don't want him to grow up. Can you get a shiny Mewtwo? You can, and he's green. And I like the purple one better. I know Herschel was going for a shiny Mewtwo. Don't make me do the puzzle, dude. He's making me do the puzzle. Good thing I know the puzzle. Like the back of my hand. Which I know decently well, but I don't spend a lot of time looking at the back of my hand, so, you know. Like, we have to run around and get that blue one now? Oh no, we have to go past- wait. We have to go past these tuber kids. Uh oh, was that wrong? That might have been wrong. <laughs> I think that was the wrong one. Now we gotta go around this way. Yeah, this guy... I think we ignore that yellow one. I fought you, right? Oh, he won't want to fight. Um. Yeah, we need it all the way down now so we can go down here. There we go. Man, please. Ilka, Nintendo, Game Freak, whoever needs to do it, just please fix the movement in this game. You're in the Team Rocket base and let's go and you don't know what to do because you're stuck. Have you tried fighting some Team Rockets? Which base are you in? Are you in the, um... What's it called? What's it called? The Celadon one? Like the Game Corner one? Or are you in, uh... Saffron? The big base with a lot of portals? Oh, the heck with that one. Hey Dio, how you doing? I tried preparing for double night. Oh, <laughs> I tried preparing for trouble. Oh, look how tall Mewtwo is. Dang, dude. The one in the arcade. Try taking a portal. I'm sorry, there's no way I can help you. <laughs> I can't. Well, that was bad. Dang, critical hit! Did you have to critical hit there? Have you tried preparing for trouble and making it double? Dang, that was rough. I was like, Mewtwo's gonna own his butt. Nope, that did not happen. Our new Mewtwo got one shot. Gotta feed a sugar glider. Wait, is that a bird or a bat? Isn't a sugar glider kind of bat? Do you have bats? I'm so sad that we locked out Mewtwo! What the hey? <laughs> and I can't revive him because then he'll probably one-shot Sky. Oh, maybe not. He's level 97. Holy butts.
Mm, let's try anyway. Mm, Mewtwo won't like that. He hates me now. Sad face. Dang. So much damage. There's like a 20 level... There's like a 30 level gap. Okay, Mewtwo. Oh shoot, he's dragon, so... I forgot they actually gave him dragon type. That's so rad. Stop being fast with my Mewtwo! Dang, dude. Oh, Mewtwo's animations are so cool. Dude. Uh, maybe it's a speed tie? There's like no way it's a speed tie, right? No. Oh, <gasps> You avoided the attack! Mewtwo! Yes! The glorious comeback! Very nice, very nice. To be fair, Sky needs the XP less than everyone. Mm, but it's also hardest to level them up, but... Whatever, we're trying out our new Mewtwo. Why are you faster? Oh, Mewtwo. No. Dang it! I thought for sure we don't speed him. Why is everything faster? Mewtwo is like 200 speed, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just gonna revive our Mewtwo. If I can, I'll revive, uh, Sky, too. Dude, nice. Nice one. Dang! It's so strong! Oh, it's raining. There's probably a swift swim in play for some things, you know? Dang, dude. So his Pokemon all have good IVs, I think, or at least they're EV trained. Lady Luck. Toughen it out so I won't feel sad. Alright, can you get a crit? That would be cool. Crit would be super cool. Oh, <gasps> dude, Lady Luck. Dude! Dude! Dang! Dang, dude. All right, this is probably not gonna go well. Uh, we can try roosting. My attack is butts right now. <laughs> Halved, I think, right? Intimidate, no, intimidate lowers, not sharply lowered. So it's not half, it's three quarters, I guess. Oh, Stone Edge. Dang. Dude, she, like... That was crazy. Lady Luck doing work, man. Respect. I'm impressed. Trying to get all these guys to level 100 so I can hyper train them. I wonder if these guys keep getting stronger. Like if I fight them over and over. I'm so glad I turned animations back on. It's so much better. Hey, welcome back. Hope your sugar glider's happy. 
I asked probably just as you were going AFK. A sugar glider, isn't that a kind of bat? Or is that a bird? I thought it was a kind of bat. Oh, this thing is so fast. Maybe we're faster? It's not raining. Oh, he's faster. <gasps> Crunch? Oh, dude. He would have one-shot me no matter what, I think. With Crunch? I feel like even if I healed Mewtwo, he would have one-shot me with Crunch. Wait, why did it lose some health? What happened? Why did it lose some health? What was- Oh, he's got a life orb on that! Oh, that sucker. He's got a life orb, dude. He's using real strats. Life orb on this thing. Okay, there's no way with a life orb he's not gonna one-shot Mewtwo with crunch. The sugar glider's not related to bats, it's related to possum. It's a kind of possum. I'm sure I've seen one before. Let me look it up. I'm sure I've seen it some uh, sugar glider. So it's like a flying possum. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's like a little flying squirrel, but a, but possum. That's really cute. Yeah, I've seen. That. I totally forgot about those. You've got all kinds of animals there. Between the the meow meows and the sugar glider and the the little kids, you you live in a veritable zoo. It sounds like. <laughs> Smaller and friendlier than a flying squirrel. That's so cute! I saw it like, oh yeah. So cute. Dang. So he, uh, yeah, that was. Exit stage left. I gotta practice for the speedrun. Look at this, like, just trying to leave. It's, oh my gosh, it's so bad. If they, I don't care if they add more legendaries, just please fix the movement. Sugar glider and a cat. That's a good point. Do they get along? Do they get along all right? Do you have to keep them separated? Wait, berries. Um. Oh yeah, there are berries in Floroma Town. I forgot. They do get along. Do they play together? Does the sugar glider like chill on the cat's backs? That'd be kind of cute, riding the cat around. <laughs> you also have chickens. That's so cool! Do you- are you on like a farm or something? Or are you allowed to keep chickens in the city? Cause here you can't keep stuff like that in the city. I don't know what the rules are for sugar gliders. I completely forgot those guys exist, but they're so cute. I have seen them before, like ages ago. And they're awesome. He doesn't like to leave his cage for some reason. Are you sure it's not the cats? The cats aren't the reason? <laughs> or the little kids? <laughs> hey, this is the ditto patch. Should we try to get a good ditto? Yeah, we probably should. He just likes his cane. I mean, that's a good thing, right? You want him to feel at home in there. Alright, let's go for a ditto. Oh, wait, I need my... Guys, we need the Eevees. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's go get our Eevee eggs, because I don't want to forget. And I wanted to do it on stream, because, you know, it's like, I don't know. Pre-subathon stuff. We'll do it real quick. We need eight Eevee eggs. Right? Or does it matter? Is that a- I don't know. I thought- I was like, it's to do with the subathon, it's to do with the Eevee Lucians run, I should do it on stream, right? So I, I probably should. Let's do that. It doesn't take long. We're not hatching them, right? So hatching them is the long part. There's also berries here that I should replant, so. I'm so excited, guys. Tuesday's gonna be awesome. Oh, dang, Tuesday's gonna be here so quick. Tuesday's gonna be here so quick. Man, I got my Mewtwo. Okay, so here's what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Um, we have... Two Eevees that we caught the other day, remember? 
Well, we caught a bunch of Eevees, and we got- we even got a shiny Eevee. We even got a shiny Eevee. Uh, but these two Eevees right here, so... On... what day was it? Friday? No, I didn't stream on Friday, it was on Monday. It was yesterday. Did we do this yesterday? Oh my god, we did this yesterday. We got a shiny Eevee. Alright. Yesterday... We got these two Eevees. They're- they're nothing special. I went to the trophy garden. And I got, I said, the first two Eevees that we catch are going to be the parents. So these two Eevees, they're not the best. Uh, but that's fine. We're going to put these two Eevees in the daycare. We're... Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! We're going to get eight Eevee eggs. And what I'm going to do is, when I, whenever I see my brother... Uh, I'm gonna get him to help me trade them over to my file on Diamond. Which is right now sitting in Jubilife. Man, I really need an empty box. <laughs> need an empty heckin' box. Good enough, okay. Um, and I'm gonna trade them over to my Diamond account, which is like as early in the game as you can trade. And I'm just- I'm gonna send them over there, and then on Tuesday, when we do the subathon, we're gonna hatch the eggs. And then those eight Eevees are gonna be, like, all the Pokémon that I'm gonna use in the run. To be clear, it'll be- it's my first playthrough of Diamond, so... <laughs> just put those in the Phoebus box. Whatever! Alright. There we go. Um, so... yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> we'll hatch them all so that, uh, Chemic, I think is what I named my character in Brilliant Diamond. We want Chemic to be the OT, not Kemi, because if it's Kemi and they're traded Eevee, then they will get more XP, right? We don't want any bonus XP, it's just, it's just a Eevees only. That's the run. It's still a first run, like, I'm still- I, it's my main file for Brilliant Diamond. But because I've played this game so many times, you know, uh, I wanna- I wanna do a little challenge. So we're only gonna use Eevee and it's seven evolutions. So there's only eight Pokémon that I'll actually be using all the way up to the Elite Four for the first run. I'm still gonna catch everything, you know, especially Shinies if I run into them. Okay, that's egg numero dos. We got dos huevos. Dos Eevee huevos. That is not how you say that. Dos huevos de Eevee, maybe? I don't know, whatever. Uh, two, okay. Three. There we go. The bike is faster if you go in circles, did you know that? Or specifically if you're going diagonally. So you could also, I guess, go like this or something. I like to do that sometimes when I don't want to just look at circles. The circles are super trippy if you do it on like a camera change. <laughs> uh, no one likes to look at that. All right, four Eevees. Can the egg fight? No. So what we'll do on on Tuesday when I start the subathon, I'm gonna have eight Eevees and I'll have my starter, or I'll have eight eggs rather and a starter. So I'm gonna have five eggs in my starter, and I'm gonna just probably run in circles until one of the eggs hatches, and then I'll have an Eevee and five eggs, and then I'll put my starter away. We'll hatch all eight eggs, and then that's it. We'll have our eight Eevees. And we'll evolve seven of them, and then the last one will just be an Eevee. And then I have eight Pokémon that I can use for the whole entire run. So I'll try to keep them all leveled, right? And I'll, I'll swap them around as needed. Yeah, this is going mega fast. It was like five minutes ago I was sitting in the ditto place. Okay, that's six. We need two more, right? I think it's two more. Yeah. Two more EV eggs. If you try to switch to an egg in battle, it says, An egg can't battle! It's like an oak tip. 
There's a time and a place for everything, Cammy, but no eggs in battle. It'd be a scrambled egg. You don't want that. You want an Eevee, not a scrambled egg. But I'm really excited. I can't wait. Ugh. It's gonna be like a real heckin' playthrough. Why no more than eight eggs? Because the challenge is to do an Evolutions run. So I only want one Eevee and like... Whoops. I want Eevee, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Espeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, and Leafeon. And that's it. Those are the only Pokemon I'm going to use for the playthrough. So, and the the reason I'm, tr I'm making them in this game to send them over is because you can't get Eevee for a really long time. So, I'll trade them over so I can get them as early as possible. Ideally, I would start the game with an Eevee as my starter. And then I would just catch five Eevees, but you can't do that, obviously, right? There we go. So these are Eevees. I'm not gonna... We'll know, right? It's box 19. It's the first one. There we go. So we'll send these over to Diamond. So I will do that, and then on Tuesday we'll hatch these eggs and... Plus, that'll be a nice little warm-up, I think, right? A nice little warm-up at the start of stream, just hatching some Eevees. It'll be nice. And what if one of them is shiny? That would be so cool. That would be incredibly hype. That would be incredibly hype, especially without any, like, shiny charm or anything. It's the beginning of the game. Alright, so we got our Eevees ready. Nice, so just one little happy Eevee family. So let me move this box so I don't get it mixed up with stuff. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'll just put it in the corner. There, cool. Cool beans. Also, if anybody wants a trap inch, um, they're mostly like four or five... IVs. I've got this one that has really good IVs, and it's got Poke Rust. I've got a couple with Poke Rust. These were for, for um, special attack. Special attack Flygons. If anybody wants one, let me know. Oh, also, if you need a Phoebus, I know that thing is a pain in the butt to catch. I've got extra Phoebus, and I've got a Melodic too, uh, which I probably shouldn't have evolved. Wait, where is it? It's near Cantilave? That's where we just were, right? Cantilave? Yeah, yeah, Cantilave. Shiny Umbreon's blue, not yellow. Shiny Umbreon is probably the coolest looking one. And I have a shiny Eevee and I'm like, Ooh, what do I do with this? Alright, um... We wanna- oh, right, we wanna catch Dittos. So many Chansey. Okay, does anybody need a Chansey? I'm gonna release all these guys. If anyone needs a Chansey, speak now or forever. I don't know. Uh, miss out on this, on these guys. I should probably trade some of them on the GW whatever. Hey, Steven. Welcome in. It's going great. How's it going with you? Why are you sorry? Why are you sorry for for being Steven? It sounds like there's a story there. <laughs> it's like somebody spells your name with a PH and you're like, oh sorry, I'm Steven with a V, and they're like, oh my bad. <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> that's what I thought of. Shiny Vaporeon is best. I don't remember what it looks like. Is it green or something? Wish there was a story behind it, but I thought it was a good username was all. Well, there you go. You can use that story if you want. Anyways, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, what we've just done... On Tuesday, I'm gonna start my playthrough of Brilliant Diamond. This is Shining Pearl. I've played it like seven or eight times now. And... On Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing a subathon, so I'm gonna be streaming up to 12 hours of Brilliant Diamond. And what I'm doing is we're just gonna use these eggs. I'm gonna send them over to myself, and we're gonna hatch them, and then we're just doing it Eevees only, basically. Eeveelutions only. So I've got enough Eevee eggs for one Eevee, and one of each of the evolutions, and that'll be the whole run. So I'm really excited about that. 
Uh, that's what we've just been doing, and we caught some legendaries. We got uh, these guys today. Oh, I wanted these guys in order. Uno, dos, tres. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I've done a few little, like, I've speedrun this game a few times. I've done a water type only challenge, which is a lot of fun, and I'm just, I'm excited to try different stuff. And everyone likes Eevees, right? I think that'll be cool. Oh yeah, if anyone needs an Eevee, I can trade you an Eevee too. I'm releasing some of these just because I got so dang many. Going for complete Pokedex? I am, but it's not like... I'm not rushing it. I want to breed more competitive Pokemon. And so part of me is like, mm, I'm hatching all these Pokemon eggs. So I probably should be making better use of the time by having a shiny charm. So it's it's moving up my priority list. But I want to do everything. I want to get five stars on my trainer card, so I've got to get 100 wins in the battle tower. I already got the contest one. Oops. So I got the master contest. I got, you know, 100 statues in the underground, and I beat the Pokemon League. So those are the three that I have. Oh man, there's so many Eevees here. <laughs> Well, that one's got two... I don't know if I'm gonna breed a Chansey. Oh my gosh, we got all these dittos. Let's get rid of these dittos. We'll get some... we'll get some new dittos. We'll get new dittos. How about you? Have you been playing this at all? Are you a Pokemon person? I mean, you found me here somehow, so either you're looking in the category, or... or maybe Twitch is doing work for me again and I'm showing up in recommendeds. It's always cool when that happens. We're just gonna go catch a whole bunch of ditto. Maybe we'll get some- oh, that one is Pokeros. We'll hang on to that. You're playing Brilliant Diamond. Very nice. Very nice. Back when the originals were out, Diamond was the one that I played. And then I got Platinum later. And I think between the two games I put like 900 hours or something. Oh yeah, those are my good chances. Okay. It's a bit annoying right now because I'm doing some box... Mm, ...stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of empty-ish. Okay, let's put this one here. And let's empty out... Let's see if we can get these guys a new box home. They won't fit there. Okay. Oh yeah, that works. That's how you were with gold back in the day? Just hundreds of hours only for the battery to die? Oh no. Yeah, my battery and, and all my cartridge games are probably long gone by now. But you can replace them if you're brave, if you have a soldering iron. Oh, this is gonna be too many. Okay, three. Oh, okay. Oh, I need an unknown box. I keep forgetting to do that. All right, these two can go there. Cool. And okay, we have one full box. That's not enough room, is it? We need more room. Oh, all these eggs. I'm gonna have to hatch all these eggs. Why did I make so many eggs and keep them with me? Ah, I should actually take some with me to hatch. That's what I should do. Did I hydrate? Oh, I didn't. Wait. Maybe I did. I think I might have and not said anything. So it doesn't count. I will hydrate again. Breaking news, Kemi. Uh, Eevees are taking over Kemi boxes. Eevees just, they just... It's what they do. They just take over everything. You can go here. It's these darn eggs, man. Let's hatch a few eggs. Let's hatch a few eggs. We're not really doing much. Whoops. We're just gonna try to catch a bunch of dittos. So... Okay. Oh man, I didn't think I would play this game this much, but I'm glad that I am.
gonna head off for the night. Have a good night, Potato. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming back. I'll be back in the morning, probably with more Kirby. If you're around and want to hang out. If not, that's all good. Uh, but it was nice to meet you. Thanks for coming by and stuff. Oh, hey, Tybo. How's it going? Found you a little while ago, and I recommended or found you looking through Arceus Legends. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which it would have been. Because <laughs> I have been doing both. How's it going? I saw you followed on uh, YouTube, I think, the other day. I think that's where I saw your name anyways. Thanks for that. Hope you're doing well. It's really cool that Twitch seems to actually be recommending me to people now. Pretty awesome. I didn't know what actually did that. I didn't think I was important enough. <laughs> but I hope you're having a super Tuesday. Metro? That's- oh wait, I was like, that's a cool Steelix name, and then I remembered that that's my Steelix. Like, yeah, I called him Metro. Why did I call him Metro again? Can't remember. I think it was something to do with, like, the way that Steelix, like, burrows through the ground. It reminded me of the Metro that I was on in Quebec. I think that's probably it. Oops. So I've got... Probably one more stream of uh, Arceus to do. I've got some last minute like legendaries to track down and some more stuff. Well, this drives me nuts. You can't drop them here. But if you do it here, then it'll put them away nicely. It drives me nuts. Okay, we got two empty boxes, so that should be fine. Also, if any of you guys need a trap inch, um, I've got these trap inch that I was training for a special attack build for competitive, so they've got nice IVs. And they've got a timid nature, which is special attack up. No, it's attack down speed up, right? Yeah. Or some of them have arena trap, which is, you know, stops the wild Pokemon from escaping. So if you still have to get a uh, Mesprit or something. And I also have a bunch of Chanseys and Eevees, and Scythers, and Gligers I've got a few. I've been training some competitive Pokemon. So yeah, if anybody wants to trade, let me know. But let, right now... Oh, I was gonna get my Magmortar. Hang on a sec. Magmortar, we need you to hatch these eggs. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave Mewtwo in the box. You can keep that, though. Um, you need... I'm just thinking here. Uh, we want to catch a bunch of ditto. We're just gonna be throwing things at them. Okay, but flame body is bad. And poison point is bad. Oops. There, we'll do that. And you can have a lucky egg, too. Just trying to relax after work. Yeah. It's good to relax. Just chill. Have a nice time. This is a pretty chill stream. I like to think. It's chill and hype. <laughs> Tuesday night. I don't usually stream at night. Just Tuesdays and then Friday evenings I do my Game Boy music. So if you like chiptune, I'm also a musician. That's fun to do on Fridays. But usually I'm a morning streamer. So Tuesday night's like extra kind of chill. So we need... Uh, repel. We're gonna get some dittos. And hopefully we can chain some dittos. And get some good IVs. Maybe even a shiny ditto. That would be so cool. Oh, this is gonna play every time. Maybe I should just put Gallade in front. We're gonna look at the shiny thing every time. Alright. Okay, that's what we want. Ugh. Need some water. It's shiny, so it's automatically better. I mean, you're not wrong. It just takes longer. <laughs> we have to watch its little thing every time. 
Man, I wanted a shiny Vibrava, or a shiny Flygon, so bad. I actually have two that I want to use for the Battle Tower. I raised one, I one of those Trap Inch was for a special attack one, and I named that one Vibe. And that's my special attack sweeper, Flygon. He's pretty dang cool. And I really wanted a shiny one, so I was running around the underground. That's something, uh, something I've done a few times with chat. We'll go in the underground, go shiny hunting together. Because we can fill up that Diglett bar real fast when there's a bunch of us. So that's cool. And, um... But then... What was I doing? Um, I pressed a button on my controller and I was worried that I might have done something. Okay. Um... But yeah, and then I- why was I looking for- I was looking for a Trap Inch- Why was I looking for a Trap Inch? Special Ability Trap Inch, I think. Oh yeah, because I was gonna try to breed it onto a Gliger so that I could get a Poison Heal Gliger, but you can only get the Hidden Ability from the female or from the Determining Parent when you're breeding Pokémon. So there was no way that I could get a Gliger through breeding that had the hidden ability unless I already had a Gliger with the hidden ability. Because then I could either breed it with a Ditto until I got a female one and then I could just pass it down. If it was a male or if it was a female, I could just... Hey, Ditto! Sweet! You were going for shiny Charmander but gave up after a while. Oh, shiny Charizard is so cool though. I hope you try again. That's one that I want to get at some point. Were you looking in the underground? I think that's the only place you can catch it, right? Is in the underground? But I think the best way for those guys is get your shiny charm. You're back, you couldn't sleep! It's kind of funny, because I forgot... You said that shiny Vaporeon is purple. And I saw that and I was like, whoa, but I'm bad at my job sometimes. And I didn't acknowledge it, and I was like, oh, I forgot to say how cool that is. But you're back now, so I can tell you. Dude. <laughs> Purple Vaporeon is so cool. <laughs> got a shiny Charizard and let's go Pikachu. Ooh, nice. Man, I gotta finish that. I never finished Let's Go Pikachu. I don't know why. You know, you know what I think it is? It was- it felt too Pokemon Go for me. It felt too Pokemon Go. And there's nothing wrong with Pokemon Go, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but what I don't like about it is that the idea is to catch so- Oh, look, he turned into a shiny! That's cool. Why did I not expect that? That's pretty cool, though. And yeah, you're right, it's pretty easy in Let's Go to get a shiny one. You didn't finish it either, Focus. Did you have Eevee? Or did you have Pikachu? You had Eevee, I think. Hey, this actually works, because all his moves... Oh, this... If he uses this one, it's bad. But they're all basically ground types, and I've got Levitate. I've also got Let's Go Pikachu. I want to learn the speedrun. And I'm kind of thinking, like, I should... I should go back to it and finish it. And then learn the speedrun. But part of me just wants to speedrun it. <laughs> you speedrun it with a Starmie. I'm not sure if that's Eevee or Pikachu. You speedrun with a Starmie. It seems so cool. But I'd love to get a shiny Charizard in this game. So I think the best way to do it, though, is to get the shiny charm and then hatch for it. Bolt, you won one? Oh, wait, I think I heard about that. And you bought the other one. That's cool. Where did you win it again? Did I know about that? That's super lucky. Dang. Was that like a Twitter giveaway or something? Or someone like gave you a code? Or was that like GameStop or something? Does GameStop do that? GameStop doesn't give away stuff, right? Someone did a giveaway on Twitch. That's so lucky. Congrats. Like super late congrats. This thing is so stubborn, dude, get in the ball! <laughs> Chansey's were easier to catch than this, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Been trying to complete the Pokedex to get a shiny charm. 
Earlier, we had two people who were touch trading legendaries between Diamond and Pearl. So there are people in the community who will do that to help out. Pretty heartwarming. GameStop used to do competitions and giveaways years ago. I think I remember them doing like- they had like tournaments and stuff, right? I think I remember that. That was like so long ago. Oops. I have a spoon in my coffee, which I don't usually, but I had hot chocolate in here earlier, and you gotta stir hot chocolate like crazy. Dude, stop using Dragon Claw! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Can you trade in Let's Go? I have no idea. I assume you can, but I can't even remember. She bought the physical game, but she found out the night before Nintendo was gonna provide a digital code. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah, it's a ditto. It, it's oops, it's not actually a vibrava. Okay, I forgot about that. It might be better to have Gallied. We got like no XP for that, right? I didn't notice how much. It's like none. It's got to be like none. Actually, you should have leftovers. Give me that. You should have leftovers, I think. So, oh yeah, so here, this is the Vibrava that I trained up from a trappage. So this is my special attack, EV trained, IV raised, you know, perfect stats, whatever. Um, and then this is the shiny one that I found. I totally forgot, I was, I was radar hunting for one that had a hidden ability. Which is funny, because Flygon only gets one ability, which is Levitate, but Trapinch gets sheer force for some reason, which is really... I thought that was super strange. <laughs> because why would you want sheer force on Trapinch? You do extra damage, but your attacks lose uh, bonus effects, but it's Trapinch. It evolves and it loses it. And there's no Eviolite in this one, so it's really strange. What was I gonna give this guy? Oh, Leftovers. Where is it? Apple? Where's my apple? Where's my little, my little apple core? Apple? Oh, there it is. How did I end up with four leftovers again? Where do you get them? I must have caught something that was holding one. Anybody want any growl? Let's see if 28. That's the thing, right? Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think that's what I didn't like about Let's Go was like, you just... Some of the more recent Pokemon games, like Let's Go and Arceus, specifically, are like, go catch a whole bunch of everything. And I, I don't really like catching multiples of the same Pokemon, says the girl who's on a chain to catch as many dittos as possible. Um... <laughs> Chaining dittos right now. I don't really like the whole, you know, catch a bunch. Although, to be fair, in Arceus, you get the grit items to level up your Pokemon's EVs, which is really cool. And in Let's Go, you get candy that... what? It levels up your Pokemon, I think? So you get stuff for it, whereas in this game, you don't get anything. You just have to, like, trade them away or release them or something. Or else you'll just be overwhelmed. Overrun with Ditto. <laughs> But I, it, it kind of, like, cheapens it for me. I'm not sure. Does anyone else kind of... Do you feel that? There's something special about filling up your Pokedex, you get one of each thing, you have it. I feel like in Arceus, especially in Arceus, it's so hard to keep track of everything. Because I think in Let's Go there's a menu where you can sort, you know, based on, like, species. So you can see all your Growlithe in one go, or all your Eevees or something. But in Arceus, I would release something and be like, I hope this isn't my last Arcanine, because, uh, you know, I caught so dang many. <laughs> it makes it a little bit less special, I think, so. And in this game, I don't know, it's cool to chain them, but I kind of... It would be nice if they gave you something when you release Pokemon, but I don't know reimburse you for the- like, give you the Pokeball pack or something. A Pokemon doesn't need a Pokeball if it gets released. 
Hey, what happened? I was gonna say in real life. Guys, what happens in real life if you release a Pokemon? What happens to the Pokeball? <laughs> I better put him to sleep before he puts me to sleep. Ow. How was the shiny hunting in uh, Let's Go Again? It was chaining, right? It was- it was like, um... There was no radar, I think, right? Because all the Pokémon are just chillin' on the overworld. So you would just find whatever thing you want to hunt, right? And you just chain a few together. And I think if they were, like, super big or super tiny, there was, like, a bonus chance or something like that. It's sort of like that, right? I think after having played Arceus, I would like Let's Go Pikachu a lot better. So maybe I should just restart it, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, it appears as shiny in the wild. Like this sun. Well, not so sort of like this sun. You get the sparkles in this sun, right? But yeah, that's a good point, so you can see them. That's actually- yeah, it's kind of like an Arceus, because they're just shiny in the overworld, so you can always see if it's a shiny Pokémon. You don't have to encounter it. And I, I think in this game, in the underground, where they do show on the overworld, I think it would be kind of cool if it showed them as shiny, if they are. But I wonder if they made that decision on purpose. Like, they must have, right? Because it was after Let's Go, where they had already done it that way. So they must have done it on purpose. Aww, sad face. And I, I suspect the reason is because when you have the buff for, like, bonus shiny chance, you could just run into a room, look at everything, be like, no shinies, and then leave. So I think that's part of it. Because they want you to actually check on everything. Because it makes it trickier, right? Because I find that I have time to check two rooms, or maybe three if I'm fast. In the underground. I can check three rooms if I'm fast. If I, like, have a smoke ball or something. You know, and I'll, like, encounter everything and then leave. And then run back in right away. Encounter everything and then leave. And Shiny Diglett is a blue nose. Is the rest of it the same? Is it just the nose is blue instead of pink? <laughs> Man, I don't know if I want to play Kirby in the morning. I kind of... I just want to play more Pokemon. I'm so happy that I started streaming this and that I decided to go with Pokemon. Like, it's- the- the franchise is so important to me, you know? Like, original Super Mario Bros. was the first game I ever played. But Pokemon Blue was the first game that I ever had. Like, it was mine. My- my parents had an NES with Mario. So, like, I grew up with that game and, like, watching my dad play, and that was, like, my evolution into gaming. When I was very little, I just watched him play. And then when I was a bit older, I would play, but then I was scared of Bowser, so I would give dad the controller and be like, You fight Bowser! You know, I would get through the first three worlds. You do the castle, dad, and then give me the controller back. And then I would die in world two. Content shifting to mainly Pokemon and yours to Super Mario World. It's- it's important to evolve sometimes, right? Let's do some Let's Go Pikachu in the morning. That's definitely not happening. Sorry. I have to figure out what to do with that game. I got- I can't even remember how far I got. The last time I streamed Let's Go Pikachu was a year ago. It was April 1st. It was an April Fool's stream, and I was doing all kinds of goofy stuff. I put the game upside down and backwards, and I put, like, eight of them on screen and all different sizes and I didn't realize that everyone I added uh, added more volume to so eventually chat couldn't hear me because there were like eight Pokemon games. <laughs> I need a way to duplicate just the visual and not have it duplicate the sound. That was funny. <laughs> but I do want to play Let's Go Pikachu. I'm more interested in it now than I was when I was playing it. And I think I will really like the visuals, because I remember that game being really pretty. It's really pretty. And I know people were complaining because they wanted this game to look like that one. But I have to decide if I'm going to continue the playthrough or if I'm just going to start over. Like, it's been a year. I probably should just start over. 
I've got a few people who were around a year ago when I was playing it. But mostly, I think it'd mostly be new people anyways. And, and I don't think anyone would mind if I started over. But you know what? We got plenty of time. Pokemon's not going anywhere. We got plenty of time. I've got all kinds of- I have- I have a couple of other Switch games I got, too. To stream at some point. Focus, how's your Super Mario World going? Because you're still focusing on ROM hacks now, right? You should try speedrunning Super Mario World. If you want. <laughs> I think it's it's definitely good to have a niche because I know we're both variety and I I heard that you know everyone says that oh it's easier to to grow your channel and build a community around a niche you know you pick one game and stick with it that's the that's the way to go and at first I thought well won't people get bored if you play nothing but like one game and I kind of I was like no because if you really, really like a game, and your community and everyone really likes the game too, you don't get sick of it. And I think focusing on Pokemon as a franchise is real good, because like I got to play Arceus when it came out, and I'm playing this, and I can do Let's Go, and I'm doing Diamond. And I was learning to speedrun for this game, and I want to speedrun Diamond too. And if I ever get into randomizers and stuff, that's a whole other- that's like a whole new world. I have to figure out where I stand as far as randomizers and emulation and stuff, because I'm not... I don't know. Right now I don't really want to stream that. There's so much, like, official Pokémon stuff that I can just stream so easily from Switch, so... Oh! And... And there was a... there was a rumor someone told me this morning that Game Boy Advance games on Switch was leaked? Was leaked? Somebody found, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Pokemon- not just Game Boy Advance, but Pokemon Game Boy Advance games, dude! And Pokemon Pinball? I just bought that on Wii U! I bought Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, Sapphire, and I bought Golden Sun 1 and 2. Golden Sun, though, even if they get Game Boy Advance games on here, I don't know if we're gonna get Golden Sun. And I've been, like, praying for a Golden Sun collection on Switch because it would be amazing. But, you know. Because I don't know who owns the rights to Golden Sun, you know? I think it's kind of cap. Kind of cap. Kind of crap. Kind of... Someone's full of it. If they put... The thing- the thing is, if- like, they they may very well put Game Boy Advance games on the Switch Online service. Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, that would be cool. Um... The thing is, Pokémon is huge. Pokémon is a huge franchise still. Ruby and Sapphire? Do you really think... That Nintendo doesn't think about Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and have dollar signs in their eyes. You think that they would just add them and be like, yeah, they're just, yeah. At best, I think they would add Virtual Console to the shop where you can buy them. Which I would, and every- every Pokemon fan would, because come on, that's how we are. Right? We would all buy Ruby and Sapphire on Switch, right? Don't lie. We would do it. <laughs> we would do it. And buy them both in a heartbeat. And that would be, like, at best. At worst, they put it on the online and they jack up the price. You know? Yeah, sure. Uh, extra 20 bucks and you can get Pokemon games in your... They're not gonna just... I don't think they would just add them. So I'm also skeptical, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, you know? And you're still working on Baby Kaizo. I'm glad it's going well. I'm glad you're having fun with that. I feel like I, I nicely have uh, settled into Pokemon. Do a Let's Go Pikachu Nuzlocke. I could do that. I could try a Nuzlocke. How does Nuzlocke work with that game? Because, um... The thing- I did a Nuzlocke of Sword. It didn't end well. Um... <laughs> oh, I could Nuzlocke this game too. Man. I think I'd rather Nuzlocke one of these games where you don't know which Pokemon you're gonna get, because when I Nuzlocke Sword, 
Uh, when I Nuzlocke Sword, I could, like, pick kind of what Pokemon I wanted. It didn't help very much, by the way, but I could sort of pick. Scarlet and Violet. I have high hopes. I hope and suspect, maybe? I'm, I'm hopeful that Violet and Scarlet become my new favorite game, like, ever. I'm really optimistic. Because, think about it. They've done Let's Go, which is based on, like, the Pokemon Go kind of formula. They've, they've introduced the Pokemon Go community to, quote, real Pokemon games, right? They did semi-sort of open world with Sword and Shield. They got the wild areas, which were wonky as heck. Uh, and they sort of fixed that, right, with, with Arceus. I think they got the, the wild area idea sort of down, right? So this one should have good stats? No, wait. Oh, wait, this isn't one thing, that's why. Um, I th and they did a, a really good job remaking this. I think if they take everything that they learned from the last few games and took all the good parts, all the fun stuff, and put it in Scarlet and Violet, it could be, like, the best Pokémon games ever. It could. You know? It could. Probably will let you buy Ruby and Sapphire like they did for Red and Blue. Yeah! Yeah, on the 3DS. And I would. Or Emerald. I never got Emerald. Dang, I still need Emerald. It's so expensive, you know? Game Boy's been rumored since last year, should not be surprised. So it should be able to handle it. Yeah, I think so. I hope th I hope the uh, emulation isn't like totally wonky. Like the the N64 is weird, but N64 had weird controls, and the Sega Genesis had weird controls. So trying to translate that to Switch is weird. Game Boy games would be right at home, I think. And I kind of feel like the only reason. Or maybe the main reason why they haven't done that, or why they haven't been focusing on it, is because we all have the Game Boy games on, on 3DS and Wii U, right? For me, it's great having, like, I just bought Pokemon Blue on 3DS because I had red and yellow, and I thought, well, pfft, might as well, right? But I can't stream from 3DS. So, for me, having it on Switch means I can stream them, which would be amazing. I would, I would just buy all of them. And, uh... Wii U, you can get Game Boy Advance games, but there's no mainline Pokémon on there. It's just, uh, Pinball. So I bought that. And I could stream from Wii U, I just don't want to set up my Wii U. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. I could stream from Wii U, but then I would have to set it up for streaming. So, I could do that. If I do that, it will be like a whole month of Wii U. But... You know, I got so much Switch stuff to play right now, I'm like, eh. Whole box of dittos. We'll go until we get... I don't know, we'll see how high we can go. Ooh, wait, hidden ability ditto? Dude, it's far away. Yeah, let's... Hidden ability. Can a, can a ditto pass on hidden ability? I don't think so, right? It depends on the determining parent, as far as I know. Imposter. I forgot about that. That's so good. That's so good. Limber is okay. Because at least they can't get paralyzed first turn before they can transform and do anything. But man, Imposter is so good. I forgot about that. But I don't think a hidden ability ditto is useful unless you're actually using the ditto. Read a rumor about that and saying 100 plus Pokemon for that gen. Kind of doubt it, but it's been a while since we had a lot. Uh, had a lot in one game of Moo. Wait, like a hundred plus Pokemon? Wait, 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 wait. What? Are you talking about Scarlet and Violet? What are you talking about? I got lost somewhere. <laughs> I got lost somewhere, sorry. This is super random, but does anyone remember from this morning if I had two cough drops? I just have one cough <laughs> I don't know how many I've had today. I'm gonna have one. I hope we get a bunch of new stuff. That would be so cool. 
a bunch of new. I did have two? I think... Let me see, does it say how many you can have? Um... Maximum 12 per day! Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. 12! 12! You can have 12! I had 12 already? Nice try, Steven. Nice try! I only met you, like, an hour ago. <laughs> Unless you were spying this morning. Maybe you were hanging out this morning and I didn't know. <laughs> this is all a dream. <laughs> what are you guys hoping for for Scarlet and Violet? Hey, also, as soon as you hear about pre-orders, you guys let me know. I am gonna pre-order the heck out of those. I'm gonna get... I told Frequency, I told my partner, I was like, uh, if you want... <laughs> if you want Violet or Scarlet, you're on your own. I'm buying the double pack for me. I'm buying both games. I'm a Pokemon streamer now. I have to. <laughs> a Nuzlocke option would be cool. Yeah, you're right, it probably will never happen, but it would be cool. What what game did they put that in? Was it Temtem? There's like randomizer options, there's, you know? Oh shoot, I'm asleep. <laughs> randomizer, Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke would be cool, although to be fair, I don't think it's needed. It would be a, it would be cool for sure, but it's not really necessary. I think randomizer would be super cool, because there's no way to do that. You know, without, like, a hacked version of the game or emulating, whatever. <laughs> Wake up, Patrick wants to know me as an instrument. I don't even remember what Squidward says to that. Is mayonnaise an instrument? You sound like a fan of Nuzlocke's there, Steve. Steven, sorry. Can I call you Steve? Some Stevens like being called Steve, some don't. It's funny, because I just said Steve and I just- I forgot the end. I forgot it. <laughs> I just forgot it was there. <laughs> whatever, I'll, I can call you whatever I want. I'm gonna call you late for dinner, just kidding. Just kidding. But man, if they put any of the old Pokemon games on Switch, I'll just- oh, I'll lose my mind. If they made a Pokemon collection, can you imagine? <laughs> Joke's on you, I already ate dinner. Dang habit! <laughs> this is not the Krusty Krab, this is Patch. That- how is that show so good? How is it, like, so well written? No! Oh. Hey, I wish it would show, like, the most recent chain up here somewhere. It doesn't. Want a Pokemon game with all the regions in one game like they did for Gold and Silver? That's kind of- that's not a fair precedent, because there were only two. <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> this isn't the Krusty Krab, this is Patrick. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. No, this is Patrick! <laughs> He's the best character. My favorite Patrick quote? When he's so angry, he's like, what's the matter? What's the matter, Patrick? And he just, he's got this serious face and he's like, I can't see my forehead. And he's so mad about it. Is this a big grass? This is a big grass right here. How many imposters? Wait, it might not be a ditto. What is it? It's not necessarily ditto. I can't see my forehead. <laughs> I'm like, you and me both, pal. I don't think that we're gonna see all the regions. I hate to say it. Dark Samus, I didn't welcome you back. I feel like a- I feel like a butt. I'm sorry. Welcome back. Good to see you again. How was your afternoon and stuff? <laughs> yes, but this is not the Krusty Krab. This is Patrick. Oh my god. I just- it's so good. Ooh, 
Wait, someone said something about Mother 3. I just saw that and I like... Oh, here. Had a dream that Nintendo localized Mother 3. I was so happy then I woke up. Oh. W for Wombo. I Wombo. You Wombo. He, she, we. Wombo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just- it's, it's just too good. It's too good. At a time machine. Oh man. This is not related. Um... But hey, ditto. Sweet. Uh, shoot, what was I gonna say? Oh, with the time machine! You know what they did in World of Warcraft? I don't know if we have any World of Warcraft people here. Uh, sorry if you don't care. Um, in World of Warcraft, there's a whole... There's different time machine things. There's like, you can... There's like a whole corridors of time where you can go do raids and stuff in like, the world, but like, ancient time... Not ancient times, but like, you know, 50 years ago or whatever. Super cool. And there's also, in New World of Warcraft, when you're, like, leveling your characters, like, I was playing Classic, which was just, like, the old World of Warcraft with, like, no upgrades, because everyone was like, we want to play old World of Warcraft, and Blizzard was like, no, you don't. They're like, yeah, we do, and they're like, okay, fine, and they did it. And people were actually mostly happy with it, which is cool. But I digress. You gotta level your characters over and over in, like, the same kind of story. It doesn't really change. Especially if you're like me and you have, like, five of the same race and they all start in the same area. Um, but in New World of Warcraft, like, the current live version... In the live version, there's, like, this time-traveling person you can talk to and you can go to, like, every other expansion, pretty much, and level your characters there. And I'm like, that's cool. Uh, so what I'm saying is we should put Chromie time in Pokemon. Yep. That would be neat. When in doubt, Pinky out. I love that Patrick can do that and he doesn't have Pinkies. Is that a case where they just, like, drew a Pinky on him? You know they'll do that sometimes, right? Or they'll have the super detailed, like, human hand drawn or whatever. Take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. They did that, remember? Wait, I don't remember why they did that, but they did. The New World of Warcraft expansion was announced today, and I did not see the announcement. Um, on the off chance that anyone here actually cares and watched it, please don't spoil, but I'm really excited about it. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. I was streaming this morning, and then I was on the phone with my parents, and then I was streaming this night, so... Because of the worm. Oh, that really big, the, the big sea worm wrangling thing that, that Sandy was trying to... Sandy had to deal with it, I think, right? <laughs> I almost just choked on my cough. <laughs> Once there was an ugly barnacle, he was so ugly that everyone died. <laughs> oh, man. What about we stink, we stink, we stink? I can't remember why they were happy about it. I remember bits and pieces of the show, and I don't remember reasons for stuff. Oh man. Also, Earthbound is cool. I don't know if it's my kind of game. But it's cool. Because they're not ugly. Oh, right! Yeah, they thought they were, they were offending everyone because they were ugly. I'm like, we're not ugly, we just stink! Yeah, that's what it was. Thanks. <laughs> It's just so wild. Man. It's just so... It's just so good. I'm trying to not be rude, but I've got my cough drop and I, you know... Yellow! Pink! You do care! You guys remember that one? I, I also don't remember that whole thing, but they're like buff and fighting, and I don't remember why. 
You're just googling Patrick quotes. I thought he said I may be stupid, but I'm also dumb. I thought it was I, not it. At least I admitted I had something in my mouth rather than being called out. And who would call me out, Focus? <laughs> Kimmy, are you eating candy? No! <laughs> I don't eat on stream, that's rude. Only rude streamers do that. <laughs> I think I'm allowed a cough drop. I'm pulling a, a split shift. And like four days ago I had COVID, so I think I'm allowed. <laughs> I order the food, you cook the food, the customer gets the food. We do that for 40 years and then we die. Yep. I think the great thing about SpongeBob is they do... There, there's gotta be a term for this. There's gotta be a term, right? Like... Hey, I already said I can't see my forehead. <laughs> That's my favorite... I was gonna say ditto quote. That's my favorite Patrick quote. You know what I should do? Hey, best. It's not bad. Hey, how did you get past here with that? Give me that. I should name... What if I named a bunch of dittos Patrick and then sent them online? Let's do it. Oops. We're gonna send some Patricks on the GWS. I wish you could judge a Pokemon before you name it, though. They're pink. They look like Patrick. Don't you dare take the name of Texas in vain. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's a Sandy quote. Are we moving on to Sandy quotes? Guys, can, can they do that? Patrick, use transform. I should take that imposter ditto and, uh, yeah. Wait, did I already throw a quick ball? Did I already throw a quick ball at this guy? Because he used transform, right? Jeez, I don't even remember. Sandy's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Hydrate. But, but I have a cough drop in my mouth. And not candy, because that would be rude. <laughs> I remember the doodle, doodle bob? Remember doodle bob? <laughs> and he just yells angrily. That's all he really does. Consume. Okay, I promise you'll hydrate as soon as this cough drop is gone and the choking hazard is uh, absent, okay? Right. Call, call him Patrick. If only I could get it to autofill. Thanks for following. It was the Patrick that did it, wasn't it? <laughs> Kimmy, Kimmy, guess what? Uh, you really like Earth Bounty started meaning Ness and Smash? No, it ended. Patrick. I feel like anybody who gets a Patrick on the GWS. A ditto named Patrick? They should know, right? If you get a Pokemon named Patrick, you know it's a Spongebob reference, right? You beat Sonic Mania? Dude, good job. That game is heckin' tough. I got to the level with, um, um, I don't remember what it's called. It's the one where you go fast. You know that one? You go fast. 
And there's loop the loops. I still have to stream Sonic Mania. I played it a bit. I played it a little bit on PS4 when it first came out. I was like, dang, 15 bucks. <laughs> I think it was 15, or is it 30? Whatever. It might have been half price. I don't know. But I bought it and I was like, dang. It's so cool. And I just find it so funny because they've screwed up like so many Sonic games and then finally they just like hired the fan. <laughs> it's just like, you know what? You know what you want. You make your game. And we will take money for it. And the fans were like, okay. Because they just wanted a good Sonic game. <laughs> uh, I was gifted a copy of Sonic Mania by a wonderful, very generous friend of mine. And I still have to stream it at some point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mania Plus? Wait, there's a, there's a plus now? What's that? Wait, why are you sorry? Why are- why are you sorry? My name's not Rick! <laughs> the way you ride Snorlax in Let's Go? <laughs> are you on his shoulder or something? I don't think I ever had a Snorlax in there, or I don't think I ever rode one, but I think I've seen other people do it. And your favorite Sonic game is, is Sonic 2. Man, I never played that one, but I think my favorite will always be the first one. Because same reason, I grew up on that, on the Sega Genesis. You cling to his tummy? You're just like hanging on for dear l Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Patrick is such a pain in the butt name to write. Look how far apart. Here, what if we do this? Whoa, hacks. Dang. Speedrun optimizing. You said sorry because of a typo. You don't need to say sorry because of typos, silly goose. I bet you were just saying please. Be like Sonic this. Sonic this. <laughs> Stretch. That's a good idea. I should be ending. We're already over time. What if we do four and a half hours? Go another like three. Let's see how far we get with dittos. I know that you're supposed to be consistent, and I feel like I am mostly consistent because I'm either playing Pokemon or I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm always playing Pokemon except for when I'm not. And part of me, I'm like, I, I want to finish Kirby and play more of it, but I also just really want to keep playing this. But we'll see how I feel in the morning. I think I should go with Kirby. Maybe. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to do before the subathon. I don't think so. We we just got to get the eggs over, which I should be able to do tomorrow or maybe Thursday. Cute bar. That was like one of the greatest typos that I've ever seen. Oh, plus is with the guys, the two guys. The yellow guy and the guy with the... What's the top hair called? <laughs> the shaved sides and the hair on top, right? They're an armadillo and a flying squirrel. Angel Island Zone. Encore mode. That's cool. I stream Mania do it in the evening because you want to be there. <laughs> it would probably be a bit of both. I don't. I don't know. It's weird doing evening streams. Like, 
I only have one nighttime gaming stream and this is it. My Friday chiptunes is at 3 p.m. Central, so it's not really like nighttime. Ray and Mighty. Oh, they're old Sonic. I thought they were new fan characters made by the developers, you know? Oops, this one's gonna be Caps Patrick. Patrick! Where do you want to send Patrick to? <laughs> Hey, Igor, how's it going? Welcome in. Yeah, I'm also in Canada. Uh, hello, A. Hope you're doing well. Chip music, you mean like the old game music? Yeah, I make I make chip tune with my Game Boy. How are you doing? If you do exclamation mark Bandcamp in chat, there's a link to all my music where you can listen to it if you want to. But I make Game Boy music with a program called Little Sound DJ. There you go. There you go. That's where all my release stuff is. When we listen to music on in the intro and um, break times and stuff, that's all stuff that I made. That's cool that those are existing characters, though. I didn't know that. False advertising? What? I mean, nothing popped up. It popped up two times. What are you talking about? <laughs> it popped up for both of you. Uh, false swipe. Just in the old game music while working. Hopefully you'll like listening to new game sounding music too. <laughs> I find it so interesting and it's fun to make because like it's a Game Boy. So everything I make reminds me of like the Pokemon games I played growing up. And even Mario, even though it was on NES, you know? And, you know. Zelda. All those awesome games. But, um, it's new. Because <laughs> I made it. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Like, isn't it Earthbound, Castlevania, and Sonic? All that stuff, man. My three, like, main ones, I think. Like, the 16-bit... Oh, why am I doing it this way? I'm spelling it weird. Um. Oh, I forgot my trick. I forgot to do my trick. There we go. My pet trick. Ah, uh, ah, uh, my pet trick. Get. Yeah, posture check. Can you hear me slouching? <laughs> sit up straight, Cam. Sit up straight. Okay, we're sitting up straight. We're sitting up straight. <laughs> uh, four. We got four Patricks. This is not going as well. But I think my, like, po uh, Pokemon and Mario are, like, what I grew up with, right? Like any oh, and a game called Sky Shark on NES, which like nobody has heard of. It's so good. Sega Genesis music. It has it has like a really yeah twang. Yeah, kinda. I never thought of it like that, but a little bit. It's got like a kind of. I'm not sure how to say it. Like twang. Yeah, I think there's a better word, but I can't think of it. But I know what you mean. It's got that kind of like depth. To it or something and there's there's programs you can get to make music with like the Genesis sounds and like NES and Super NES like with those it would be Famitracker uh, there's a program called Defil Mask which is on mobile and it's also on PC I think and that one does like all kinds of stuff it's got Sega Genesis and Saturn I think NES and SNES and... I can't remember. I haven't used it, so I could be wrong. But I think it's got, like, a whole bunch. But, like, the 16-bit era, I think, has some of my favorite music ever. Which is, like, Castlevania, Street Fighter, and Mega Man. Like, those three. Those three. They're so good. 
Like listening to soundtrack from the 90s. Oh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Oh, wait, I don't... I don't, wait, I don't think I know about that. The only Michael Jackson game I know of is the Michael Jackson Experience, which was on, what, Xbox or something? The Xbox, uh, Kinect, I think. <laughs> Sonic music is all good, too. I've never heard of Sonic music that doesn't bother. I mean, a Sonic, you know. Boom. Vector, man. That's another one I haven't played. I had a Genesis when I was a kid, but I didn't have a lot of games. It was mainly Sonic. On the NES, it was like almost all Mario. We all, we had two cartridges, and one was Mario and Duck Hunt, obviously. And the other one was Sky Shark, which is an incredible game. It's very difficult. I've seen level three, I think, one time. It's very difficult. It's, it's like a top-down war shooter. It's like a World War One, World War Two. I mean, shooter. Think like 1942. It's kind of like that. And it has like the boppinest soundtrack. So good. I'm gonna head out falling asleep in your chair. Hey, that must mean you have a comfy chair. Or you're really tired. You worked hard today. Get some sleep focus. Thanks again for the raid this morning. Thanks for hanging out. One of my favorite things about the evening streams are that you can come by. Because <laughs> they're always streaming at the same time in the morning. It's it's so nice to be able to hang out. So, you know, good to see you and stuff. And I hope that you have a super day tomorrow and that your stream goes well. Whoops, that's backwards. Oh yeah, and the Master System. I don't really know much about Master System. Wait, Experience was Wii and PS- It was like a- wait, wasn't there like a motion control one where you did the dancing? There was like a Michael Jackson dancing game, right? How the heck did- was it a rhythm game on like- Now I'm picturing like Elite Beat Agents except Michael Jackson, which sounds awesome! <laughs> Oh yeah, what I was gonna say about Sky Shark is the the soundtrack is by Tim Fallon, which is uh, he did Silver Surfer and what was the other one he's like known for? Cause no one's heard of Sky Shark. They're like, huh? Whenever I bring it up, but Silver Surfer I think most people know. And there's another one that's like pretty well known, but I can't remember. Oh, Pictionary. He did the Pictionary. Which is funny, because everyone jokes about, like, the Pictionary thing just go in, like, it goes so hard and it's Pictionary. The soundtrack is just, like, relentless. It was on Wii. Oh, yeah. But wait, how does the PSP and DS ones work? PSP, now you're making me think of, uh, Guitaru Man. That game was heckin' fun. Man, I'm like, I can't spell. I'm having trouble now. There. Button mashing, probably. <laughs> probably. Okay, let's, let's, oh, we'll finish this uh, ditto chain and then we're gonna call it. My legs are starting to fall asleep. <laughs> Been sitting here too long. I only took one break, right? Like two hours ago? Sheesh. This game is too good. I think in the morning I'll, I'll see about Kirby. I should do that. And then maybe if we finish Kirby tomorrow, we can do Arceus on Thursday. And then that way, if we go overtime a little bit, like I don't know how much game I have left in Arceus, you know? I have to go get Arceus and I'm sure there will be some story stuff after that, but I don't anticipate it being super long. Never ending stream. Oh. <laughs> I go for four hours usually, or at least that's the that's the scheduled uh, time slot is four hours. But I often go over, especially with Pokemon. And that new Kirby game is super good. I went a little bit over time this morning too, I think, but maybe only fifteen minutes. Ten or fifteen. But when you love your job. Working overtime is easy. 
but I really... I shouldn't be overdoing it because I'm still trying to get over being sick. I'm gonna play some Smash. Nice. Have fun. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. I'm looking forward to playing Smash next month. I think we'll do that. I have I have the GameCube controller and I have the Pro controller. Hmm. I'll have to figure out what controller I want to use and what buttons. Like if you mainly use the analog stick or the D-pad. I think they're both for different things. I don't know. Anyways, have a good night. Take care. I love that we started talking about Spongebob, now I'm naming all these dittos Patrick. And then I'm gonna send them online and people are gonna be like, why is this ditto named Patrick? But they'll understand. Clearly it's because it can't see its forehead. So the thing with the radar hunting is when you can get, if you can get a chain of 20 Pokemon, the 20th one is guaranteed to have at least one perfect IV, so like one perfect stat that's maxed out. If you can get a chain of 30, the 30th one, the 30th one will be guaranteed two perfect stats. If you get to 40, you get three perfect stats. And if you get all the way to 100, you get five perfect stats, which is ridiculous. So the best thing that you can do, I think, would be if you can get to 99 and then just keep resetting the radar until you see a... No, wait, you can't. Well, I mean, if you want a shiny one with five IVs, that's what you could do. They'll know it's a Spongebob reference. They always know. He's the only Patrick in existence, right? There aren't any other Patricks. Only only Spongebob Patrick. I don't know where you came from, Steven, but I think you're going to fit in just perfectly here. <laughs> you're already, like, settling right in. <laughs> Give the Ditto a nickname. Not Rick. His name's not Rick. I kind of want to name one not Rick. <laughs> but I feel like that's pushing it. If we can at least get to 10 would be cool. Oh, this will be 10. So, wait. 10 doesn't matter. 20 would be cool. And some of them have perfect stats anyways. Like, we got one that had a perfect stat. Came from your parents, at least that's what they tell you. I mean, can one can one really ever know? Can you actually know for sure? I, not really, right? You just gotta take their word for it. Super trippy when you think about it. Nobody really knows their birthday. Because you'd have to be, like... You would have to have the capacity to, like, know, like, to, to know what day it is and, like, you know, the day that you're born. You'd have to be able to somehow know what day it is and understand the concept of time. Where's the fourth one? Down there? I'm going down here. Probably know you're kidnapped from a hospital no one told you. Right? I mean, you never know. It's crazy to think about. It's crazy. It's like super out there, but it's possible. You never know. I mean, okay. So if you were gonna like kidnap, <laughs> if you were gonna kidnap a baby from the hospital, would you tell the kid? Heck no. You would let them think they were yours probably forever, right? I mean, really. The only way uh, realistically, that, that a kid would find out if that happened. Well, you'd basically have to ask. Be like, Mom, Dad, did you, did you steal me from a hospital? And then they might say yeah. But most likely they'd be like, nope. Nope, where'd you get that idea? I 
actually happen. I'm not surprised. I'm not- that's like so wild, but I'm not totally surprised. How did the- how did they find out? Did they ask them? Were they like, Mom, Dad, I don't look anything like you? Um... Am I adopted? And they're like, oh, actually, funny story! Um, adopted? Yeah, kind of. Uh... <laughs> it's a cute story, really. Did a DNA test or something? Well, but, but, okay, so that would tell them that they're not... Like, related. That would be, like, heartbreaking, though. Like, for the actual parents? Like, where the heck is their baby? That's... Did they ever, like, find their parents? Fake mom is in jail. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I would think that that's what she would deserve, right? Um... That's wild, though. They found the real parent? That's so cool. That's, like... Oh, that's crazy. I hope they found out before the kid was, like, 40 or something. Like, how does that even come up? How does that come up? That's so- is that what- where did you- does that on, like, Mori or something? Like, <laughs> That's wild. I think they're in their 20s. That's so crazy. How do you even, like... So you suspect that you're adopted, right? That's probably the first thing, is, like, one day you're like, wait a second, I'm not anything like these people. Maybe they, like, met someone that seemed like they were actually related, but that's still, like, super weird. Like, that's so... That's so crazy and interesting. Who the heck steals a baby from a hospital? Like, jeez. What kind of person would do that? Oh, there's a... We don't care about imposter, right? But he's all the way over there. It's also the furthest one. That's, like, such a crazy story. We were talking about crazy stories this morning, too, a little bit. Like, um... But, but fantasy stories. Well, kind of fantasy stories, and kind of real life. There was a comedy, or rather, a stand-up comedian that I was watching. I can't remember for the life of me who it was. But they were saying that they found out about this, um, there's, like, a disorder you can get. I think it's, like, when you get head trauma in, like, a certain way. Somehow it happens that you end up with what's called foreign accent disorder, where you just speak in a foreign accent, but, like, naturally. So you could, you could be from, like, I don't know, you could be from, like, Australia and have like some European accent like a German accent or something like something totally wild I'm not it's like it's so crazy that that can happen but it's also really interesting and then you think about what kind of situations that person gets into where they're like randomly speaking with this foreign accent it's so crazy I keep meaning to look it up because I'm like is that really real that's that's so wild and then we were talking about, like, fantasy-type stuff, like in Metal Gear Solid. Is it Metal Gear 4 or something? With Quiet? She, like, breathed through her skin or something, so she always wears, like, a bikini. And, I mean, you gotta commend them, because, like... <laughs> there's all these games that have these just, like, scantily clad women for, like, no reason besides... Well, marketing or whatever, right? Just trying to sell it. And then at least they came up with a reason. They're like, no, no, it's okay. See, if she wears more clothes than this, she'll suffocate. And you're like, oh, okay. That's... <laughs> something like that, right? I can't remember what her deal is. I think it's something like she breathes through her skin or something. So, like, she can't wear, like, pants and long sleeves. So she has to be in this, like, battle bikini all the time. <laughs> but honestly, like, respect for, you know... Not just no reason. Some kid had a horrible head injury but became fantastic at guitar for no reason. Yeah, like it like how it's so wild. Brain stuff, right? Brain stuff. <laughs> Bikini armor's best armor protects the vital areas. I mean if you wear a helmet with it, then then I think you're kinda covered, right? More or less. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that is so crazy though. It's so crazy. Imagine you like 
fall off your bike and you hit your head on the sidewalk and then the, you wake up and you're just like Jimi Hendrix. Like, what? That's even crazier. Like, the foreign accent thing, I can kind of- I can kind of see, maybe, if you, like, forget. Because there's a part of your brain- like, you know different accents, right? You've been exposed to different accents. Most people can do, like, a crappy version of different kinds of accents if they really want to. You know? Most people can do phony accents. So if you think about it, if you hit your head hard enough and you think you're actually from Australia or you're from Britain or you're from China or you're from France or whatever. <laughs> you know? Or if you watch a lot of TV from other places with a lot of people with thick accents, if you're out of it enough, maybe you just, you just, your brain just forgets which accent to use. Like, I don't remember what I normally sound like, I'll just do this. So I can kind of see that happening. Being like crazy good at guitar or piano or like drawing or basketball or any anything like that, that's wild because that kind of thing you usually need practice, right? How would you just have the knowledge? Like that's so crazy. Unless it's somehow like maybe maybe that kid used to be really good at something else. Like maybe this kid was really good at soccer got hit in the head and now he sucks at soccer but he's great at guitar. Maybe it like maybe the skill points like were redistributed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> redistributed his skill points. Yeah, you've been leveling your soccer, but we just we wiped the mastery tree and we just put it all in guitar instead. Oh no, I didn't nickname him. We got one ditto and a box full of Patrick's. Dang. So now that I said that I'm gonna go after the chain, now we're gonna have a good chain. It's gonna keep me streaming. <laughs> Tuesday will be a long stream. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited about this game. I've been making the same stupid joke all day that I'm like, man, I hope I like Brilliant Diamond. I've never played Brilliant Diamond before. Sure, I played Pokemon Diamond back in the day. And sure, I have, you know, 400 something hours on Shining Pearl, but they're different games. They're very different games. I sure hope I like Brilliant Diamond. <laughs> oh man, Eeveelutions run. Have you ever done an Eeveelutions run? Like. They fit so well in any party. I find it- like, I don't think I've ever done- like, just kept one Eevee with me or two. Like, it feels like you gotta have the whole crew, you know? I think in either blue or red for a while I did have all three. And that's when there were three. Especially if you start with Bulbasaur, you could have the other three. You know? Then you're not overlapping types. Gold and silver, you could. And then it was like your starter and five EVs. Umbreon and Espeon are the best ones. I think Umbreon is my favorite. I like Jolteon a lot too, though. Jolteon was my first favorite, I think. Jol but I also like Vaporeon. I don't know. I liked both of them better than Flareon. <laughs> but I think Jolteon was my favorite at first. And then Umbreon was my favorite, and it's pretty much stayed my favorite. Yeah, it's still my favorite. They all look so cool together, though. It's like a rainbow, you know? It's like when you go get a new phone. Well, maybe not anymore. Or maybe when they had iPods, right? All different color iPods. Oh, heck, Game Boy Color. That's a better example. You see all the Game Boy Colors all lined up together, and they look so cool. And you pick one, and you're like, yeah, this one looks cool. But the rainbow just looks so nice with all of them together. Flareon, because it looks so cuddly. Yeah, I think for me, I liked... I like how spiky Jolteon is, and I like how mermaidy Vaporeon is. So maybe, I mean, I really like all of them. Like, they're all so cool. And Flareon does look super cuddly. Like, I'd rather, if I had to hug one of the three, 
I think I would definitely pick Flareon. Because Jolteon would just hurt, and Vaporeon would probably just, like, slip right out of your arms. <laughs> the old N64s? Oh, man. That was in the era of the clear colored plastic. Everything was, like, that transparent colored plastic, and it just... Oh, can we bring that back, please? I actually just ordered a Nintendo 64 controller, and it's, like, the clear purple. Not the really, like, the, the N64, I think there were two purple ones, right? There was, like, that bluey purple, and then there was the amethyst, which was, like, a really light kind of grayish pinky purple. And that's what I ordered. It's a Hyperkin controller. And I'm really excited because I've been, I've been putting off playing the N64 games on here. Uh, like, I played Mario 64 on the Mario All-Stars, and that was cool. And then, um... I played Star Fox 64. Ooh, this one's gonna be nice IVs. Cool. At least two, right? No, at least one. Atomic Purple and a dark one. Yeah, I think you're right. Because Atomic Purple was the Game Boy Color color as well, right? <gasps> Mario Kart 64. I did play that too. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Because that one introduced uh, Toad's Turnpike. And it's so funny to see all the characters going flying when they get <laughs> hit by the buses and stuff. Yeah! That one's really fun. I played that one on stream a little while ago. So that and Mario's... Uh, not Mario. That and Star Fox 64. Star Fox 64 is so fun, too. In Kirby, there's like flying sections with the glider thing, and I inverted my controls because I was still used to Star Fox. So it's Turnpike on mirror mode. Does the N64 one have mirror mode? Or is that only in uh, 8? Because I don't remember seeing mirror mode. I thought that was added later, but I could be wrong. That was a fun time. That was a fun one to stream. I streamed a little bit of... Uh, Super Mario Kart? And that one does not hold up. Like, it's not fun anymore. Once you've played newer, better titles. The most impressive thing, I think, with, um, Super Mario Kart... What, what the heck is it called? Is it called Mode 7 or something like that? Where they take the 2D sprites, but they arrange them in such a way that it looks like 3D models. Super impressive. You know when you see them on the map, right? You see the cars going on the map, and they look 3D, but it's it's on Super Nintendo. It's so cool. But the game's not fun. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't feel very fast either. Like, And I know, it, you know, it's, in, it's, it's, it's um, not in 64. It's Super Nintendo. Like, what do you expect, right? For the time, I think it was really impressive, but I didn't play it during its time. I played it way later, and I was like, this game is not fun. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 is, like, the definitive kart racer. Like, it's so much fun. It's so good. Mario Kart N64 absolutely holds up. So much fun. Man, I'm so glad that they're adding all this DLC to Mario Kart. I think the fans were whining so much about, We need a new Mario Kart! And Nintendo was like, We need to do something. We don't have a new Mario Kart ready. We gotta do something. And someone was like, Give them more of the old Mario Kart, and they're like, yes, do that. I think that was the perfect solution, because I think, honestly, at this point, they're... Maybe they're gonna wait for the next generation console and make, like, super crazy, like... Like, I, I don't know... I don't know how they're gonna top this. Honestly, Mario Kart 8, it's... Like, it's just, it's so good. It's, there's, it's so much fun. Unless they add, uh, like, you know how Diddy Kong Racing had, like, the, there was, like, airplane levels and stuff, and, like, the water ones. Like, they could do something like that, maybe. But I don't know how they're gonna, I don't know how they're gonna top it. It's got heckin' anti grab you're going, like, upside down and on the walls and stuff, and, like, maybe if they did something, like, double dash? Like, if they made a, a new one with that mechanic. That'd be cool. Hey, Glass. <gasps> Bringing pizza. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see your last comment there, Steve. <laughs> I was saying that, and then I saw... Yeah, make a new GameCube one. 
Like Double Dash, right? That's what I was hoping for. And a little while ago, I think Mario Kart 9 was trending on Twitter. You know, as it does. Nintendo Kart was trending, I think. People were like, they're gonna make a new Mario Kart, but it's not gonna be just Mario, it's gonna be like Smash Kart. And I'm like, please don't do that. Please don't do that. I don't want it to be like half Fire Emblem characters and... You know. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think Mario Kart... It's got the Mario charm, you know? But yeah, at this point, I think, didn't they say the Switch is only like halfway through its lifespan? They got another four or five years planned for it? Dude, that's wild. They'll probably do like a new Switch or Switch Plus or something, right? Like, I know there's the OLED, but you know. That's only really good for playing in, um, in handheld mode, right? For me, I play docked like 90% of the time. I, I was surprised that the OLED didn't even have like, it didn't have a faster processor or anything. I thought it was going to be faster. I thought it was going to perform better, but I think all it is, it's just the screen is bigger and way nicer, right? But I play docked like 90% of the time, so it really doesn't matter to me anyways. You mostly play in handheld mode? Then maybe, do you have an OLED? Would you get one? Want your Fire Emblem so badly? They announced Fire Emblem Heroes or Warriors or whatever, which is kind of a tease. Hey Glass, thanks for the hydrate and stretch. I should do that. Hey Bluesy, thanks for the lurk. Actually, I had a, a hydrate from earlier from Potato, I think. Hey, if, to, if Potato comes by tomorrow and is like, she had the cough drop, here's the hydrate for that, from when I had the cough drop. You're happy with the switch. Yeah. I think I would up upgrade if it was a significant upgrade. I also I I whoops. Oatric. Man, this chain does not end. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right. Watch it end. Don't end. Don't end. Don't end. Nice. I mean, I could put the system in sleep mode and continue later, like tomorrow, but. I want to see how this chain goes. Mm, this one's furthest, right? I would update if it was significantly different. Specifically, I think if it had faster load times and stuff. Because, you know, streaming, it's important. I'm, I'm not one to really care too much. Although, I bought my time at Porsche on Switch, and I, like, won't play it. The loading times in that game are too bad. It's too slow. It, it's like disruptively slow. Usually I don't notice that kind of thing. Like, you know, loading between areas is fine or between levels or, you know. But especially when you have like Breath of the Wild that runs so well and like Monster Hunter and all these games, there's like minimal loading, right? And then, when I played my time at Porsche, it was like, you go into town and it's like loading, loading, loading for like, ever. And you go back to the farm, loading, load- I was like, I can't do this, I'm gonna go play Stardew Valley <laughs> instead, or Animal Crossing or something. Upgrade if they make a Fire Emblem Persona edition switch- oh yeah, shoot. <laughs> that, yeah. What if they make Pokemon Violet and Scarlet ones? I'll be honest, if they make a really nice looking Pokemon Switch OLED, I will be tempted. I would be tempted. They probably will- don't say that! Oh, my wallet! It's already crying, it can hear us. <laughs> it can hear us. That would be really tempting. What if it- what would it look like? Would it be like- black but with like red and purple like the key pokemon or whatever or maybe the starters mm. the thing is i feel like if i had an oled i would just ruin it because i'm always like i know i said i play 90 percent docked but i still take it out of the dock a lot to like change the games and, and sometimes i do play handheld on the couch or whatever or I'll play in bed for a bit. But... Uh, man, it's all scratched up. It's so hard to dock and undock it. You gotta be so careful. 
super conscientious every time. Yeah, I think you're right, sad face. <laughs> I think you're right. I better start saving up now. <laughs> if they made one that was faster... Oh man, what if, wait, what if they did that? What if they aligned like a new switch? No, they won't. They just did the OLED. They won't. What if they did a new OLED? <laughs> Oh, man. If they made a faster performing switch, I'd probably have to get it. I think that's the only... The only thing. The screen is fine. I play on a TV most of the time. I don't care if it has a bigger, nicer screen. If I was just buying a switch and I didn't have one at all, I would probably go for the OLED. Or if I had a Switch Lite and I wanted one that I could dock, but I don't- I don't really think that there's a reason to upgrade just from the regular Switch to the OLED. Again, unless you're- unless you play, like, exclusively or almost exclusively in handheld mode, and you really like to, uh, you know, admire stuff. That's the other thing too, though, like, even if it's a bigger screen, it's still a small heckin' screen compared to a TV. Just get, like, a nice TV, you know? with, like, you know, good refresh rate or whatever. I mean, I think the Switch is capped at 30 FPS anyways, right? <laughs> I was having this conversation with my partner the other day. He was playing Monster Hunter on PC. Monster Hunter Rise. And... Well, that one I didn't notice as much as World. So, World on... PS4 versus PC, or Rise on Switch versus PC. I prefer the lower frame rate. I don't know what it is. I saw Monster Hunter running at 60 FPS, and it it was like... It kind of freaked me out, you know? It's like... It's almost like Uncanny Valley. I mean, it's... It's... Not... Because, I mean, the characters don't look, like, realistic enough for it to be Uncanny Valley, but it was the same kind of idea. It was like they were moving too smoothly to be game characters? It was like... I don't know. I kind of- I think what it is is like the 30 FPS has that game kind of feel. You know when they made the Hobbit movie and they made it 48 FPS and everyone was like, what the heck? And it was really- it has like a weird feel to it. Maybe that's what it is. Something like that. If a game runs too smoothly, it doesn't feel like a game anymore. <laughs> it might depend on the game, too. If I was playing, like, an FPS or something, maybe I would want, like, super fast. But I think because Monster Hunter, to me, still feels like such a... such a game that I don't mind a lower frame rate. I don't know. It's strange. It's a strange, uh, idea. Think they might make a cheaper switch towards the end of its life? Probably. Probably. Like a 2DS type. I mean, they already made the Switch Lite. So how would they make a cheaper version than the Switch Lite that isn't, like... You know? That's, like, not, not significantly worse, but it's cheaper. I think the 2DS is a really cool, uh, system, and I still want to get one at some point. I just remember the memes when it came out, though. Everyone was like, Nintendo, why doesn't it bend? <laughs> why can't I fold it? Jeez, this chain! We couldn't have had this chain an hour ago. <clears throat> Don't care if I see the sweater hair on character's arm in great detail. Yeah. Like, to me, it's, you know... And all these, like, honestly, I think the best looking gen of games is honestly, like, the 16-bit era. That was, like, the, you know... Oh, I know they're going for realism and stuff, and a lot of the things just aren't really possible with 16-bit. Especially 3D games. Oh, is that in the corner? Yo! Wolfpack Spence, thank you for resubbing for six whole months. I appreciate that. Where did, where did you even come from? Where did you come from? <coughs> <laughs> thank you for that. I appreciate it. 
That's a new sub badge. I would be blowing the party horn, but I think I might still have some sick germs, so I don't want to get it all yucky. So... There, there's a <laughs> little party horn. <laughs> Late night cami. I feel like every week somebody says that. I've been streaming Tuesday nights for at least a year. But it's only Tuesday nights. And Friday if you count that. I think the GameCube games are the best um, that Nintendo games ever looked. That's, a, that's fair. I mean, the 3D was pretty cool. Like, a lot of them had that cartoony look, which I think is what did it. Like, a lot of the PlayStation games, <clears throat> like a lot of PS2, but especially PS1 games, just look so bad now. And it's because the 3D at first was like, whoa, this is 3D. This is amazing. And, you know, but now we've seen good 3D and it's like, huh, you know? <clears throat> Not for five hours straight. Yeah, it is a bit later than usual, huh? Well, you see, it's these darn dittos. They keep showing up. I said, after this chain, I'm going to bed. And that was like an hour ago, and it's been going for a while. PS1 Final Fantasy VII look better than the one on PS5. <laughs> Them pointy bits, though. You gotta mind the pointy bits. But I think that's what it is with Nintendo, is they made graphics that were timeless. Even Mario 64 still looks pretty darn good. You know, for for what it is, right? Oof, I need water. Thanks again for that resub there. I think uh, you might you just resubbed like last week, I swear. You must have been holding on to that last one. Hey Mush, how's it going? <laughs> Five hours. Yeah, I should be going to bed or something. So about an hour ago, or over an hour, I had, what, 15 minutes left or something, or 20? And I was like, all right, we'll do one more chain. And of course, this is the chain that doesn't end. After I had a couple of chains die after like five or 10 dittos, now we've got a chain of like 30. But the good news is we've got a pretty, we're getting, we're getting pretty close to high shiny chance for a ditto, which is super cool. And every 10 dittos, pretty much, up to 40, we get good IVs, which is excellent for breeding champion Pokemon. So this is one of the most important- this is probably the most important chain I could be doing. Let's go to bed, hopped on to see what's happening on Twitch. Ditto chains, apparently. Yep, just ditto chains. We got our Eevees ready for the subathon next week. I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to play Brilliant Diamond. I'm gonna play it like it's a first playthrough, you know? <laughs> For the overtime. Dude, thank you. <laughs> We're like three minutes over. Well, no, wait, an hour and three minutes over time. <laughs> Thanks for the biddies. I appreciate it. Oh boy. <laughs> we got. Um, so you guys, if you haven't heard yet, we're doing, we're doing a subathon on Tuesday and we're playing Brilliant Diamond. And it's an Eevee's only run, Eeveelutions only. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, this is so many dittos. <laughs> I've got so many dittos. So, yesterday I caught these two Eevees. They're just, they're just whatever. You know, I went to the garden and I just caught two Eevees. And I said, the first two Eevees I catch, we're gonna breed them and then these are gonna be the Pokemon for the run. So these eight Eevee eggs are gonna, those are gonna be the only Pokemon that I'm using in my Brilliant Diamond run. And I'm really excited. I can never have enough Patrick Dittos. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing now. We're catching Dittos, we're naming them Patrick because earlier we're having a Patrick quote off quote off? Yeah, something like that. The one on the right is- wait. Am I on the left or the right square? What square am I on? That's like seven. I think this one's furthest. Subathon sub only stream? No, 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 no. So subathon is- it starts out as four hours, so it's gonna start at noon central time on Tuesday. 
Instead of- so it's like today, right? But instead of having a morning stream for four hours and a night stream for four hours, I'm gonna have like an afternoon stream. Here, let me put the time in here. It's gonna be that time? 12 p.m. Central? Yeah, that time we're starting. And the stream is scheduled for four hours to start with, but every sub and gift sub and, you know, uh, bits and stuff like that extends the timer for up to 12 hours. So I'll probably be streaming for 12 hours, because that's what usually happens. <laughs> Especially Patrick Ditto, he's my favorite. I think it's just such a good name. I'm glad we thought of that. That was cool. Patrick Ditto. But yeah, it's not a sub-only stream. So, you know, everyone's welcome. And I don't want anybody to feel pressured to sub or gift or spend any money, because you don't have to. And if I'm being honest, like, really? Streaming for, like, 12 hours? Even if you just pop in for a few minutes and say hi, it's it's great for morale. It'll keep me company for a few minutos. But also, it should be super fun. It'll be evolutions only, you know? So I'm gonna send these eggs over to Pokemon Diamond. I have a file where I got- I got only as far as I have to. Which is, um... Jubilife. Once you unlock trading, basically. So I'll be able to trade myself the eggs, but I'm gonna hatch them on that game. So that I'm the original trainer for that playthrough, so that they don't have, like, extra experience or whatever. What day is it? It's a week from today. So Tuesday the 26th. Starts at 12 p.m. Central Time, going for up to 12 hours. You gotta make sure you cap your subathons, otherwise you might end up doing what Ludwig did. And I think he streamed for like, what, 28 days straight? Something like that. <laughs> but it's always fun, and there's extra stuff too, like there's little, you know, I've got the milestones and things, so like whenever we hit a sub milestone, we have, we have fun things to do, like you know, there's a duck whistle solo, dog show and tell, you know. You've heard- you've heard the puppy crunching on stream, you can see pictures of him and little videos and stuff. I usually do an MS Paint drawing, themed around whatever game we're playing, so we have like a Mario eel, we have a Link eel from when I played Breath of the Wild, <laughs> we have a, a Farmer eel. Aw, there's a puppy! Oh, I love puppy dog emotes. <laughs> Try to pop in for if you don't tell my boss. Hey, my lips are sealed. <laughs> It'll be a fun time. It'll be a fun time. I'm more excited for this subathon than I've been for any other subathon. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome. But it'll be like a real playthrough. I mean, I, I've i got like 420-something hours on this game now. I haven't spoken to most of the NPCs whoops, in a long time. Darn it, I messed up. Okay. Messed up my strats. There we go. These guys are really good for holding this ditto dust. All these different powders that only dittos can use. Hey, that one should have had good, uh, stats. And all these dittos. Patrick. <laughs> all these Patricks. Two best. Two best. This one has a best. Oh, that one has two best? Oh! See, that one was just lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this was my twentieth one, which was guaranteed one best IV, and then he just rolled another one. He's just a lucky. He's a lucky Patrick. Hey, what if we just call Ditto's Patricks? Can that be an inside channel thing? That in QQ Bar. <laughs> We're talking about remember cats and cucumbers, you guys. People would- people with cats, they'd like put a cucumber behind their cat, wait for the cat to turn around, it would just get inexplicably startled. The cat would be like up on the ceiling after it sees the cucumber. So we were talking about that earlier and there was a typo, someone said QQ bar. 
It's a good typo, Kiki Bar. It's a good one. Man. 40 is where you get max shiny uh, chance. I wonder how viable Ditto is in, like, the Battle Tower. I'm tempted to bring one, you know? I'm tempted. What I could do, if we get all the way to 39... We could reset for 40 to either have a special ability or be shiny. Or both. What if we got a special ability, shiny Ditto? That'd be so crazy. Remember that? This Minecraft couple used to watch tried it on their cat and he didn't even react to it. <laughs> what is it with cats and cucumbers? Somebody this morning said that the cat thinks it's a snake or something. I think it's just that the cat turns around, they're like, what the heck, that wasn't there a minute ago, and they're cats, so they're a little bit, um, what's the word? They're like cautious, right? What is that? I better jump four feet in the air and figure it out on the way down. My name's not Rick. Do you guys think if I named one not Rick? Like, would people... Would someone on the GWS understand that? Are these powders good? If I used a Ditto in the Battle Tower, would I give it a quick powder? Hmm. Man, this game is so good. So much to do in this game. And unlike Pokemon Legends Arceus, it all feels worthwhile. You know? It all feels worthwhile. That's that's the thing with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Like, I had a lot of fun with that game, especially at first. I was like, what? I can run around during battles and Burmese jump out of the trees, you know, and stuff, and it's great. But... I think it's like a to-do list, but there's no... I mean, put it this way, I've got to-do lists for like around the house, and I haven't finished everything. But if you can mark off all these to-do list things around the house, all these chores and little little jobs, right? Oh, I gotta change this light bulb, I gotta fix this, or, you know, repaint that, or whatever. You got like, it's rewarding, right? When you get it done. And in Pokemon Legends Arceus, it feels like that, but there's no real... There's not really a big sense of satisfaction when you get things done, right? You're like, oh cool, I filled up a page in my Pokedex. And that's cool, but that's kind of it, you know? It doesn't feel like anything that you're doing is of earth-shattering importance. So there's not a lot of push to get it done. I finished the unknowns because I thought that was cool. I really liked the unknowns, actually. I liked reading the clues, you know, deciphering them, finding them, looking for them. It was- that was fun. I found all the darn wisps, which wasn't fun. <laughs> and, uh, you know. But it's so that I can go get Spiritomb. Okay, cool. And I filled up my Pokedex, or almost, you know, so I can go get Arceus. But I've got a few other things to get, so we'll do that on stream, it'll be fun. But, like, filling up the pages, when I first got the game, I was like, I want to fill up all the Pokedex pages. I want to perfect every single Pokemon. I knew I wouldn't, and like, I wouldn't keep wanting to do that. But when I got the game, I was like, this is fun, I want to do this. And I think if I played this game, like, you know, before bed or something to, like, unwind, I, I would probably, you know, I'd kind of chip away at it and see how far I get. <laughs> People say the cats think it's a snake, but you've never heard a cat confirm it. Oh, I thought it was gonna end there. 33. Man. We're so close to getting, like, a shiny. Or better yet, a 3 IV. Ditto. Man. If we get to 39, we're gonna reset until we get a shiny. 
we're just gonna. Because also with all these dittos in my box, it'll be easier to tell the, you know, the three I view one apart if it's blue instead of pink. Blue ditto. Like I said, never ending stream. I mean, that would mean that we'd get to 100, we'd get a 5 IV ditto, right? That would be alright. Say so there's only a handful of perfect Pokedexes these days, including all legit shinies and variants. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's just like too much, you know? The thing with Pokemon, like, there's so much to do, though. Like, it's the perfect kind of collectathon sort of game, in a way, you know? I'm just excited to be so excited about it. There's so much to do. Even just going for five-star trainer card, you gotta become the champion. Okay, that's easy, right? Just beat the game. If you play the game, you know, you'll get there. You beat the game. Easy. Number two. Okay, you gotta get a master contest. Alright, you might have to do a bit of research for it, because the contests are kind of weird and the stickers aren't really intuitive. But you can do that. Alright, cool. Number three, spend some time in the underground. Get at least a hundred different statues. The underground is so much fun. I did that one without even noticing. No, okay, not quite. I think I had like 88, and then I was like, okay, I'll just go spend some more time down there. Or spend more time uh, digging specifically rather than just looking for shiny Pokemon and stuff. Whoops, what am I doing? There. Keep going, keep going. Okay, that little you're like, whoa. 34. We gotta go all the way to 40, you guys. We gotta get to 40. I'm starting to get nervous now. I'm like, ugh. There's like a 87% chance, I think, that the chain continues if you go to the furthest one, or if you go to one that's at least four away. Four spaces, that is. But there's always that, you know, 13 or maybe it's 17% chance that it doesn't. It might only be an 83% chance that it keeps going. Gotta do 50? Nah, 50's not important. 50 doesn't do anything. It's, it's 40 and then 100. I did get a chain of 51 spindas and I got 11... 11 shiny spindas in a row. It was bonkers. I'm so glad to hear that noise when I go, okay. Four more and then we're safe. I'm starting to get like, ah! Four more and then we're safe. Give you more chances at the sh highest shiny odds? Not so, not so. Sort of, but not so, because <coughs> you get to 39 and then 40 is best odds, and then after that the odds don't improve, right? The only thing that gets better after 40 is once you get to 100, you get a guaranteed 5 best IVs, whereas 40 gives you 3. But 100, the ch like just getting to 100 is crazy. If you're shiny hunting and you get to 40, you have your 1 in 99 chance. But you can reset the radar until you get one. So you're not like guaranteed, but you can keep the odds once you get there. But it's while you're chaining, it's like, ugh. I, yeah, I know you didn't say improved. I'm, um, you do have more chances. Well, that, okay, so, but you have to get to 40 before you get to 50. So what you do is you get to 40, right? And you keep resetting till you get your shiny. And then hopefully the chain keeps going and then you keep resetting and it keeps... So that's what I did with Spinda. I got to 40 and the chain kept going. So I kept refreshing until I saw another shiny and then I caught that one and then the chain kept going and going and going. 
Heck, what you could do, because there's a very high chance that you lose your chain, if, if there's one that spawns, like, right next to you, and sometimes you do get a shiny, like, right next to you. And usually people are like, I don't care, it's a shiny, and you go for it. But if you're trying to get all the way to 100, or you're trying to get multiple shinies, you're better off probably resetting if it's, like, right next to you. And then that way, the chain will continue, and you can just keep resetting. And then it's just, like, a matter of time. Oh my goodness. Do the odds reset after 40? No, they don't. They don't. They just don't get- they don't change. It's 1 in 99, and that's as good as it gets after that. But I- what I believe it is, is, um, for every... For every square away from your character, the odds get better that it keeps going. So if you if if you walk into a shaking grass that's right beside you, you have a f uh, let's see you have a fifty three percent chance of continuing the chain fifty three if it's right beside you if it's two spaces away it's a sixty three percent chance three spaces away is a seventy three percent chance and then four spaces or further is an eighty three percent chance. So the crummy thing is even if it's like seven or eight spaces away, it's still an 83% chance. Which is a pretty good chance, right? But it's also like the chance of that 83% after each one. Like I've basically at this point, what are we at? 35 or something? We've had that 83, like 13, not 13, 35 times in a row or something. Like, what are, the ch what are the odds of that, like, cumulatively, right? It's a pretty low chance. So we're very lucky. We're being very lucky, and I, I hope it keeps going. I take it, like, one step at a time. I'm like, we got 83%. We got good odds. And yeah, 100 chain is five IVs. Five best IVs. And hopefully it's missing either attack or special attack, I think. Because usually it's one of those that you don't need, right? Usually you go for one or the other. Unless you're doing a mixed attacker, but most Pokemon, I don't think you want to do that. For this gives you 17% chance it'll break the chain. Yeah, did I say 83 or 87? Yeah, so it's an 83% chance that you keep it. Oh, but it's not necessarily the furthest away. It's just at least four spaces away. So four spaces away from you or further is a 17% chance it'll break, or 83% chance that it keeps going. So if you go to one that's three spaces away, there's a 27% chance that it breaks. Two spaces away is a 37% chance, and if there's one right next to you, it's a 47, so almost... almost 50-50. Yeah, so chaining to 100 is pretty scary. So like this one right next to me, if I take that, it'll probably die. Four, five, six, and two, three, four. Okay, I guess we're going to this one. The other thing is if you ever see one in a corner, I'm gonna say don't go for it. Cause it happened to me one time. I went in a corner and the two adjacent to me were wiggle grass. And I was like, no! So no matter what I did, the chances were that it would break. And it didn't. And I kept chaining and I got a shiny Fero. But the chances, like the odds, oh my god, it was so bad. But going to 100, I'd love to get to 100 sometime. Not right now, because I want to, like, go to bed. <laughs> it's 10.30. But man, it's crazy. Okay, keep going. Okay, we need, like, was that 37? That was 38, right? We need one more Patrick and then we're safe. I think, right? If we can get the number to say 39, then we're safe. So I think we need one more. Or two more. One more and then, I don't know. Please. <gasps> it keeps going! Oh, they're all really far away, too. So all of these will give me a 83% uh, chance to keep going. If it's shiny, what am I going to name it? Not Rick. No, I'm just kidding. Should I name well, I can't name him Patrick, because he wouldn't be pink. <laughs> Rick Pat. No. Uh, that's a good question. 
Squidward? Squidward isn't really blue. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. If the chain continues after this one, we're basically guaranteed a shiny because I'll keep resetting till we get a shiny. <sighs> but we could lose it. There's still like a 17% chance that we lose it. Oh boy. Oh boy. We need the luck, chat. We need the luck. Part of me, if we get a shiny one, I partly just want to name it, like, Dito. Because it goes, Dito! <laughs> just however that's spelled. Resets. Yeah, so what you do... Thank you for the shiny luck, oh my gosh. We need it. Shiny luck is doubling as chain luck. I'm so nervous right now. I've managed to get 40 chains for a few Pokemon. But it's so nerve-wracking, like, uh. I just shivered. Partly because it's cold in here, but partly because I'm like... <laughs> and the thing is, the jump from 39 to 40 is so huge. Because, mainly because at 40... You get your three IVs, right? So that's the other thing, is if this continues, we can get a shiny 3 IV. Ditto. The other thing that I forgot to mention is you want to be catching all of them. I'm not just catching them to have a bunch of D Patrick dittos to send on the global trade thing. I just think that'll be hilarious. <laughs> Sending out all these Patricks. But if you catch the, all, the, all the chances, all the percent... Uh, Probabilities, that's the word. All the odds that I've been talking about is based on catching the Pokemon. If you knock them out, if you run away, the chain ends. So do not run away if you want the chain to keep going. If you run away, the chain ends. If you knock out the Pokemon, it's a really low chance for it to keep going. But I can't remember. It might just be like a 43% chance all the time. I'm not sure. Oh, please keep going. Please. I can't look, Chet. I can't look. I'm gonna close my eyes and turn up the sound and hopefully I hear that little bling, you know? Oh. <gasps> it kept going! Yes! Okay. We're gonna get our shiny ditto. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the luck. You heckin' did it. Ooh! Thank you, Glass. Thanks for the- oh, thanks for the luck, you guys. I want to make darn sure I have a rappel on. We do, right? Okay, good. Um, by the way, I love that it does that because before it didn't do that. Alright, so now all we gotta do... You take a hundred steps and it resets the radar. And you keep going until you see a shiny. Where is the fourth one? Okay, it's down there. And you want to make sure you're kind of in the middle of whatever. Thanks for the luck, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's just a matter of time now. We just reset until we see one. So you can keep running the radar, and it'll give you new Pokemon every time. New Pokemon. So you have another chance of getting a hidden ability. You get another chance of getting a shiny. But it's mega important that you don't go in the corner. Like, this would be the worst spot, because I could get one here, and I could get one there. And then I'm forced into the crappy odds, and I can't reset the radar because I can't walk my hundred steps. I'm trying to stay that away from them. This is broken. What are the odds? Do we have any like math people? What are the odds? So if you have an 83% chance of continuing each time, but you have to do it 39 times in a row, what are the odds? What are the odds of getting 83%? 39 times in a row. Because it's not good. It's not good odds. It's better than 1 in 4096, which is the odds of just walking into the grass and finding a shiny anything. Compared to the people who reset for shiny legendaries or starters, though, this is... Yeah, it's kind of broken. 
But what I like about it is like it does it is kind of stressful, like in a in a fun way, right? It's stressful like See, there's a hidden ability one, but I'm not getting it. But it's different. It's a different Pokemon. What's the problem again? Uh, with what? What's the problem with what? Going in the corner? It's only a corner if you can't escape. So, like, this would be okay, because I could walk out here. Oh, with math. Math problem. So... Every time I ran into one, I had a an 83% chance of continuing the chain. So what are the odds of that happening? There it is! There it is! So what are, <laughs> so what are the odds of getting an 83% success rate 39 times in a row? And those are the odds of this happening. <gasps> we gotta see a shiny ditto! He's blue! Look how blue he is, Jarrett! He's so blue! What do we name him? <laughs> what do we name him? Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at him. Matching quick ball, matching quick ball. Yes! I didn't even notice how far that one was from me, but we might- I think it was far, too? This one might have a 73% chance of going on. Oh man, look how fast that was! Thanks for all the luck, that's why. Thanks for all the luck. I'm not calling him Patrick! I'm not calling him Patrick Star, I'm not calling him Patrick, because he's not pink! He's not a Patrick, he's a... He's like a marmalade or something. Is there blue marmalade? He's a... Yeah, we got this shiny! You see him in the background. A little blue blob. Called Blue Blob. Oh, uh, we could call him... Oh, I had an idea and then I forgot. Um... Oh... So exciting. This is such an important shiny. Also, he's got three perfect IVs. Guaranteed three perfect IVs, right? So he'll be really good for breeding, which is cool. Oh, man. Otted. I thought of that, too! We can call him Tito. <laughs> or Me Too. I was like, we can call him Me Too, right? Ditto. Call him Me Too. What if we call him Me Too? Call him Me Too. <laughs> Blue Dabba Dee Dabba da Oh, we can call him Dabba Dee. <laughs> call him Eiffel. Eiffel 65. We can call him Eiffel. Hmm. What about Me Too? Me Too's cute, right? Blobby. Alright. Calling him Me Too. Look at that. Dang. Oh my gosh. Swipe. And it keeps going! It keeps going. So we save. First thing we do, we save. We save. By the way, one thing that makes it not broken is you- if you save- if I reset my game right now... My save will still be here, I'll still have all these Patricks and this Me Too. Look at that, three best. Dang. You're thinking Bobby Hill on that one? Yeah, see here's the- for if you're not familiar, here's the normal ditto, here's the shiny. He's blue. You make him headbang. He's so slow moving. Dang. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but if I reset my game right now, uh, this would be gone. The run would be gone. Bobby- oh, Blobby Hill? <laughs> so, the chain continues. You know what that means? This is the broken part. Oh my gosh. I thought it was triggering that one because it kind of spawned right where I was standing. Alright, we can think of another one. Holy cow, just notice you're still going. Zoom! We just got a shiny ditto. This chain has been going for like two hours. It's not fair. 
I want to go to bed. <laughs> We're on a chain of 40 dittos. And just farm shiny dittos. You can, yeah. Until, until, uh, until the, th the whatever dies. Until the chain dies. So if you get one that's like far enough away from you, you can still keep the 83% chance. So ideally, you go up to 40, and then this is where you can keep trying to go up to 100 if you want. And you you can farm, like, just keep going for dittos. <laughs> we got that 83% chance again, too. Oh my god. This one is not guaranteed any good IVs. Nothing. But... Shiny ditto. I'm really happy about this. Obviously I'm really happy about this, but what I'm extra happy about... I've had a shiny ditto before in this game, so I have the Pokedex entry for it. But I wish I didn't. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So cool. Shiny Ditto, it's one of the best shinies. Oh, man. Mm. Call him Eiffel. Because he's blue, dabba dee, dabba die. This one has a really good chance of continuing the chain, too. See how it goes. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap, two in a row! Oh! Chat, your luck is working overtime. Oh my god. Yo. Holy smokes. Two in a row. Every time that the grass wiggles now that we have a chain of 40, every single wiggle grass has a 1 in 99 chance. So I don't know if this is how odds work. But I think once you- so every time you reset the radar and you get four new ones... That's like a 25% chance, right? Is that how odds work? Odds are weird. Also, we should refresh our false swipe in hypnosis just in case. Oh my goodness. Reaction's probably going into a song. <gasps> oh, that's another thing I was gonna say. Hey, how come he's not a shiny Gallade? I feel... I feel ripped off. There's no way to tell right now that this is a shiny ditto. Dang. That reaction should go in a song. I'm putting together a kit of all my favorite samples. So like, uh, you know, so the Star Fox radio and the roar from Subnautica from the Reaper. And the dog grumble, which is like the coolest bass. You're on your way to bed, but the hype is drawing you in. <laughs> I'm not gonna nickname them. We're, we're done nicknaming them now. Alright. Does the chain keep going? Oh my god. He copies you. Yeah, I know. But I was like, eh, hey, that would be neat. <laughs> Up and around. Okay. So I think, is that right? If each of these has a 1 in 99 chance? Let's just say a 1% chance, right? It's close enough to 1%. It's a little bit better than 1%. But if each of these has a 1% chance, is that like a 4% chance? If we're getting 4... I know it's like a 4 times a 1% chance, but it's like a 4% chance, right? So hypothetically, you reset 25 times, you should see it. The shiny. So if you, um, if you really want to, if you see a shiny, like, right, like, if I see one that's right beside me or, like, two spaces away, then there's a decent chance that the chain will end. Uh, which at this point is honestly what I want. Because <laughs> I want to stop talking for the night. <laughs> Maybe get a little hot chocolate before bed. Oh, that appeals... That really appeals. Hot chocolate. Alright, I'm making sure I can see all four. Not that I, like, walk into one and not notice it, you know? 
Dang. But yeah, it's like Oprah handing out shiny dittos here. It's pretty cool. Maybe I could use them for prizes or something. Maybe I could- I want to give away shiny Pokemon, but I haven't figured out how I want to do it yet. Realistically, you're guaranteed to get at least one shiny per 40 chain with this cheese. Realistically, yeah, if you're able to get- to, oh yeah, the eggs, remember the eggs? If you're able to get to a chain of 40, and if you are, um, willing to reset until you get one, yeah. It's just how long you're... It's kind of, it's guaranteed in the way that if you start- if you reset your game at the beginning over and over and over until you get a shiny starter, then you'll eventually get a shiny start. But it's always odds, right? So if you walk into- like, if you see 100 wiggly grass patches, or 99, right? It's a 1 in 99 chance, but the thing is, it's not- It's not like there's 99 grass patches and one is guaranteed to have a shiny, right? So there's no guarantee, but for all intents and purposes, yeah, kind of. <laughs> you can just keep going until you get one and this is your best odds that you can get. I think these are the best odds you can get in the game. So, but I still want to know what the actual odds are of getting that far. I've heard that it's best to get if you can get to a chain of 17, then the odds of getting a shiny work out to about the same. Uh, just because the chances of the chain continuing that long is pretty low. Like, to get it all the way to 40, right? Hmm. <clears throat> well, understand if you're too hoarse to stream in the morning. I think, honestly, I... Oh my goodness! Yo, Sam! Sam raid! That's how you know I'm overtime, is Sam is raiding me. I'm not supposed to be up this late. Hey, Sam and everyone. Um, I was just... <laughs> I was just gonna say, uh... I think we will be streaming Kirby in the morning, because I will probably talk less if I'm trying to actually get levels done and stuff. Oh my goodness. But you said you're going to bed, right, Zoom? Have a good sleep. You saw... you were... you were here for it. Um... Anyways. Have, have a good sleep, Zoom. Thanks for hanging out. Sam, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. My name's Cammy. I'm almost two hours over time. Because we're looking for dittos. We're looking for dittos. And we're finding dittos. And in fact, we've even found some special dittos. We got three shiny dittos. We're chaining for dittos. How's it going? Uh, my name's Cammy. I really like Pokemon a lot, and I make Game Boy music. And I've got an eel with a mohawk and aviator shades on screen, so, you know. Uh. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hey, Foggy. Hey, Spicy Soupy. Good to see you guys again. Hey, Scrolllock. Welcome in. How's everyone? You're playing Breath of the Wild. Awesome. How was it? Odds would be pretty hard to work out. Is it guaranteed to get a patch of grass that's at least four patches away? Oh, that's true. It's not. Well, actually, no, it kind of is. Because the same way, like, I'm resetting before I see the shiny grass, um, you can reset. So if there is no grass that's at least four squares away, I will reset. So you can say that, yes, what are the odds of getting 83% success rate 39 times consecutively? Because if I don't have the 83%, I won't go for it. And you can't lose it if you reset. Oi. Selling chat, you're probably overtime. Didn't want to think to find another raid. Fair enough. Yeah, I was supposed to be done at uh, 9, and now it's quarter to 11 my time. I'm also supposed to be not uh, talking too much, because I had COVID last week, so... <laughs> but, you know, I'll probably be kind of quiet tomorrow morning. We'll have a chill morning stream tomorrow. It's funny because, like, about almost exactly two hours ago right now, I was like, all right, we're gonna do one more chain. And I was chaining Ditto and we had maybe five or ten, and the, the chains kept dying. And now we're on a chain of, like, 43 or something, and it's crazy. Hey there, you need, how's it going? Welcome in. 
Going to sleep, have fun. Hey, thanks, Scrollock. Thanks for joining in the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you have a super great night. Sounds like Game Freak. I'm not reading. <laughs> I'm not reading everything out loud. <laughs> I think the thing is, it's partly the dedication. They've always had stuff kind of like this, right? But you just have to know what the odds are. Right? There's probably cheese with, um... Getting a Master Ball from the Lotto thing. There's probably cheese for that with the trainer... ID numbers and stuff. I don't know. But that's why you see a lot of shiny Pokemon in this game. And in Arceus, I think... I don't know what the odds are in Arceus at all, but I think it's... <gasps> okay, this one's... Where did I start? It's three away? So we have a 73% chance to keep going. Dang. So cool looking! I might, I might give away a couple of these during the subathon next week. We'll see. We'll see. Hope you enjoy your chill morning stream, but I gotta run them also over time. Yeah, no, fair enough. Thank you for the raid, Sam. I appreciate it. Have a super good night. I know you had fun with Breath of the Wild. I always have fun when I play that game. I don't play it often, but when I do, it's fun. So, you know, have a good sleep. Thanks again. How do you make the grass pop like that? It's with the Poke Razor. It's- you gotta... What do you have to do to get the Poke Radar? <laughs> you have to fill your Sinnoh decks, right? You have to... see every Pokémon in Sinnoh, I think. You don't have to catch them all, you have to see them all, and then you go back and see Professor Rowan. And then he'll give you the Poke Radar, and then you run the radar and it makes the grass shake like that. And there are some Pokémon that you can only get from the Shaky Grass. This is also the most effective way to shiny hunt. Because the more the grass shakes, like every time you get in a battle with one of the Shaky Grass Pokémon, there's a chance that it keeps going, but there's also a chance that it doesn't. And if it if it does, then your chances of getting a shiny Pokémon go up. And at certain benchmarks, like at 20, 30, 40, and 100, you get guaranteed best stats on some of your, some of your stats, so... Bedtime, good luck on 6 IV shiny hidden ability ditto. If that happens, I don't... I don't even know, man. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> I'd have to call it, like, Exodia or something ridiculous. Or Zeus, something godly. Anyways, I appreciate it. Have a good night, Mush. Take care. We've chained high enough right now that the odds of uh, each of the shaky grasses has a 1 in 99 chance right now to be a shiny Pokemon. Be a very popular clip on Twitch. I would be screaming so loud, I probably would take tomorrow off. <laughs> I probably would. Oh shoot, I forgot to put Scyther away, so he's gonna level up a bunch of times. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, yeah, fine. Whoever gets you in the trade will probably want it. Here you go. This is so cool, though. I've wanted a shiny Ditto for so long. And now I have one with three good IVs. It's gonna help with breeding so much. Uh, I want to use some Lepa Berries and get my False Swipes back, because it looks like this is still gonna go for a bit. Oh my gosh. Ay ay ay. It's crazy. <laughs> Shiny hunting in this game is so fun, but it's kind of stressful. But once you get to this point, like, we've got 43 dittos in a row. Look at this. This was my biggest one. It was 51 for Spinda. Once you get to this point, it's just fun. And you've already got your shiny, so it kind of doesn't matter if the chain keeps going or if you get to go to bed. 
But the thing is, like, I could put my system in sleep mode. Oh my gosh, there it is already. And they keep spawning, like, far away from me, too. Dang. I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to work this into a giveaway. I'll name them all Blue Patrick. <laughs> Blue Patrick. <laughs> the best part is you can't rename a, a traded Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, man. I kind of wish he'd turn into, like, a blue Gallade or something. You know, like, in the show? No, wait, not in the show? Was it in red and blue? It would turn into a pink version of whatever. Like, it would look like the Pokemon, uh, but it would be pink. You gotta wake up there, buddy. I should have given him an item that stops him from falling asleep. What's that item? There's something you can give them. Like, there's a berry that cures sleep, but I don't want to waste berries. But isn't there something that you can give your Pokemon to hold where they just can't be put to sleep? I mean, I could give them, like, a flame orb, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Or, like, a toxic orb, but again, I don't really want to just have them poisoned or burned. <laughs> dang. Oh, I gotta put this dang Scyther away! I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, wing attack. Isn't that the key for, um, Technician Scyther? Too bad this guy does not have technician. <laughs> I have a technician scyther. I don't have wing attack. Why don't should I have wing attack? I don't know. Whatever. Dude, these guys have such a high rate of holding items. Oh my gosh. Remember when I was so nervous that um What was I gonna do here? Oh, put the scyther away. I was so nervous at 39 that it wasn't going to keep going. Alright, here. We still have room for some more dinners. Oh boy. Okay. Oh man. This is bonkers, you guys. Holy heck. Two carefuls in a row? That's crazy. I'm a good boy here. I'm a good bit my good boy, me too. Alright. Where's the fourth one? Oh, it's over there on the right, okay. So you just- you just keep resetting. So in this case, where they were all pretty close to me, that's where you can just reset to keep going. Make sure you use repels if you do this, because you don't want another Pokémon interrupting you. That's the worst. Always make sure to- You want to bring a lot of Pokéballs and a lot of repels. I like Quick Ball because, you know, obvious reasons. And then Repeat Ball is really good because you catch, like, well, we just caught like 45 dittos or something. How long does Max Repel last again? It's like 300 or 350, right? Somebody said it's really not worth it compared to Super Repel. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rest my voice for a bit. <laughs> Until I see another shiny and start yelling again.
it's weird because like I want it I want to go to bed so I kind of do want it to end after the next one <laughs> but at the same time I'm like how high can we go though and at this point there's not really oh my god there see okay this one's right beside me if I pick this one up it's probably gonna end maybe I'll call them bedtime <laughs> <laughs> if we pick up this ditto, I think he's only... Wait, I think I pressed... I think it counted me as being on this square, not this one. So if it's one space away, we only have a 43% chance... Or 47% chance? No, 43% chance of it continuing. I think we have a 53% chance. It's about 50-50 whether we get another one after this or not. It's about 50-50. And I'm happy either way. This is so crazy. And we're nowhere near 100, so I'm not going that far. But someday I think it would be fun. Heck, maybe next time we play this, we just... Just see if we can get to 100 of something. It would have to be Ditto, right? Just see if we can get to 100 Ditto. That would be ridiculous. Hey, was that a critical catch? Nice. I think it was. I don't think it wiggled. Should we do that one day, you guys? Just go for high score. You can just chain ditto the whole time. And and see if we can get all the way to 100. That would be awesome. Alright, so this is probably ending now. Oh my god, it didn't end. You're kidding me. Ditto, I want to go to bed. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh man. All right, all right, we're still going, we're still going. It was right beside me. It must have been two squares away. It must have been two squares. How would you calculate the odds if you have an 83% chance of the chain continuing and you have to succeed 39 times in a row? What are the, how do you do that? Because that would be 1 over... No, 83%. It would be 83 over 100, right? 83 over 100. But you'd have to times it by itself 39 times, right? So it'd be like... 83 over 100 times 83 over 100 times 83 over 100. Like 39 times, right? I think. 83 over 100 at the power of 39. No way. There's no way it's that low chance, right? Maybe? We need a math whiz to figure it out. My brother's an, uh, a math whiz. I'll ask him. <laughs> I'll ask him and we'll figure it out. Because this feels way too lucky. Or, like, that feels... Like, like based on that, it feels way too lucky. You know what? They took the like they took the game corner out, right? They didn't want gambling anymore. How is this not gambling? <laughs> it's all odds. The your price that you pay is your pokeballs to cash stuff. That's basically it, right? Larvitar. Alright. I'm gonna put that thing away before it levels up a billion times. Alright. This is insane. And that one has a best one too. Like, a lot of them will have a best stat. They just will. One, two, three, four, five. We've got six shiny dittos so far. This is obscene. The obscene. Fate of scene. 
And I just want to name one obscene. <laughs> how high this would go. What if you could actually chain all the way up to 100 and get like 50 shinies? That would be so crazy. How do you know when to stop running and open that menu? After 100 steps. <laughs> yeah, see, sometimes I get this. So I just kind of... I usually do like 8 circles or something. Or six? Is six enough? Oh yeah, there you go. You just, you just, yeah. I'm probably wasting a ton of repel. Because it should be coming up every two or three menus-ish, right? Because super repel is good for 250 steps. You can put the counter on if you want. But I don't really like cycling through. But that's all, I'm just kind of guessing. If you think about it, if you run in a circle like this, it's like eight steps, right? So if you do like somewhere near 10 of those, I guess. Oh wait, but going in, let's see, four, five. Well, let's see, is it ready now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think when you do, uh, when you run diagonally, it counts as double. So like, like this counts as one step, but like this counts as two, and this counts as two, because it's like you're going one, two, one, two. That's why when you're hatching eggs, you want to go in circles instead of just like up and down. Tomorrow's gonna be a very quiet Kirby stream, I think. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, bosses uh, ride me hard tonight. <laughs> How the heck have we gone two hours over time with this chain? This chain started at like quarter to nine. It's crazy. Why can't I be this lucky at the beginning of stream? <laughs> It'll be nice though, this um, this morning we were playing Kirby. I'm gonna say playing Kirby loosely, because for like, I don't know how long, probably half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, we were just fishing and I was half paying attention, so I was missing half the dang fish and we were just chatting. Having a nice dang chat. What if you could record your own cries for all the Pokemon? Like you could for Chatot, but like, you know? Yo, Dips, how's it going? Uh, what? What? How? Wait, how does this thing... This thing... Wait. This thing just hatched. How has it had and recovered from Poke Rus? How is that possible? A Pokemon gets Poke Rus from another party member that has Poke Rus? It's contagious, right? And, uh, what the heck? So they get Poke Rus and then they have it for like a week. You know? How does that work that he's born having already come- he's already gotten over it? 
How are you feeling and how is this how is this still available? First. <laughs> we had a first this morning. We had no first tonight yet. Good job. Good job being first. We're two hours overtime. Stream is supposed to be long done by now. Ah! <laughs> wow. Look at that, Dips. It's the first ditto. <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm feeling a lot better. Although I've been talking more than I should, so I'm trying to shush a little now, but dang. You're just everyone's lucky charm today. Thanks. Thanks. Man. What were you looking for before? I, what, what, what were you good looking about? Also, hey, did you see Xenoblade? July? July 29th, right? Instead of whenever the heck it was supposed to come out later? July 29th, right? Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Ah, it ended! I can go to bed! 46! 46! Oh, they hop! Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Dang. Did you hear you're not ready? You gotta- yeah, you gotta- <laughs> Oh, I'm so relieved, kind of, that I get to go to bed now. <laughs> I want to play 2 and X before 3 came out. A lot of people! Twitter's freaking out. Twitter's excited and distraught. They're like, what do we do? Twitter's freaking out. Look at this. We got sh seven? We got seven shiny dittos, you guys. Holy crap. And this one's got three best IVs. Amazing. Amazing. Two best IVs. And they're not overlapping. What what did Me Too have? HP, attack, and speed. Pretty good. We got defense and speed here. Special attack. Special defense. Dang, dude. Holy crap. How is this allowed? Like, once you get one, they should be done, you know what I mean? Like, once you get one, they should be like, okay, that's enough. Look what we got yesterday. Oh, man. Okay, wait, so... Oh, you're gonna want to go there. That's the first one. And you're the second one. And you're the fourth one. And you're the third one. Ay ay ay. And you go here. This is bugger. That's what happened with Spinda, too. So we got all these Spinda. And Spindas are cool, because they all have different spots on them. Different spot arrangements. All these heckin' dittos. You just finished one in future connected from the definitive edition? That's cool. How much... You still have lots to do? Mav was stuck on... On... Someone in Final Fantasy IX. Should I get the ice step? Ice step by stealing. Oof. So they got it, which is awesome. Man, I gotta play nine. That one's really cool and sad, right? All right, this I can't believe this. Look at look at this. Oh my god. I can't believe we managed to chain that high. I mean, once we chained that high, it was crazy, right? But like, dang. It just it it just. Wow, we. I was looking for, you know, the best IVs. We got our three best on a shiny. Oh man, this game is so fun, you guys. Oh man. Okay, before I go to bed, does anybody need a ditto? You need a Patrick? <laughs> or it? We named these all Patrick. <laughs> I'm gonna throw them in the online. We named them all Patrick, and this one's Patrick. <laughs> If anybody needs a ditto, I'll, I'll trade you one. But not a shiny one, I'm keeping those. Those might be prizes or something. Some of them. I want to give some away, but not now. Probably on Tuesday. The heck do I name this box? Dittos. <laughs> I should call it Patrick's, oh well. Ditto and one weasel. 
Oh, man. Yeah, we were talking about Spongebob earlier. And my favorite Patrick quote, my favorite Spongebob quote from Patrick is, I can't see my forehead. <laughs> it's just good. It's just good. Oh, man. I'm saving again because, you know, as one does. I can't believe we chained to 46 ditto. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed, you guys. And Dips, I know you're just getting here. I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's six hours. This four-hour stream has been going on for six hours. What the hey? Oh, my goodness. In the morning, I'll probably be streaming. <laughs> I might not be talking a lot tomorrow. I did a lot of talking today. Ten hours of streaming. I'm trying to, like, get better. Okay. Uh, that last chain was not... One more chain, and then it ends up being 46. I can't believe it. That's crazy. You guys and all your shiny luck. <laughs> thanks, thanks for all the shiny luck. It definitely helped. We got seven shiny dittos. It shouldn't even be allowed. It's, it's obscene. It shouldn't be allowed, but it is, and it's awesome. Oh, see if anyone's awake that we can raid. Oh, I saw one. I'm refreshing to make sure... Guys, we got... We've got Sklarf. We've got Sklarf. We should go raid Sklarf. We should go raid Sklarf. That's what I think we should do. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, and I'm gonna, like, rest my voice. And in the morning, we're gonna... We'll continue Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We're doing post-game stuff, like post-story end-game stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, for now, we'll go raid Sklarf. Late night streaming pal of mine who's playing Majora's Mask. Dawn of the Final Stream is his title. Alright, let's... Oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Sheesh. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Thanks for all the support today, and thanks for sticking around after raids and for following and all this good stuff. Oh boy. Alright. I'm going to bed. You guys... <laughs> You guys have a good night. I'll be back at 9 o'clock in the morning, so just under 10 hours from now, I'll be back. And uh, we'll have a nice, nice, relaxing, cozy stream in the morning. And I'm going to be sipping hot chocolate, maybe made with honey. We'll see. Anyways. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a great night. Take care. Bye.